you're staying. Eight in the zone, in other words. Um, leave uh, Okay. Here we are. Bill Riles, Tar Mendocino, Ace Point Baggammon, streaming from the Chicago Chicago Open. The uh, oh, sorry. No problem. Where the Masters, uh, Faster Masters, this match round of thirty-two. We have a match between uh, two great players, Victor Askenazi, who's like I have. Don't remember what he's on the Giants, but he's generally regarded in the top five uh, players in the world. Simon Barge from the UK is a, uh, I think, maybe even a Grandmaster one on the BMAB ranking scale. So two absolutely supreme players. So uh, this should be fun. And, and, of course, they're playing Faster Masters, which is a one-minute bank per point and 10 second delay so you know a little bit faster than uh, twice the regular event time settings hence the name faster master i think it's actually faster masters but nonetheless uh here we are now again, Michelle, you're gonna since this is a faster mas faster masters event, you might have fun trying to transcribe this, but uh, we shall see. You can always uh, catch up or finish from the uh, recorded video. Okay, so we have Victor Ashkenazi playing. The bottom of the board, yellow checkers. Simon at the top of the board with the black checkers. And uh, looking at your player cam, if you don't know the players, most people would know. But Victor's on the left of the player cam with the shaven head. Simon is on the right of the player cam in the black shirt. So uh, here we go. Simon, Victor needs to enter. He does. Plays down to the seven. Simon's going to be attacking, I think, with a little better board if he can, and certainly he will be with a set of fours. So then the question will be, oh, Victor manages to anchor and hit. I thought we may have a cube decision by Simon. Maybe we still do, but uh, it certainly was complicated by the fact that uh, Victor was able to make the anchor and hit a shot. And now Simon has a four to play. He only has one. So next shake will be interesting from Simon. Um, here we go. He goes to the three. Now Simon needs a five or a six to extricate one of those back checkers and maintain his, his board up there. And he four, two gets him out. He doesn't want to... Uh, Now, this is a rather interesting position here. Simon's in the air, so he's got to enter. Um, he's got a broken six prime on the far side. Oh, this is right. I think that was, and Victor scoops it, obviously, I think. And look at that shake. Whoa, man. How did he know? <laughs> Yeah, that's a, it's like you roll a, throw a cube banking on a 3-6 and you get the 3-6. Wow. I bet. Uh, Victor's wondering what kind of, what kind of sequence was that? Hmm. Oh, well, I guess he just brings one of those around, huh? Gotta bring it around a corner. You can't leave both of them, I don't think.
Okay. Three, two. Well, this is going to be pretty, uh, potentially pretty brutal. Victor could, uh, well, e pretty easily get gammoned out of this. In fact, uh, in fact, worst case scenario could be worse than that. He could end up with. He could end up with uh, five back. Well, look at here. Victor, he keeps getting return hits, but he's losing in the trading battle here. <laughs> now, Victor could actually leave another blot, <laughs> which there it is. How many can we get back? Well, we can get six. Now, same scenario. He may leave another blot. Okay. Ooh, Simon, well, yeah, he doesn't want, does he? wow, going to try to make that ace point, which he likely will do now, there it is, another three. Okay, Victor trying to escape and uh, there, Victor needs a deuce in the worst way, doesn't get it. For the ace. Three, two. So now Victor needs to chase some troops home here. Try to uh, avoid the G now here. But Simon can rip him. He may. Let's see. He's got 12, 14, 15 to get off. It's going to, it would be if he didn't take them off, if he moves them to the ace, it'd be very, very close as to whether he gammons, gammons him or not. If he rips them, then uh, okay, Victor's got to be moving, so four, three. So now Go to the six, or the. T okay, he he does realize two crossovers. Four two. So Simon hasn't had much success in bearing off very rapidly. So now, uh, what's new? He's got six, eight, ten, eleven crossovers, and Simon just. He can't take. He hadn't taken a checker off at about three rolls. Yeah, I can't tell. He's got a bunch. As he six, nine, twelve. So he's got three off. Or there's just two over here. 
We've got 11 on the... Oh, those are his two checkers he took. Yeah. Dude, Victor could win this game after all of this nonsense. Uh, okay, so I decided I'd start taking them off in groups of four now. DT. Do you reckon? Thank you. Do you want to sit down and lend your uh, incredible oh, perspective and experience to? <laughs> off the wall. Okay, so. Speaking Victor is always fun. Well. You can forget that. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, Simon gave what everyone thought was a rather early cube, and uh, Victor snapped it up, and, of course, he rolls the joker on the first roll, Victor, or Simon does, and Victor gets gammoned. <laughs> Why you double those things? In case you those yeah, you just knew you were going to roll that joker 3-6. <laughs> Okay, so uh, in the faster baster competition, Simon's gonna or uh, Victor's gonna have to get faster. Okay, don't dance, Victor. Well, that's not your most attractive role, but it's effective, but in danger. could have been worse. He could have danced, right? Hit him on the five. Yeah, keep, keep going. Don't give uh, all those blots. Guess the part you came with. Okay, again, Victor, do not dance. Okay. Anchored up on the bar. And the two. So here we go again. And the two or four of his choice. <laughs> <laughs> Dupes the fours. Simon was super aggressive in the first game, and he continues with that. I thought he, you know, once you get uh, super aggressive and get lucky in a four-point lead, you think you might back off a little bit. I <laughs> You almost have to wear your shades watching this match. Played on these boards. Yeah, Justin Noel likes uh, David's play of making the 15. You get the bad sixes. And Victor can't hit with the ace off the uh, off his virus too big. Can't look. Wrong idea. This double twos.
Welcome to the streaming, Tim. You'll you can be with us for five days. <laughs> Here streaming through Monday. What's he got left? Three, two, one. Two, okay. Like this or the, or the fourth one. Okay. I see. Skate here. No. Whatever, it's less. You're doing this. We all knew you were doing this a long time ago. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, but this way he's got a, a little something going on. Playing three to the nine. You can get two around it. Yep, those two. Yep, yeah. Lost their value. It's still pretty powerful. You, 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 I like you, this you, personally. You're making it a point inside there with the three builders. This is Scott. Maybe it's a control the upper the thing. I, I like I'm, this. I'm convinced with. I, I think I like Bill after seeing this. Make a point here. He's got a. Then you're in really strong shape. Hmm. You put two up. Oh, oh, that does something. Yep. To the three or twenty, twenty-two, whatever. Keep, you keep want, it. But, yeah, keep it going. You don't want to. Well, you wanted the diversity of of the fives and threes. You don't want to be up there now. You build the fives and threes. Sorry. Right, he's, he's duping his numbers, which he didn't want. That's why he didn't want to do it. like to jump on that five point. One of those outside guys. Here too. Okay. Not yet, but Victor's gonna have a fairly itchy trigger finger here in a little while. Don't don't dance here. 
same on and in the absence of anything else to do maybe you move them the three of them to the nine you could move to the deuce and step up but that way you activate the checker on the eight point as far as. I agree. Well. There were better numbers. No. Okay. Did you just like the fire? Just uh, in need to make the twelve. Checkers. Seven. Well, my play would have gotten hit. Yeah, I'm getting hit as a bat. I would have gotten hit also. Not bagging. I think I keep them going. Agreed. Kind of squeezing a little bit here. So he's, much for that. He's feeling it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well this is going to be uh, interesting. Simon's uh, treading water here, hoping the uh, pool brings a leak. It's sulfur right now. <clears throat> okay, who bleeds first? Oh, nice shake. That's interesting. You split there. I know. Oh. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Okay, looking for something there big with an ace, and there it is. A little something for picture. Take one off. Your shots. More than that, but. Well, I mean, you, you get hit, and you can. Yeah.
It was funny after game one, which was that early cube joker, right? Victor played 189 and Simon played 696. I think we can rest assured that was not a cube. Well, this one here, can I take two minutes? I didn't think it was. Yeah, come on. This is... Yeah, just fine. Okay, so Victor's going to have to bear down here. Looks like a break. I'm going to take a break with him. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back. I beat them. <laughs> okay. Well, that was David Todd standing next David Todd standing next to me for a moment there. Uh, Tim. Sander Lyalhoff is not here. But we uh, we've got a, a great strong field. There's doing a draw for another start of the Masters right now. So uh, stream two and stream three should be filled shortly. That'll be on uh, Ryan Rebello is not here. Uh, and I, I haven't heard that he is coming. Um, so I don't know, but we have, wow, Petco, Victor, Kit Woolsey. Um, God, they're, they're escaping me right now. Ray, Joe Russell, Michi, um, Dimitri, um, let's see, Al Hodes there in the back, uh, got like, last I heard yesterday was 81 in the championship division, so it's going to be a, a large field, a very strong field, um, so that's good, that's a good thing. 
Okay, Simon is back. We shall resume. Snelling is not going to be here. He, Wilcox, I'm not sure exactly what he did, but he works in the uh, sports wagering business of some sort related to basketball. So I don't think he really frees up until the NBA playoffs are over. So, uh, okay, here we go. 4-1. Victor's got to trailing 6-0 to 11. He's, he wants to seize any opportunity to try to get to something going here. You know, Simon is a excellent player in his own right, so it's... You know, it's he's not an easy one to uh, to push around. He's a he's a challenge. Okay, I think I'm uh, well. He can hit that other checker out there, or he can do this, which was my initial reaction. Okay, that's uh, from Victor's perspective. That's a pretty good roll. Simon uh, Simon doesn't necessarily care for it. Yeah, Victor may be reaching for the cube shortly, but not just yet, apparently. But uh, there's an eight to make the five point. That, that might have been, uh, well, Simon makes the two. I was going to say that could have been close to a market loser had Simon not made the two, but uh or made the three point with the two so now uh see what'll happen victor wants to extricate that maybe he steps up and plays six four and he's going to even re further reduce the shots on his breakaway attempt and does manage to escape Three, two, so that's that. Mike Corey, you want to join us? Certainly. I'm equal opportunity commentator here. Mike Corey from Atlanta. Hello, everyone. Formerly Seattle? Yes. Good championship level player, so uh, welcome. Yeah. Only the, his name, not the, his play. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, were you are you going to be playing some of the Masters events? Yes, and, yes, and yeah, then in just a few minutes. In just a few minutes. Okay, great. So they're trying to get that draw done, and uh, while they're the players going on, Miroslav Kowalski, Jacques from Germany. Everybody's finding us here. Stay tuned through the next five days for uh, continuous st streaming action from the Chicago Open. Listen. Simon got uh, pretty aggressive pretty early in the first yes. two games, and I and, was uh, watching. And uh, I was watching. You know, and and it worked out big time. Well, so uh, it's going to be a vent. He's kind of, uh, as someone used the term the other day, Simon's maybe overtimed a little bit yeah. right now. He's out in front of, out ahead of himself. Now, if he's forced to forced to leave that point, then the victor's going to. I would think that the victor should have some cube action going, but uh... I wouldn't be surprised because uh, you know he's trailing six zero, right? Yeah, and. Uh, I don't know why he's, uh, what is he holding? He has a little bit of damage, opportunity to, and then there is this one. Yeah, look at this. He's going to have to, otherwise he leaves a shot. Six, four, still, three. still, he should act the cube. He should. Uh, well, certainly if Simon breaks here, comes out. He's got to put the cube on. I, the I'm, 
I'm a, I didn't see anything. I don't know. I'm a little surprised. I, I personally would have gone for it. Now he can hit that guy. Mm -hmm. Comes on to that. So now, uh, well, if he doesn't, oh. well, he makes the anchor. So, okay. but never too late now. One point at the time, you cannot uh, catch up with the six zero. Put this up a little bit closer to you. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, he waited so long that uh, well, Simon lets it go, but Simon had a he, he you know even because had, of the he score. Even had he had some gammon chances. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Especially when he left the shot. I was, I'm with you. I was a little surprised Victor wasn't a little more assertive yeah. at score, at the yeah. score, because of the score. But, uh, and he was, even caught up. He was way ahead in the race. Yeah. And then a shot, two shots. Make the prime. Yeah, I, I, what else do you do here? You know, you leave him the two shot, but I, I'd take the bar. Yeah, I take the bar anytime. With that board, I take the bar anytime. Okay, Simon wants to make that eight points or a five or a six. So six the hard way. Yep. Run. Now, Victor better hit this guy. Doesn't make it, so he makes the four. Now he's going to step up. Okay. Ooh, it's a cube right here. Yeah, Simon has uh, not been bashful with the, yeah. with the cube. Yeah. <laughs> so. now he might be a little bit more... Yeah. Um, Maybe not a little more cautious at score because because of the it's up six point you know, five point so. but uh, it's not a bad cube right here. Well, uh, after the first two games, Victor was playing two nine and Simon was playing. Oh, that was the <clears> second <throat> game, two point nine and nine point six, and for the match, Victor was playing two point four and Simon eight point one. I think both those first two games, the two early cubes were not cubes. Yeah. We see that reflected in Simon playing 8.1 yeah. when he's a grandmaster. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes luck comes along a little bit too. Uh, okay, so now. He doesn't need that point. I, I agree. I would make he the 11. He does not need that point. So now you might get hit and get back into. Okay. Now I'm sending it. Now maybe he's too good. Maybe not. Cash it up. No, I, I, I send it. Cash it up. Cash it up. Yeah, thank you, Mishy, for transcribing and keeping us up to date here. Hello to Eric. I guess you're just upstairs, Eric. I saw you here yesterday. Oh. There it is. Victor lets it go. 7-1. So, uh, amazing when you're playing against these guys you the percentage of the error is almost zero yeah yeah it's funny i and i've i know simon i've met him a few times i've, I've not seen him play really but uh he's played extremely aggressively and, and maybe that was and he's playing very good too I have yeah to he's playing it. very good but his uh Maybe that was his game plan coming in against Victor in a faster master type yeah. environment, you know? Yes. <laughs> Justin Noel, who I assume knows Simon pretty well. Justin's in London as well, too. He says, uh, 
slap him on the hand for me for those cubes today. <laughs> Uh, but he's not he's not even getting a break, you know. It's, uh, well, this is kind of reminded me that we saw that uh, team championship thing a while ago. Yes. First year, Joe Russell yeah. and Ari Nagara. Ari got nothing, absolutely yeah. nothing, and Joe just crushed him. And it, it's kind of reminiscent <laughs> of with this game. Put two on the bar. Put two on the bar. Uh, Okay, he's got to anchor that up. No, I, I take the five on the other side. He's just yes. got he's got too much ammo. Yes, working against you. Yes, I do. I'm with you. But then we have this look, one too. That worked out great. You no, know? had he not made that point, yeah, the sixes, he would have gotten crushed right there. Yeah. Nope. Make. Makes the two. Ah. Hit it! Hit it! <laughs> hey, that. He doesn't like his fourth six, but no. he's going to take it. Two in the air. There's always something to be said for two in the air. Right, Petco? Hi, <laughs> Petco. Well, there's a, and we were naming top players that are here. Uh, and, of course, uh, Petco certainly goes on that list. Tariq, hi from Dubai. I think, uh, are you perhaps the Tariq that has, uh, I've exchanged an email or two with trying to set up a meeting. So welcome to, uh, to our Chicago stream. Tariq no, is associated no, no, no. with, uh, I think mind skills and the Dubai tournament, the new Dubai tournament what coming you up. Here? That, that's, how about, how about moving three and two from the six to four? Huh? Duplicating the okay. Ah, I did recognize that name. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Tariq. Whoa. We look forward to talking perhaps next week when we're back at home. Wow, this is uh this is a good cube. Okay. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, Victor lets it go. Simon's just got his foot on Victor's throat yeah. and, and, and well, won't let it up. You know? Well, he's rolling too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's part of it. But uh, and he's been very assertive and aggressive. And and, yeah. and Victor, to his credit, I think, has, has shown remarkable discipline in letting some of that stuff go. Yeah. You know. Because it, I don't know if some of these, like this one, I don't think I would uh, let it go. I would uh, maybe. put the game on the line with that. Thank you, Tariq. We'll, uh, next, today and four additional days after here, we'll have continuous uh, streaming. So, uh, hope you like uh, what you see here, the uh, production that uh, Tara does for us and... Uh, I try to keep them informed with the commentary. Well, we don't. You don't have to look away much in this match. And er, er, <laughs> you look back, and Simon's got another great position. Another, yeah, another prime builder. Uh, this is. A, well, how are you going to get out now? Uh, oh, look at this look double at, four! Wow. It's got perfect to perfect he's, he's got to run from the back all the way i think yeah 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 nine does you no good so you go on forward with the okay he's did he's he so far some? ahead now did he miss he, something he, here I, why didn't he kill no 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 I, I'm going, no, no I don't I'm like going, that. No. I don't like that. I would have went two to the 13 and played to the nine. That would makes it easier to clear these back points. Yes. Or the back points. Yes. Oh, so they both had a bunch of missed cubes in uh, the next game. So 
they're not playing to their usual PRs, but it's been a entertaining match, and it's a, kind of a lopsided match because of the uh, the dice. He should cue. Well, he's counting it. How's the what's the race? I guess he's ahead. With he is ahead in the race. He, he, Victor is gonna take it and give it back to him, but it doesn't matter. He has, uh the way that uh, there it is. Your <laughs> correct call, and and it didn't yeah. hardly didn't. Yeah didn't hit the table <laughs> he <laughs> took it out of his hand almost so uh and at this score i mean if victor has any opening or opportunity whatsoever any any little crack in simon's game victor's shipping it back at him No. No, keep the checker in the front. Um, that was 4-3. Victor can make the ace. Six five goes to the three. Make the one make one. the ace too. Yeah, make the ace now. I start then. No, it is it's because he might need it. You know, he's... Uh, and eventually you, you're going to need it one way or the other. Although I think I would play this now to keep even numbers on all the back the well, two back checkers. But he might need it, you know, try to come in. No. Oh, that's I don't, too much. I don't like this. Oh, that yeah. was way too much. I don't like Very giving honest. that indirect that's shot. <laughs> the unforced... Oh, wow. Look at this. Wow. Dueling, dueling jokers. <laughs> wow. See, not that. The yeah, Victor yeah. was waiting on that. Yeah. He was sitting on that. Now Simon's got himself in a he, predicament. I don't know where he found the worst deuce. No. No, he cannot. Why? Give up, he, give he up the two. He could even get gammon with this position. Yeah, give up the two. Just give up two points and uh, move on to the next game. And, and give up two. Slap yourself for having left him the shot. In the first yeah, exactly. <laughs> unnecessarily. Very unnecessarily. Yeah. Found the worst five. Yeah, you gotta let it go. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, uh, it was all going Simon's way. Maybe he got a little. A little cocky, a little greedy. He, here. I, I didn't, I didn't understand uh, what was the reason behind it because there was absolutely nothing in it. Yeah. Huh? Well, that's true too. Yeah, but I would have. Uh, I mean, having little time is all the more reason not to not to leave an unnecessary shot. Exactly. I, I, One more done. And and you? No, uh, no, no. Okay. And you know, and and I have all the respect in the world for both of these players, but certainly Victor is not anyone you want to give extra opportunities to yes um, kind of like i think victor should cube here i i wouldn't be opposed to that and certainly he's contemplating that it's very behind and he very efficiently uses them too he's eight away i mean he four yeah. then he gets to four a uh, four way building agrees double he does but it's a thing and it's a take. Simon scoops it up. Four. A six. 
Victor needs that bar point. Although a 1-6 would be an interesting decision. There's the bar oh. point. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, but uh, once again, Simon's kind of uh, Simon's kind of overtimed That's here. That's it. What else does he have? Well, he wants to slot the two point, which is not a horrible thing. Ace five. That's now Victor. Victor would have just as soon almost danced another roll. Yes. That burns the fours. Okay, Victor needs the emergency six. Why don't you give him another uh, six one? You, you were very good at it last roll. Last game. That's a nice roll. Victor Victor needed that. Yes. Yeah, thank. <laughs> bought a lot of bought some time there. Hmm. Victor might get now, Simon is real close to cracking over there. Um for three. So I'm I'm, I'm going to the four. I don't want to. No, no. This oh, you're right. I, I didn't. I, I overlooked the fact that it pointed. This is risky here, though. He should, but he should do it. He should do it. His, his board is cracking up. Hmm. Uh, I play H6. I don't put them both up. I want him to. I think. I, I think, think this is right. You don't want him to be able to stay in the air forever, and you end up can't get out and crunching. Victor needs. Uh, ooh, that hurts. No, that's not bad. That's perfect. Now, as long as he rolls a six on the next roll, it's perfect. Yeah. Is it Ooh, that? There's a six. Okay. Bring the five in. No, I don't know. Bring the five in. What does it do? You don't want to go that deep. That you matter. don't burn a crossover. You want, the, you want that extra checker. Yeah. Whoa, I look at here. Like, <laughs> like we said, you know, that last game. Yes. He, he kind of opened the door a little bit for yes. Victor. And Victor's not one you open the door for, right? We didn't get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Maybe my game has a start. Oh, okay, well, this is uh, made for an entirely different match now. For sure. You know, and this was demonstrated on a larger scale, but even within individual games, it just points out how backgammon, you know, the wrong ace here or there yes. can just make such a significant difference. For sure. For and sure. and here, you know, Simon gave him that 6-5 fly shot, which maybe he shouldn't have. And he, he then, pays, and here we are. You know? There was no maybe. They, see, it was clear for him he... he you leave a shot when you feel like, okay, next roll, I'm going to roll a bad number or something like that. Then, okay, fine. 
but uh, yeah, Ken, I was sitting here thinking that myself. There's some some rare Bee Gees floating around out here, you know. Let Victor Rolla set right here and see what happens. Five one, that doesn't. That gets a little awkward for Victor now, but okay. but he keeps rolling those little numbers. If let Victor roll a one X here and uh, is it dead? Oh, no, it's five not. two. There's a shot. Okay, excitement has to be in this. So okay, two up. I take it off. I no, mean, no. You think? No, because uh, if you get hit. You might leave it again. You you might leave uh, another shot and. Okay. Oh. Two sets could still yet do it. There's oh, one. You, you. Oh wow! <laughs> what is oh, that? Wow. Two sets could do it. You know. Oh wow! Didn't get it. Thank you, bro. Okay, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Okay, so eight seven. So man, and most interesting match. It might have been, Kent, if you'd have taken that other checker off and then it didn't get hit. Um, and he's down to two checkers and he gets to the BG. Exactly, Jonas. And so these guys uh, are both playing well above their regular PRs. And I think most of it has been cube play on, on both sides of the board. I think for the match now, Victor's playing 4.59 and Simon playing 6.00. So very, very unusual numbers for them. But, you know, part of that too perhaps might be... Uh, you know, this is a, a faster master, so you're playing with faster time settings than the traditional backgammon. Uh, you can see Simon's slightly under a minute now. Victor's at two something, I think. Yeah, Emery, I mean, I, Simon's a grandmaster one, I think. So he's uh, he's typically playing probably in the three and a half to four range. So six is quite high from him for him. And Victor, of course, is probably on average typically playing uh, lower than that. So the four, what was it? 4.59 for Victor's quite high for him as well. Yeah, it's it's I think it's somewhat influenced by the faster master aspect of it, but uh, again, most of the the errors have been uh, pretty significant cube errors. But it's kind of, uh, you know, we've been streaming for a day and a half, the, the team play. So this is the first match that we've streamed of any sort of individual play. And we've, we've gotten kind of a treat, entertaining, uh, interesting match to, to kick it off with. Mm 
Okay, you gotta make a point, uh, one of those somewhere. Okay, so now Victor's just got to go to work here on his uh, on his home board. Keeps uh, some frustration uh, to Simon with that. 18 point. Okay, be nice, Tim. Be nice. <laughs> when these guys were saying, well, you know, everybody has an off day occasionally. And yeah, some other guys said, yeah, some of us have off years. <laughs> Okay. Now, Victor kind of maybe purposely seduced him in the leaving shots, but uh, with those all the blots in his home board, he couldn't really uh, take advantage. So here we go. Looks like a uh, Victor's fairly good amount behind. Five three, <laughs> go to the eight. <laughs> We're at a uh, Hyatt Place O'Hare in Rosemont, Illinois. What's well, uh adjacent, fairly adjacent to O'Hare Airport. So it's certainly convenient for those coming uh, in and out of time, or in and out of town on planes. Okay, this is, uh, this is pretty close. Very, very close. If Simon were to roll a couple of larger numbers, now he's got a fairly distinct advantage, I think. Victor keeps clearing those low points rather than the high points. Okay, so what's Victor? He's got nine checkers. Simon's got ten checkers. 33, 43, 51 for yellow. 39, 45 for, uh, for black. So he's six pips up. He's on shake. He's a checker behind, and Victor's got one, two, three void. Simon could uh, perhaps have those himself void soon. I wouldn't be surprised to, to if this isn't a take, and if Victor's the man to take it, because if it, if yeah, if it swings his way, he gets to ship it right back. Uh, and as we said, there Simon's got the void on the three and the two as well now, so it's gotten relatively close, closer anyway. Nice shake there. So now it's two two pips ahead for, for Simon. Nice shake there. Nice shake there. He's three pips ahead by Simon now. Five, two, there's a miss. Go to the three, I think, yeah. Okay. Four one, that was not his best. Okay. Six one, so that's got yeah, that's it. 
Three one. Looky here. Had a two one miss up there. Fours are better. Boom. Not the brutal two one. No. Okay. Ten to seven. Crawford. Somebody, Mishipu, transcribing this. That uh, when you get to that point, uh, clue us in as to whether that was a pass or a take. I got to think it was a take. <laughs> okay. Our Crawford game here. And where are we at? Simon's at 37 seconds. Victor's at a minute 56. Victor probably wants to automatics. <laughs> Okay, so that, so again, for the match, it's uh, 4, 5, 9, and 5, 6, 9, so neither one are playing to their normal PRs, but again, part of that has been perhaps the Faster Masters uh, format, and part of it has been some from my perspective, some pretty uh, maybe loose cube play. Okay, Emery, we'll know before long. Michelle's transcribing, but she's on that game now. Hundred and seventy nine viewers on this. Thursday afternoon. So uh, we're showing on its Backgammon Galaxy YouTube channel. All of y'all show your appreciation for the stream and the stream uh, platform and so forth by hitting that like button. Now we want the one at the end of the previous game, uh, Mishi, the game you're working on now. Okay, now what's important here for Simon, and, and he's accomplished it by having that five anchor, at, you know, Victor being four in a four way. Simon, uh, well, he wants to win the game, but certainly if he loses the game, he doesn't want to get gammoned and get Victor within two away. So with uh, having that five point anchor, it's fairly good insurance that he. Won't get gammoned. Okay. So now, Victor's probably, he's going to have to break one of those anchors. I, I don't think he, he doesn't want to give up the 8 or the 9 necessarily. Yeah. He wants pick and pass. Yes, you don't want to. You don't want to get other checkers sent back and increase the gammon potential here. It's three six is nice shake. He's out. Eight. Okay, he didn't really have another play, so he has to. 
Okay, 5-1 makes the 11, which blocks sixes. 3-1, you got to safety that guy. Now. Got to go, I think. Okay, this has worked out extremely well for, for Victor from where we were at a couple of moments ago. Another six, so that one in safety, that. Four, three can make the point. Seven, three, safety it. So what have we got? Eight times nine, 72, 75, 87, 90. 98. And over there we got, it's pretty damn close without finishing my, my count. It's not really damn close any longer. Well, <laughs> always a good return to that. I always like to, you know, pour a double six on top of a double five, you know. Okay, so again, we're back to back to close. <laughs> wow, look at this victory. Sixes and fours. Hello, Bill. Keen, Marin. Sit in, son. How are you doing? Mr. Keen Merritt from Madison, Wisconsin. Originally from the uh, Republic of Ireland or Northern Ireland or some damn Ireland. Or the fair shores of Scotland, yes. Oh, it was Scotland, were it? Yeah. I was thinking you were Irish. God, you know. That's right. I have seen you wearing a kilt, I think. Well, you, you should have, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I try and wear it as often as I can, you know. Special occasions, weddings, battles, yeah. that kind of thing. Well, you know, I've always had certain questions about Scots and wearing kilts, but we might talk about that off the air. Well, I'll just clear that up for you, right? <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> no, you don't wear anything underneath. Okay, well, there now we know. Yeah. Okay, Robert Wilbin's asking, will Nick Blaze or might Nick Blazer be doing any commentary? I'm sure he might. He's he's here to play. He is but, playing right uh, now. He's one available. One available between matches, or if he flushes out at some point, I'm sure he may provide some some commentary. I know he has a great uh, fan base, as it were. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like uh, Victor should extend this match here. Oh, Simon's on the top. I wasn't paying attention there. Yep. Looks like we're going to post. Yeah, and faster master. Not much time left, particularly for Simon. Oh, there's That's just a kind of shake. an ugly yeah. shake. I've been telling him don't do that. But. Well, that's that. So 10-8 post Crawford. <laughs> Yeah, so still talking about you were said to weddings and other things, right? And he yeah. said to weddings, he says some men have been killed for less. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> got a joke, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> the cube at eight seven was not a take, Mishi tells us. Okay, so here we go. Three away. So Victor's gonna send it at uh I guess Simon uh, is he can he take this? Yes. 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 He takes it. He is correct. You're gonna clear that midpoint that bar point now, I think. Yeah, I think you clear it right now. Yep. So this is good. This is gonna be an in two points here, I like. You want to stay back because Victor has a, a race lead here, so. Also, you don't want to step into, you know, getting pointed on territory either, so. 
Down to the 11. Oh, that was interesting. Thank you, Kent, for that. Kent said on that 87 cube, it was a money take, but a match pass for the trailer. That was the one two or three games ago, right? Okay, this will make. I uh, this might make the four point actually. I think so. I would. I I'd make yeah. the four to keep an extra spare. Yeah, that that, that an spare additional is useful. spare. I just like to slot the five here, but that's just me. Okay, so pile them high on the bar point then. Oh no! Oh, oh, he likes the gammon shots. G play, here. G play, G play. Uh -oh. oh, the fearless and the bold. That's what we keep under the kilt. That's what you keep. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know, the the fearless and the bold get rewarded and. Keen says that's what we keep under the kilt. The fearless and the bold. Is that what? Yeah. The names? Fearless and bold? Fearless and bold, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rory's going to kick us off the damn commentary. <laughs> he can try. He'll have, to, he'll have to bring Ed in. You know, he's banned Ed in the past. For... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so it's going to be probably unlikely to get a gammon because Simon's going to probably get most of his checkers in unless something un. Well, Ooh, this double three is here's the double close. three. Frank Talbot sitting in here for a moment. Been an entertaining, uh, from my perspective, entertaining match. I just got here. Going for the G, though, for sure. And this was kind of an interesting match to you guys that weren't here early on. Simon raced out to an 8-0 eight, eight and 8-2 lead. It was just everything going his way, and he's been very assertive, very aggressive. And then at 8-2, he left a 6-5 fly shot, which he didn't necessarily have to leave, and Victor hit it. And uh, it's been pretty much all Victor since then, but... Uh, Okay. Oh. oh. Victor's feeling very focused. He's got that look on his face. He's got that look. Yeah. He? You know, with his eyebrows right above his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, and I presume he's talking about. Uh, he's, he's a big fan of the game now. Yeah. This is this this is not going to take too much to get a gammon. I think there's about forty percent gammons here. Here, yeah, he's got there. seven, eight crossovers to get off. These the this is not a pleasant situation for for Simon. That's for sure. Someone had said, and I again, I, oh, oh. Oh, it's that's, only two though. Yeah, it's only two. That uh, and he's probably talking about Simon. He said there could be a hole in the table soon. <laughs> But so he's coming around the corner this is a here. Bad role. Yeah, this is this is the kind of thing, right? The, when you don't get you complete crossovers, you know, yeah. if, if things go good, and they have to be good three rolls yeah. too. No so. ones, no threes or fours. There's a oh, four. I'm sorry. So so already that's that's good. two in, <laughs> two in. No, two in from here, surely. Come on, Frank, give us some wisdom. Well, he's gonna miss on a one. He needed to fill in the four point. Yeah, but that was critical. And he, he'll oh, have fine. three, three okay. in and one off, so he's good there. Crossovers if he doesn't miss. He'll you got to take them both in. in. Both in, in, no yeah, doubt. No where. So Victor has a, a doublet chance, and then uh, he's got to have at least a five Five's next time. A without, a one. without a one. Boom! Wow, what a match. What a match! Wow! Now that was that was fun. That six four, he went for the gamut and got it. And got it. It was all because of that six four. Oh yeah. 
Wow. You can tell wow. he won because wow. he's waving his you hands around like, like he knows what he's talking position. about. Yeah. 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 He certainly impresses one. Yeah, he does. He When he moves those hands across the checkers like that, <laughs> certainly he gives the appearance of Okay, things. now here... Okay. Some well, kind of looks like a good shape masters or I think it's a well look where's our clocks? This is a regular masters. I think a masters qualifier. Ian Terry and uh, Ed O'Laughlin. Now it's funny, this is uh, here in Chicago, so this is like the fifth anniversary of it again. Do you remember have you seen the video? You, or maybe you were even here when Ian beat Ed on a stream match in the Masters on just a horrible bad beat. And Ed just went berserk. You know? <laughs> well, that's it. You can YouTube that's that one. <laughs> so, so by going berserk, I mean, did he cross his legs ferociously or something? Not the chair. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fully destructive. Uh, Probably flew a hand up by his head as well. well it looks like he's. Uh, looks like he's taking a little revenge against Ian here, huh? Well, get four on top of his four. What is this? This is like 42% gammons with two closed eyes. pretty aggressive it? here. Maybe take yeah. one off. I, I would I would advocate for that. I yeah. like that. Ian's horse crashed. By the way, Kent Goulding says hello, Frank. Hi, Kent. How you doing? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there you go. Ian uh, needs to get him little self in here. And buzz he buzz. Game in danger now. Huge. And rates to leave a shot in the world of war. Oh, that, that, that helped that, Ian uh, considerably. That's a, yes, it. Does. Brandon Macklin is in the house and says hello to Frank as well. Hey, are, Brandon. Are, are you uh, presenting yourself in Chicago here in the next day or two, Brandon? So this is another hairy gammon save kind of situation. I don't think he's yeah. going to get it. Three there and four at the back. My favorite good gammon. Okay, well, good. Brandon's trying but his best to close. come tonight. This is another one of those long crossover situations. Yeah. So he's going to need like a twos and fives a five x to to get across reasonably. Four, threes and fours. Okay. Well, yeah, this so, is uh -oh. reasonable. Fives. Didn't swing so damn hard, Brandon. He said he played golf today and threw his back out, but he's trying to get here tonight. <coughs> I think you typically want to get to the 10 point here. Talk. You want to get to the 10 point, right? Because that's the that's a crucial... Oh, this is not the faster master. Now, this is regular master. Oh, yeah. okay. So, you can right. tell by the times. You can spend a little more well, time. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. So what? Five? Five's the better. No, oh. good enough. All right. Eight to one, you. Well, now, that was kind of funny because Ian uh, gave Ed a little of his own medicine. Did you see him finger flick that cube back toward the middle? I'm doing what I did. <laughs> Well, that's how that's how he always says. Well, even won, even so when you're you're ahead. things ahead are going good for him, yeah. I mean, Probably, uh, good or bad, he, he does that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's just his personality. It's, uh, it's all okay. Uh, nothing you personal. Score it a so eight to one for Ed. Oh, Ian's done. Uh, yeah, a uh, two down, two down and a five four open. That's a, more of a uh, blitz play. You know, when you when I have that kind of lead, I I most often choose to play the the back split rather than the slot. Yeah, but when you're down eight to one, you're but he wasn't he wasn't down eight to one. He was leading eight to one. It was Ed that made the the six five thirteen eleven. Okay. Oh, I was talking about the five four opening five four. Oh. <clears throat> oh yeah, no, for sure. You just you know. Two down that. Okay, so we this is a qualifier as so we can see Tars if we bother to read, she tells us what we have. This is a master's okay, so Margaret's master's qualifier. Master's qualifier. So this is interesting actually. I'm not sure that you want to hit that because you cannot have three on the ace point. That's like a, a golden rule. Well, now we make it a golden point. Well, yeah. You gotta do that first. 
Yeah, but I mean, th this gets ugly. So if you play two down here, yeah. It allows Ed to be aggressive. And that's the thing you don't want. All the way. It's there like a, a Jerry Tansy in the house. I probably make the three point here. So three point. That's a, another one that we can add to my list of great players earlier to today out. who are in the field here. Good. And uh, Jerry Tansy certainly uh, among the best. Victor, what a per what a performance! Uh, we were talking about it. And they we were said, talking about it. They said. Just like Victor is that bad. He took this. Age seven. <laughs> no, they were the cube at age seven is not a take. Yeah. It's so funny. It's so yeah. Right. That's how it felt. I mean, he felt to come back. He's uh, finally, he gave me five, six for no reason. Oh, That's exactly. <laughs> me and <laughs> Michael, <Mike Larry, laughs> we were just going crazy <laughs> that, he, yeah, that he gave you the five, six. But, but my seven, eight, no fucking way I should take it. <laughs> Ray Fogerland is in this tournament to answer. Here's what he's talking about. Yeah. We took it though. <laughs> no, so we got three it's two. Not an, it's not an us and them situation. It's, the, it's, it's it. <laughs> they've they've won it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Nice distro. Instead of running out, leaving a double shot, he did a nice distro here. He is running out of time. <laughs> so, this is going to get interesting because I feel like Ian might he might be getting close to a cube at this score. It's worth the risk. Ed is lacking some yeah, fluidity here. But Ian doesn't. He, he's getting. Uh, ooh. ooh. He goes. Look at see, that. see, you should have got the double in first. I guess so. Yeah. That's the problem with um, Big Kid and your midpoint. Big Kid and Big Two a little bit more. <laughs> oh, and there's. It's, Ed, make the deuce point. Now, now you got it. Does in this. Doesn't it's matter. It's a, a pass. Dollar. It's a double it. Pass. Is, I think Ian's thinking about if he's too good or not. But I don't think he is. I don't think it is. You just cash this. I, I think that three point nine anchor it just makes think, it. You know, there you don't need to work uh but if you hit what were those the three the guy comes in the one or two. Fearless and fearless and what? What was the other one? Uh, what we were talking about? Anyway, well, you don't you don't need to bring them into play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were the what were the things we keep on their accounts? Fearless. <laughs> bold. Bold. That was it. <laughs> bold and fearless. Well, you can you can say bold and fearless for another situation. <laughs> I want to think about this very much. <laughs> No, I, I passed this pretty quickly. Well, three-point games are usually marginal. Ideally, marginal Eddie ball game, Eddie Sawyer, you are correct. They are they have they have their board set up incorrectly. The you staffle know, box is always supposed to be on the outfield set. So. Right. You know when Ed starts making those hand so motions. Cock the dice so much. Right. Yeah. This is gonna be a good chance to get Diane and check over the baffle box. Well, it got the up. Play a, joke on, go play a joke on Ed, get Rory to go and tell them since they had their board set up wrong, they're going to have to start over from zero. Oh, well, there's trouble. <laughs> trouble has arrived. All the way on the other end. It's Classic fight for the five point. Probably, it's time to get what do you call that? What's the it down? It's kind of a gravity so induced when you put his weight on it. Rolls, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's probably that. It's not a, not a motor. Oh, it's not a motor? Come up oh, no, I think it's probably a motor. It's just a small one. That's all. Instead of making it, it sure doesn't last. It makes the 11. 
He strips hours. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, you shouldn't game. be using it for hours, right? <laughs> okay, y'all keep him entertained for a minute. I'm going to be right back. Glasses. <laughs> okay. So. Well, here comes the prize. Oh, another great. Oh, this is fabulous. I think he just. Oh. I guess. That's a nice play. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you break a point instead of making a point. So you got. The point differential is two. But the thing Usually is, that's not right. Ian is looking for gammon like structures. And this resembles gammon like structure, right? Going low and makes an eight point easily. Hey, yeah. at score, I, I want to ship this. This might be it's a smidge I don't think it's a double. Ooh. 38. Uh, make the four. I'm going to. Well, he's already. Uh, no. I'm the, hit. You got to hit this, right? Oh, yeah. It, yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Much better. This this looks good. I was wondering about six to three is the last three aces, but I like I like getting that anchor in there. So yeah. So he's entered you with one. He's, he's got, got three to play. Blocks, you need to put him on. Yes. And I think the initial instinct of making the so three how points. Many has he played so far? One, two, two three, four. Three, four. I I like this play. It's a nice find from you. And on the two. Six to okay. five. Uh, Twenty-three and yeah, yeah. diversify. Okay. Five for a, Let's go. No five. Okay, so move the anchor up. Okay. Move the anchor up. And where's the last two aces? Come in. Don't leave the shot. Okay, so. This isn't good either. You don't want to make the ace point. He might be, he might be forced to. Everything else leaves a direct shot, so I think ace point Maybe looks like it. Deuce point. Deuce point anyways. So, so here, I, I want to ship this, even though he's in the air. Yes, come on down. The price is right. There we go. I, I think there's been a few oh, yeah. missed doubles here for me. Hey, get off the ace point. You have to be aggressive. You're you're nine away. You know, nine away, three away. That's that's a large Where gap. Got the ace. I'm trying to get the back checkers going. You gotta find this cube here. Yeah, come on. Good shot. Pretty good shot. <laughs> Alright, okay. Ooh. I well, guess come in on the ace and hit with the four, right? Eight to four. That's why the ace points look so there to have here because you can't back in the back and you have your ace point. Six to six. one to hit. Uh, I mean, I think it's fine. Got yeah, four blasts around the table. And then if things go well, you can pick them all up. Get that in there, finally. Oh, I, oh I just grabbed it. Oh. Did it touch the table? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it did touch the table. <laughs> I can't say that it hurt it. Yes. Apparently, Ed has his own have, little have collection of fearless and bold. As, as, as bad as you get. Okay. That's a great roll. Go to command on the four and just up. Oh, he's thinking about hitting now. Try to stop from making the buyer point. 
Well, Black definitely has the upper hand here. Yeah, so you gotta make the bar. Make the, bar. Make the bar. And I guess I think my inclination is to hey, maybe put on that check on the dip the, two. the ten point there. So just break the break the you know, nine point ten. Break the thirteen point. Yeah, maybe two down with the thirteen. Oh, that leaves a six shot. Yeah, but you you kind of want to draw them off well, that four point, don't you? Thing to do here is just take it down. Now look at ref. Okay. So you got to come out from the back. Yeah. It doesn't hit. You're sleeping it. Off there, so just do it. Yeah. I think this double shot sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't matter. I remake the mid here. Or you can make the four point. I like this one better. I don't like being so separated. Because this gives Ed an opportunity. Yes. Oh, I don't know if he wants to. Yeah, I think so. This could get ugly fast if we were to go, go yeah, south. <laughs> potential for huge ugliness to be fans. Okay, so that that is on stream two. Okay, so you gotta hit this. Okay. Whatever, whatever, however, this yes, you have you to. Okay, this match, Ian Terry, Ed O'Loughlin is going to. It's a, it's actually stream two, so it's going to be on the Ace Point YouTube channel. Stream two. Uh, stream three is Ari Nogueira and somebody. I saw him over there, but I don't remember. Stream one is we're fixing to begin a Masters match between uh, Tatsua Tanaka from Japan and Roberto yeah. Litzenberger. Yes, yes. So uh, danger you can follow there. this match on Stream 2, Ace Point uh, YouTube channel. And, come out. and soon we will be Roberto and Tanaka here on Stream 1 on the Galaxy channel. I, I so, too far, so Frank wants to come out. You go. You gotta put up, make the bar. Make it in the midst one. Make the bar. Well, you can hit with this. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Yeah, a fan could be faithful here. Ooh. Ooh. Now you gotta follow it up. This could hurt. You gotta hit another checker. That's a great start. Now I would make the three anchor, yes. Come on. Oh. No. No, don't give him double don't fours. Don't give him double fours. Make the make the twenty two point anchor here. Make the three point. So you don't want, want to come up to give him double four. What, what the, value that is that? Gives him double fours that way. I would have made the three point. It also slots the back of the prime too. So and then this There's makes eight, that, and then you come out to the five. Ball. Yeah. There you go. He's happy about that. He played that with authority. <laughs> Here, Victor is. Uh, Ian didn't lose a match in the team stuff. Or Ian didn't lose a match. Oh, good for him. Victor's. Call him the Raging Bull. I said, well, it makes it more like a raging calf. <laughs> no. It's a, it's a, but, but, put it right in there. Okay. That's a very Scottish like play right it. there. He's sticking it right in the hole. You got an anchor in the back. <laughs> Fearless and bold. Let's see. The criteria are being met. Not sure about the finger stuff. I just, just oh, 
So, so you're, you yeah. gotta, you you got a you got a flight, Brandon, or or something? Is that what we're talking about? So you're gonna be here? That's gonna be like double fives. You split them. No. Not in any danger of. Okay. There we go. Good. Okay, so Ian and Ed have uh, moved back to their home on Ace Point YouTube Stream Two, and uh, here we're getting. Roberto and uh, Tanaka Masters well, match. If I was a betting man, I'd be betting on Tanaka here because I think I mentally exhausted Roberto the round prior. Ah, okay. So what happened then? Well, that was uh, an 11 10 victory for Roberto. Was that which a, He did not deserve. Was that a qualifier or something? Yeah. Yeah. So now he's in the round of 32. Yeah. Okay. It was very, very mm. disappointing, Bill. And, you know, Roberto's a great player. Tanaka is a very good player himself. He's, he's not as well known as some of the other Japanese players, perhaps, but he's played internationally a lot. Uh, and three or four years ago, he was fourth, third, third in the world championship. Um, he's a good player, very good player. I think well, he's just go. not well known in the States. He's that well that may be true. That's true. Good point, uh, Frank. And, and maybe uh, this is him making a name for himself. He's come to Chicago uh, several times, but uh, Tanaka is a very good player. So they, they started, right? Clock's running. Yeah. So he's got this 4 1 is it? So he doesn't want to hit two. Just... That's, that's the thing he's trying to avoid here. It's a nice play. Oh, oh here this go. this one hits two. Whereas the other way, if he hit two, he would have fanned with those double fives. Thank you. Four one there. You hit two, but okay. Strong two back. So this will be a double take. Double. Ooh, double. I don't know about the take. I feel confident about cubing this. Roberto does not. He does not. Okay, interesting. That was a that was a big cue. Bring it down. Down for wood. He needs wood to cover those points or make new ones. That's that's another thing we keep with the kilts. Here was bold and wood. Here was bold and what? <laughs> wood. Wood. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, the third part of the yes. equation, so yeah. to speak. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So he's not in danger of being primed. He might later in the game, but when you're on offense, make an offensive play. Joseph Best used to say that. Playing 13 7 is very committed. So well, you still can't take this. Is this too good? Well, boom. Apparently not, says Roberto. If you'd have brought her down, it would have been too good to double. I, I'm. I'm confused. I thought he should have doubled earlier. Right now I think he's too good. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with you. Bill. Wait, what's Mr. Tansy think? Keep sitting there. Oh, you're actually there. I thought you were in the no. on the on the channel. But he's thinking about taking this. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. There's so Jerry good. sitting right behind me. So hiding. He, he's he's hiding from the camera. When you... So if you say it's too so, good to double and you double and he takes it, then this is a that's, huge error. That's the uh, holy grail right there. Well, that's what Ray used to always say that you know, hey, I shouldn't get dinged for my PR. I should get right, all the shakes to do a double drop. So, so what, what, what did you think, Jerry? Did you think? I think. I think. I think Whatever this is, it's a huge pass. Yeah. <laughs> I don't either. It could be too good. Yeah. But and uh, like, I, by I, the way, Brandon, I'm glad you got your ticket. We'll look forward to you getting in here tonight. Safe travels. I, but sixes are a problem here. So I, I think cash is fine. But I absolutely think you cannot take this. <laughs> okay. This is good. In the meantime... He's doing a lot of thinking. What do we think that Tanaka is considering? Why would one take it? Well, black, is, black has eight deuce point. 
versus yellow has a five point. Oh, hey, look at that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. I, I, and that's I'm, the end. That's I'm, all she I'm wrote. Fearful for the, uh, the, four and hit the loose. one game rollout here. <laughs> you got to make the four and hit loose. That seems like a good play to me. Yeah, you don't want him to anchor. Just go for it. Should be nice to have a piece of wood down here. Then he could be fearless oh, and bold. Ray Oh, look at this. Whoa. And. Clearly, Tanaka demonstrates that <laughs> Roberto was, in actual fact, not good enough. Yeah. Yeah. So he finds the four numbers out of 36 that... Well, this hits back. Okay, two. Well, he has two. two. Oh, it's double twos. Okay, so I like coming up to the six and then yeah. down to the eleven. I like coming down to the 11 and one of the yeah. 8 6. Let's try to continue the blitz of your fans. Okay, this is really what, what? You have to move at least one of Because if he comes in, <laughs> boom. He's in. His choice of anchors. Turns out I really don't know anything about this game. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing it for years <laughs> and years. They're playing a game you're not familiar with. That was hitting instead of making the five point. I'm, 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 I'm hitting. You you must hit this. You've got three blocks. You that making, means hit. I love making him a 22 point when he's got the ace of deuce paper point made behind. I, I'll just park it right there and say, all right. Yeah, you don't want to come up. Yeah, I, I, I like, agree with you. Jim. I like hit 20. It, you, like, basically, it's the way to win the prime versus prime battle. You got one, he does. So, uh, an interesting thing here is if there's a fan, if he hits on the fourth point, and well, a fan. Does, yeah. Well, he might be. I mean, that's the other two, right? Yeah, it, it's in that. Is it too good or not? State again. Oh yeah, that would be. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's even though like the boards are, it, like, it's all timing. It's all terrible. It's all like, still for a run. I mean, yeah, I didn't like that. Either. You know, I'm just looking around oh, at the and back of the room here, and, response and I'm noticing too. to myself that there's a combined like 150 PR back there. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jerry makes up most of it. I'm just kidding. Well, if you're adding PRs and Jerry's making most of it, it'd be more like two rather than 150, would it not? That's the joke, Bill. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's going on here? Hey, Rory. He was saying while ago, he was questioning. Brandon is coming to pretty Yeah, I know. He 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 wasn't coming, now he is. Yeah, he is. He just told me. Okay, so Roberto's got double twos to play here. He's cannot escape that guy. He's throwing away some connectivity, but this seems reasonable. Yeah. Okay. This might be one of those you play two off the mid. Yeah, two off the mid here. As a quick aside, you should see what happened over here. Yeah. 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 Now you got to clean this up. Slot the four, the three point. Yeah. Three points to the board. Yeah, as opposed to nothing. Exactly. Okay, just bring it in. And we still have waiting for further develops. Thirteen six here, I think. Yeah. Doesn't seem like that. Six for five. Oh, make that three and come off the thirteen. 
Yep. <laughs> it's not even that many. It's just five, three, and six, two. No. Oh. Some more creative thinking with checker plays there. Where's Petco? He's very creative. No, that, now he's got a strip position to boot. Two out. Two out. It's a race. You got to race here. If you're up, two out. If not, I don't think it's up. So that looks like the play. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some quick counting here. So that's 20, 32, 41, it's 5, it's 36, and 16, it's 52, and 42 is 9. Looks like 94 for black. Uh, 40, 66. Well, I can leave no shots at all. There's two more and break to 8 point. 92. And it might be the way to go because. 123 for yellow. Um, so yellow has to play a stay back and a game. Yeah, it wouldn't be diversified. So that's. I think black has to run here. So uh, Roberto. Leave six shots or two out. I know. I just run one. I'll just run one all the way. So the wins? Tanaka's home board isn't good enough. The problem with two in, the white or yellow comes out with um, both. Both, yeah. But he's got a blot in the home board. I mean, it's <laughs> and it's a five-point board he's facing. You cannot be cavalier. Well, there's a bold play from Roberto, oh, I think. Look at this. Could be right. Probably is. He missed it all. Well, who's up in the race now? <laughs> <laughs> Yellow's yeah, getting yeah, yeah. gonna stay put. Reverse stay put with the front or the back checkers and who's coming to front. Maybe make the ace point. Yes. There's gonna be a shot here. This seems reasonable. I like this play. Yeah. Well, huh? that's right. that's well, okay. So he you can catch one. Seventeen to eight and four to one. I have to go to the ace. Yeah. There you go. That was a good roll for Roberto. We should be happy about that. Ooh. There it is. There it is. You got to bring it down. Just go to the bar, huh? You got to bring it down. No, I, d I, I don't, don't like think. No, it's like leaving them. four, three extra. And then plus, when you hit, five. That's a great roll, for Roberto. Ooh, it's a great a reply, a better cover. reply, huh? And it, covers. And cover. So Roberto's gonna have to show us some, some real, something real here. Is that have to no. Lift his skill. No, that no. that's a fake four right there. Can you see that? That's a well, fake what's four. What's the race here? Ed, it's what irrelevant. Kind of race? This is not a take. I mean, the open four point is not a good thing, but two thirty-three fifty-seven seventy-eight. Are you black? You, this might be a take. Seventy-eight. There's a lot of a lot of traffic to move here. I got nineteen pips. So no, something wrong with that. Black's up 19. Well, 25, 45, and 24. And 69 and 13. 82 for black. Wait, that's Ed. That three, oh, no. Seven. I, I thought he was... Because I saw Jackers moving yeah, over here. It's 10 <laughs> <It's fish. laughs> Okay. Wow, you can't leave that. You gotta get out. Okay. Cover this. And you have to. You just can't. Uh, do you cover or do you lift it? Put it into the five point. Let's cover. I I put it into the five point. I think just cover too. Yeah. Because you've got threes coming. You've got four three. <laughs> you can do that. Never. Get off the threes. Come on. Not yet. Three two. No, three two. Three two. Yeah. Coming in is huge. Ooh, two okay. in here. Move off that uh, take away is double four. I think you um Why don't we bring in checkers in? in. Two, two in. It's better for the race and more wood and everything. 
That Four counts. Two. Right, we got to do two minutes. He's got one piece of wood. I'm not counting the outfield checkers. Are you suggesting that Tanako does not have sufficient wood? Oh, look at this. Well, that's what they say. About it looks it. like you got to go two in. Yep. And you're going to leave them nines and elevens. Or sevens. And sevens and nines. Muttering <laughs> good job. <laughs> so we've just watched so, Ed O'Loughlin mutter his way past us here in the, in the commentary area. And he's just headed back and he looked pretty grumpy. Six, and then Ian just marched past muttering to himself. <laughs> Looking pretty grumpy too. So, um, you can tell it must be a good match on the other stream because... Uh, it's about a worst. My calculations. Oh. Yeah. Oh, One. Oh. Two. So now we get to see an eight cube comfortably and you know with tanaka's creativity this might be gobbled up depending on what he does here it might i don't think it can i don't think he can this one up i think he's gonna choke on it <laughs> yeah that's it i don't think he can take this and Tanaka take this. I don't think he can, I don't but think he can. What, what do we have here? 20, 21, 24, 48, 56 for black. Oh, well, it's about 50 odd without the, the front block. Six for black. 47, 58, 71. 56, 71. No way. That's Michelle. That's pretty best. I don't know that anybody put it in. They haven't commented on it, Marcy. Huh? She transcribed. She's a Victor fan. What? Victor has groupies now? Hey, that's an improvement. With, with backgammon, we have groupies now. Yeah. I mean, that's a, Well, maybe that explains maybe why Ed was kind of looking a little bit grumpy as he walked by there. No groupies? No groupies. <laughs> well, I just think that past Ed was yeah. pissed that he lost two points, and, and Ian's pissed that he didn't win four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to mention that he was standing right behind you there, Bill. <laughs> Okay, so you Roberto can't do has a four anything zero. with a uh, no pencil and paper, no calculators, no nothing to answer one gentleman's question. Oh, and that's a wild and woolly play. That's bold and wild. It's too fearless and bold. Fearless and bold. Wild and woolly. Wild and woolly. <laughs> wild and woolly. <laughs> yeah. That was the David Todd play. And he's here. <laughs> oh, you know, that's one thing, and I hope you all appreciate it. We try to make the, the streams not only informative and instructive and whatever, we try to make them entertaining. And wild and woolly. And apparently. watchable. And uh, it looks like y'all should hit too. Let everybody have, have some fun. And that's the problem with making baseball. And we ball. have fun doing it. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Two blocks in the oh, yeah. Inside. It's a blast. I was hoping that, that he rolls an ace to recycle that check. You know, we have a number the real of. real wild and woolly is hitting, too. Oh. I'll Andy, step That over looks here. correct to me. Gary or the Gary? Uh, right there is another one of the, uh, one of the groupies showing up. Light it up. Yeah. He's doing it. Oh, Jerry just can't resist. Welcome, Jerry. Fight for the fight, everyone. This is a mess of lots. So, so you hitting two here? Double tiger? If, I think so. I mean, in for Ooh, a penny, in for a five. That was the one he wanted to hit with. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. He's probably going to have to do it again. So the problem with these okay, kind of more wild plays is that they get really hard to clean up. Yes. 
And that's why you you don't want to get into that kind of battle. Ooh, okay, now now we just go into a vacuum. But what you really want is that um, guy in the eighth point recycle. If you're gonna do that, see things are stretching out. It's getting a little bit well, just awkward. The eighth point. Yep. Hit, hitting not, time's over. Yeah. So. Yes, making the A point is good. And then that's because you're returning the position to something that you're more familiar with. It's more backgammon position like. You're coming back to good structure. The A point has great value. Oh. This is too stressed. This is badly disconnected. Oh, this you're, is... you're making a, a, a point near the midpoint that you don't need. Mm. It's like, yeah, two midpoints. Yeah. You don't need two midpoints, you need an A point. You, you know, I'd be tempted. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, you get, hitting two is definitely right. If he couldn't hit two, I'd be tempted to just make the 20. And they play from here, so. Well, that, that's part of this as well, isn't it? At some point, you have to t decide that strategically, you just want to shift to a, uh, okay, yeah, let's not. Stack. What are you going to unstack? Let's then? not do uh, this anymore. 13 yeah. or the six. If I'm un. un wow. That might be too soon. I'm, I might have been tempted with the other four points. You, you, you might, yeah. Well, like, you gotta put them to use. Might as well do that. Yeah, but if uh, you're gonna unstack, I think it would unstack the mid actually. But I think I like the the twenty one myself. Yeah. Just to make sure I get it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, these are future assets. That's what wins you games. Future assets. Well, the four points of future asset. But it's a devalued one right now. I'm yes. not so sure. Okay, Six. now you, you gotta get off the back. Something over there. Black, yeah, you, you Black can... is angling to try to make an outside pass. So 24 18 to me looks pretty good to start. S then split them all? Yeah. yeah, split them all. Yeah. That's what I like. Oh, he's keeping the two point. I don't like that. I don't like it either. I. Yeah. Two. So now you got to hit two here. Absolutely. It unstacks a six point. Both points. Unstacks. Brings a checker into so fields. Yeah. This is all good. I don't care if you hit or don't hit. If you pay my entry fee, I'll do it. <laughs> no, no, no. I think Rory's mishearing me. I think the power point's a better point. If he wants to take my action, point. I'll do it. Oh, yeah. You want to take my action, Rory? If you make the three point, then. There we go. Rory just walked off. He is clearly too cheap for this game. Oh, here. And, and so, what, what's been played so far? I think he's got. No, I'm making the nine point. Like. Nothing. Okay. This this is good. This is solid. That's that. Okay, so making the twenty point yeah. clearly. Maybe yeah, we... and the bar. Yeah, get the Very bar. nice. Let's get that bar. And Black okay. actually wants to roll two, so we can slot the four point. So so interestingly the this is the result of tanaka's wild aggressive hitting Any two points here I, I, he's I, I he's got poor structure he's got bad points apart from that five it's point there. anything on the thir 14 point on the how, how committed are we to the 23 with uh that was just the only that's where you gotta kind of evaluate the timing but this looks pretty because roberto's about to <laughs> Have to something. So this oh, maybe yeah. crashes yeah. the midpoint down. Do you bring two down here, maybe? Well, black is constricted now. He's yeah. got a little bit of a prime in front of him. That's what I'm saying. Maybe two down off the midpoint here. Well, yeah, you, you can. You need the midpoint is less important when you have the twenty. So yeah, and, and if he's going to hit you off the twenty, he has to give up the twenty. So it's it's. He's thinking about going to the ace point here. That can't be. I hate going to the ace point. No. That can't be the answer. 
I mean, you, it could be the answer, but I, I wouldn't like it if it was. You could came out with a five. But see, this, this is this is the problem with keeping two checkers back on the twenty-three from last time, not using one of them to come up. Because okay, it just come. It'll, it'll just come. To, yeah, all the way if you're doing all that. The way. Maybe you'll make that. That'd be four, four ahead of him. Four points ahead of him. So, what is Tanaka's game plan here? Why why is he making this type of play here? Because he didn't have an ace with the three. With the, um, but, he had a great three to come up, but he didn't have an ace. But he did have the option to to maybe come off the 10 point rather than playing 39. Yeah, I guess he just wanted to keep. <laughs> so now he can come off. Yeah, now he can that, up with the three. That definitely has to come up with the three. Looks like up with the three is 100% correct. I don't know. Are you not just running the, the, uh, the 17? You can't make another point in front of them. So. 17 to 8 here, isn't it? Uh, if he comes all the way out, yellow to it leaves 8. Oh, it's yellow to play, sorry. Two is just too much. Even double 5 is 6 is yellow. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, so, yellow, yellow doesn't have a... He doesn't have the time to hold both those back, back anchors. So he's... Absolutely have to come up that 3. And then, so you come up with the 3 and look yeah, around. Yep. Yeah. And... Yeah, it strikes me as going um, yeah. to the three point. I, I think so. I think the I think although you'd like positionally to come out with the six, it's just too big. If you didn't have the black there, then yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be a lot better. You don't see these kinds of games too often. Well, you just gotta keep it yeah. going, yeah. Okay. The, the one checker that it isn't holding down a point. <laughs> hit him. I, I hit, guess yeah. hit and continue, hit, right? Hit, continue. hit and yes. continue. Well, all there is. Let's see if you don't hit. <laughs> don't hit and continue. If you're continuing, you're hit. Yeah, you have to remember that, you know, Roberto has a three-point board and Tanaka has a two-point board. These are not big boards. People should not be scared of it. Yeah. Well, it's okay not to be scared, but you don't want to leave um, unnecessary it, shots. I'd come up. I, I wouldn't worry about that. Guy. Right. I, I agree. Because, again, you're in that position. Like, you, even but, though he's been rolling a lot of threes now, <laughs> he, he, can, he can get stuck back there. Yeah, if you don't roll a three. Yeah. Or, or break the five point to the 20 point, that yeah. is. I, I like this play. Well, what it does now, it constricts yellow. You can't be leaving blots around anymore like now it's um four point board now i don't know i i this think is, I don't i don't like burying to the ace okay so we can just throw that out yeah that, like dumping to the ace is just not going to happen so it has to come off the break, break the, the 11 point. or the 10 point yeah that's it this seems reasonable um, it's only a two shot, and mm -hmm. you got a chance of making another point in front of him. Yep. So this comes, comes off the of 20. Of yeah, 20 to 9 here. Okay. Yeah. Make that bar. Yeah. Slotted it. Now you made it. And now what? Mm -hmm. Six out. Usually coming out. You know. You don't come so out. thirteen does thirteen seven nine seven. Yeah, that, I'm kind of leaning towards just making the seven heavy. I don't. I don't the see anything else. The is um leave yourself wide open. Oh. Aces, deuces, and fives. Yeah. Looks like an H, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They're actually going to change the logo so it becomes. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> The, the H is now a So six. no matter what it looks like, the, the six, the um, nine sevens are going to do. Yeah. Unless yeah. you're going to bury the no. nine all you the way cannot, to the eight. You cannot bury okay. this. Can't do that. That's horrible. Yep. It, or you could just, yeah. Oh, uh, that's exciting, Roberto. You know, he doesn't have a lot of wood to pop yeah. him. But is he fearless and bold? 
when you're heading the race race, that's another... Oh! <laughs> you know, it, the, the shit is automatic, and you find no. your six. It, <laughs> now, given that there is only awkward this sixes, is and this is ugly oh, no. after the six hit, one. do you really have to hit this? I mean, you is really it something like 13-7 and 6-5? You know, if you come out off the two point, you do fives all over the place. What? But then there's sixes too. You can't come so off we, that two point. You cannot surrender that. Yeah, we, we That's far too wooly for even you, <laughs> Frank. <laughs> that is wooly. You know, that, yeah. it's called a dilly builder on the floor like that. Oh, it worked. Let's Yeah, Do they have any noise okay, in the room yet? Got a kind of a disjointed position. That's uh, not, not great. You could go four and I'm going to bring up the stream here so I can see the comments. And, um, I did. Go to the two point. It's no blats. Wait for further developments, I guess. Uh, this is you can't. There's nothing else. I don't see anything. Well, else. good afternoon, Santiago, Chile, Chile. If you if you uh, is it gonna hit? Figuring he's got two anchors. We got the two anchors. What are, what are we afraid of? Well, dance, dance, dance. <laughs> Why you dance? You dance okay. Man. Well, it works. Let's see if you can put that so far, to use. He needed a two real bad. He, he oh, hit. what happened here? Well, this is awful. Yeah, but it's still a double shot. Wow. I guess we're hitting. You <laughs> have to hit, hit, and I guess you got to continue, too. Like it's it's numbers, continue. Right? Oh. If you continue, there's more covers for that mess over there. Yeah. Top tips for all you new backgammon players. Don't roll this kind of crap. Well... <laughs> Yeah, cube it. Just don't. Just roll better. It's a much easier cube game there. when you roll better. If you if you hit one of those, it's big. I, that's 20, it, 21, it, 22. If you miss, it's coming right back. <laughs> well. Okay, so yeah, if there's a fan like here, five. I think Roberto, I think this is a double, and I think it's a big oh, pass. Now, now it's probably too good. It's probably too good. No, he, we've seen Tanaka's work in this space. And there there might not be such a thing. Oh, that Tanaka was a quick pass. Passed. That was even closer to me. Like I said, it might have been too good. But, you know, he double because um, he's a deep taker. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the yeah, off chance. Deep, deep. Yeah, I suppose the score there is a variable too. You have to have a better structure to get that in. Yeah, now that he won that one, has a big lead. He's probably not going to be as frisky taking the cube. Right? Or as willy with his plays. Okay. Is this nice and easy? Okay, we got uh, both sides that are kind of stacked okay. positions here. I guess you probably want to make the three point. You got to make the three, point. three it unstacks the six. And make a point, that's good. Uh, you don't want to split those back checkers into that attacking structure. The four point has value too, but Roberto was quick to hit there. Okay. Hitting this huge thing. I'd um, get loose. Yeah, I think hitting's right. The ace point? Yeah. Well, Black still has yeah. three blocks. You don't want him and to consolidate or make another point. He's got lots of good stuff he can do if he gets his full roll. The Black is um, real close to the. <coughs> so it's a. The score he, has, he has to hold off. Oh, you fan. Dude, that's now. why you hit. And now you gotta roll. Do we know where Roberto stands in BMAV? Is he a grandmaster these days? No, he's not. He must be no. just short of it. You, you got a choice here. You can make he, the ace or no? hit. I think he's. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't think. I'm pretty sure he's not a grandmaster. Okay. You can make the point or hit. What do you do, Jerry? I think I hit. So, send the second man back. Make it 
two men back versus two men. He would have fanned. He would have fanned. Now though. Well you're in here. So how you're many in here numbers? and he's got the he's, he's got, got, a, got the five point. This this can be a double. It, it, I don't think this is good enough. Even even that score. Even with this deficit. Uh, now, make, now I think make the eight. eight. It's a good blocking point when that comes in. I don't know what he's thinking about. Thinking about hitting again? I mean, it's not the right play, but that that's something he, he's hit before. But I, I just... Yeah. It's, it's your last builder in the board. Like, it, so... Last builder on the six. Yeah. You're supposed to make points in these situations. Yeah. Eight points is a good point to make. Now, now that you got three guys back. Over on stream two, it looks yeah, like Ed is is whipping up on Ian. So. Which is not a good thing, usually. And he goes for it. Uh. Oh. Okay, so you gotta hit you and then get to the bad. bar. Yeah. yeah. But that's gotta be nice. <laughs> <laughs> there are times when it's right to die in that anger, but yeah, that's too ugly for my taste. I, I... Now we're getting it outside. Though. I, I would go. I would make that now. Brandon likes the eight. Would, I think I'd preferred having the he's cover. He's kind of saying that he's, he's okay. probably not going to continue the blitz, so he might as well get, make the ace point. Eight. And now the eight points of valuable points contesting the well, made like the 15 anchor. points is uh, called for. So, yeah. got to just keep it simple here, the, I think. Yeah, 21 you know, to 15. Ace, if you leave too many blasts off, you'll have two in the air for most aces. Yeah. You know, you... you mm, maybe, there's, maybe the splitting play was better there. Ooh, makes the five point. Nice. Looks like Bill has finished his sandwich. Uh, just twenty four eighteen. Yeah. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give up this spot. Let Bill come back to it. <laughs> I'll be back to terrorize all of you later. Looking forward to it. Just have the kill town. <laughs> I'll be waving my fearless and bold all over the place. <laughs> And he'll just hit and lift. Dennis Culpepper, welcome to the party. And this is, I just gotta do now we are just... Much else? Nope. That's a lovely hitter. Last is a fine game now. Y'all are just scrambling. Just you want to come out here to the. Uh, yeah, the sixth. Yeah, looks like you're asking for trouble to put it on the 18. Yeah, I don't want to get outside. double hit less. Yeah. <laughs> that what you're thinking? That, that, that's, that's what I'm thinking. You don't want to get double hit All that force. All that right. incoming. <laughs> and it makes you not be able to make a point with this 3 2 if you're going to hit. <laughs> I think you should hit. And bring one down. Yep. Yeah, but on the ace point is causing the burden to be a little bit too Dead hits. Got Ouch. Him. Make the floor. Wow. Point. That's that's a big That's huge. That should that should be that may end things. Let's see. He hit back. Well, he hit back, so Maybe not so fast. Uh, 
You double in here? Yeah, I got four men back, and I'm up five nothing. I'm not. Thank you. Front in the back. That's a, yep. There's, it's almost like there's a there's a gravitation pull. Yeah, or something you, you, to you, get you, those you guys know, going. You got to get those guys moving, and now's a good chance before he gets any yep. more wood over there. Right. I, you kind of kind of learn that if you don't get those guys moving, it's gonna be your front that gets destroyed later. Like <laughs> it's like you can you can pay me now or you can pay me later. What the the, the danger yeah. later is is uh, yeah. you know is often worse than up front. That's why yeah. you do it now. Yep. But it's harder to see that. You can see the immediate danger now, but you can't see the long term danger of not making that play. That, that's what that's hard about looking that. Ahead. Okay. Painful experience. <laughs> uh, I think you just, just get off the eighth point. Yeah. Go on, gentlemen. And look for a five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ed got revenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The Chicago oh, Bath. Yeah. Yeah. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> right, let's go. That's what I'm doing. Yep, that's me too. That's, you don't want to sit on the bar and the five point. <laughs> Wait, stroll okay, through. Make that, make that yeah. point. Make it. See, all in one spell swoop, he was in trouble and found the last good anchor available. You hit with about half the deck and you dodged the bullet. <laughs> uh, so Black can make the 10 point, or 15 point. I don't think you get the anchor up. Right, I think you yeah. just go to the mid and slot. Mid yep. to three. Nothing fancy. Yeah. We'll play for something lines. That's not play. <laughs> a lot of bad games. Sit around, Wait, roll your eventual doubles. Is don't <laughs> it will, it will be said. Yeah, it's often right to just wait until you have to move sometimes with these. It looks boring, but boring is good sometimes. Yeah. Right? No, I mean, that's why, that's why people avoid writing books on these positions. It's like, yep, do nothing. <laughs> You, you were thinking about leaving a shot? No, don't do that. Mark's <laughs> got a solid position. We have both five points, which is very strong. And leaving. I'm not sure. What, what's the alternative? Uh, make the. Make the yeah, the um, makes the three point. That's the alternative. Do aces, but along with aces, you're duping six five to eights and sevens. Yeah, there's just no need to do anything fancy, other than like I'm a backgammon player. I should be doing something fancy, but it's not. It's not how this game works. So it looks like you just come around. Got nothing else. Maybe around and in. Three's got to go right there. That's yep, the three. That's the three for sure. Probably um, Annie's best. You need to hit there. You only got one number to hit back. <clears throat> yeah. And just bring yeah. it in. Nothing fancy there. Okay, oh. makes the bar. It's a good, good roll. Works, so to speak. Can make a point. Make the waiting game. Yep. Both sides are waiting for further <laughs> developments. This comes with development. Ooh. Looks that, like the eight that, points gotta go. Yeah, now now getting hit is quite bad with that four. So. Make the two. That's me. go to the ace. I make the two so that I can cover the. You can't go to the. You can't break the anchor. Yeah. Nope. You almost got to do something and try to leave something. 
he's thinking about it. Okay. Must be. He, let's put it this way. He's not spending all this time thinking about whether he's going to the ace or making the ace. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> he's probably counting the race. Yeah, that's yeah, if the race part is, of it. If he's up in the race, which it looks like he is. You can just tell by yellow's got five yeah. five guys in, in yeah and the, the outer board out he, there. You talked about looking at leaving the anchor. Is that what you think he's considering? That's what we think he's. That's considering. what we yeah. think. Yeah. There yeah. he goes. Yeah, yeah. he did. He, he's got a strong board, so he's thinking that's a mitigate. Okay, just come around. And so far, it's worked. so far, but so it, far, it, it it's often it's often. This part of right. it. Right. It's like a two legged power. Right. You got to do do dodge the well, initial, the oh, initial the numbers. Three goes to the yeah, dead spot. There you go. Yeah. That's just sevens and tens. All seven. Eight numbers. Ooh. Yeah. Make the ace. Eight point, I guess. Yeah. You, you don't want to leave a shot here. Black's got a very good board. Oh, beautiful number. That's a great number. Well, can't leave anything. Yeah. So, whatever you play, it's going to be up front. And then black should be counting the race. <clears throat> if black is sufficiently up in the race, he should be done with it. But I don't think I don't think black up that much. Mm -hmm. 104 to 95. This is a it's camp. It's close. It's like dead even. I think one fifty percent. Now what hurts yellow in the race is got three guys in the ace board. It's yep. not a good well, ranking position. He's, he's also so you gotta add some of that back. Got some sixes that leave shots as well. And then so he, I I just go to the midpoint and hope to clear that point next. And not waste any more pips. It seems right to me go to the mid so you can clear it. At six one, six two, six three and um that's a compromise. No, that's not. That's that's not good for the race. I'm no, going deep there. It's well, look at that. It works best if you have <laughs> double twos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. right. That's and now. Now you're gonna be wasting more back or before. leaving a shot. <laughs> Trade offs. That's what it is. Black and white one more time, probably. Black's got nine. Ninety-five. Mm -hmm. Plus a little more wastage, but probably nothing quite. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Yeah. 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 Five tips. Yeah, it, there's, there's nothing here. Yeah, there's five it's, tips. Yeah. Well, two down. Two down could be right here. But it's five pips, though. But but I didn't, I didn't um, count the wastage on yellow's part. Right. Fearless and bold. You died, baby. <laughs> no. I don't think so. You're hurting in your race? What's the other way with it? No. Now you can make the six now point. Now, now you, yeah. And, now you, uh, make you know, the six, I think. Yeah. The black hits, and there's, there's a potential for lots of blacks. Well, if he didn't do it now before, he's, <laughs> not gonna, yeah, now he's going deep again. 
this is how races get lost. You, you know, when it's close to your you race with a bit and you start dumping you, checkers you're, you're five on your one, ace point. Six one. You know, it's like a vacuum cleaner. Once you start Four going one. there, it just ace point just <laughs> sucks it all up. <laughs> Saving sixes. Saves. I'm not sure if he wants to save a six. Not, like the race starts to make it like maybe you don't. Because if you roll a six, you're just going really deep. Just make the five point. Oh, well, I do enjoy Call it. Call it a day. It's better for the race if you make the five point and go to the four. Okay. There's the max. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a two point back here. We're just yeah, yeah, waiting yeah. for oh, yeah. somebody to leave a shot. Yeah, yeah now they just so leave shots on five. That's not double five. Oh, Ooh, great so number. Lovely number. It's fabulous. Just, um, yeah, yeah. just don't get a hole. I, in double. Yeah. In most oh, variations. They're going and. Uh, See, I wouldn't leave a hole in that's a saving not, not so good for the are ruining the race. Chances are nobody's gonna lose nobody's gonna get hit. Chances are. He's like you saving get... fours in case he misses or something. I mean you gotta just cube here, right? To... I think so. Is it cube? Well it looks like it. He doesn't have the four point. Just yeah. so he hits and uh he... It can pass so, and three much, one, three one hit. Yes, you know, three. For a position like four, this, it can't change it that much, right? Because there's not really gammons at play here. Three, this four, is just straight. Like we're we looking at the race. Don't be afraid of those pipes. <laughs> oh, you want to get closer? Although you know, I've heard that they can be a little wild. There it is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a take. Plenty of they're five just, uh, ones. <laughs> yeah. No, they're just one five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was including six one with the five ones. Okay. And six two and five two. Okay. And we just it's get It's going to be rate. close. Now we're going to find out how bad that four hole is going to be in this race. That's why I did not like that play. Likewise. Okay. Hasn't hurt him yet. Oh, that six was huge. Oh, that's a big Gig that was taking, huge. taking off one this turn. Now, hopefully, enormous. he saves a t full turn on that. Oh, oh there's a four already. Oh, that stinks. And that, that's that might be yeah. early enough. It doesn't matter. It depends on how many. Uh, it depends on what. If, if yellow misses or yeah. not. Yeah. And he can miss us. He's to. Tanaka's going to have to do All something. right, that's the last yeah, miss. Yeah, that's the last miss for uh, Roberto. Roberto. It cost him a it looks like a full and, roll uh, that one if, missed though. Yeah, well, no, that was if, a great roll. If Tanaka doesn't miss and Roberto doesn't roll the set, Tanaka wins. Well, there's gonna be a uh, moment of truth for here pretty soon. Ooh, that's a that part was part. not so good. But he's still hanging in there. Still taking him to uh, you need to get yeah. two high checkers on two. High four would be good. Now uh, we got a gap. No more aces for Tanaka. Well, it's the last roll. He's two biggies. Oh, that hurts. With the ace. So now, okay. forward to give yourself. Well, that's double three. That's not double working, threes. That, that was the wrong wrong ace. You could have got double twos, then they wouldn't have needed another double. But now it's double now threes. Four threes. Four threes. You three, put double threes up. And he's not going to get the opportunity. Well, it ended up not hurting on that four hole. Seven nothing. Are they looking like they're taking a break? They are not. You want your seat back? You can you it. Just, you know, <laughs> give a jab around for that. Make noise. <laughs> it puts Frank off his game. <laughs> Argue with Frank? Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to liven it up, okay? okay. Instead, we need some disagreements, Frank. Okay. 
there needs to be balance, you know, to, to counter a fracked good players, you have to throw out some bad ones. <laughs> Oh, sorry, yeah, Matt, just to have a quibble with Frank. Yeah. Okay. Are you quibbling already? A friendly quibble. <laughs> well, there's been no room for quibbling <laughs> for with the first three moves here. It's a pretty standard it's back It's fight for the five for him. He should keep it up. You better fight for your right. It happens a lot in the early games. It's just fight. Nobody's got a board. So you want to make the best? Thanks. Oh, you look yeah, do, you, do, you, do you hit loose to continue yeah, fighting? Win. And I would go out. Go on, go I would go out. If you hit loose, he comes in with an ace three or six. He covers yeah. anyway. I would go out. Trying to stay off there. This way, you can end up with three guys back Five instead of two. He did, but he wouldn't have made it anyways. He just made uh, the five. Get, get, the, get, other get five. your twenty. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, we had a little quibble then, so King's, he's happy. There's a little <laughs> quibble going on here. Apparently, that uh, you can hit the outfield. That five-point blot is immune, but you yeah. get the get that one the hard way. Now he can have both five points, but if he gets lucky, no, oh, he's not. Thanks. Okay, you can blot it up here. Finally, and finally, it goes away. You can't leave it uncovered forever. Actually, they'll get it. It's a four point. A three, what is it? Yeah, four. Three can. I don't know. Hit. I hit. Yeah, you got enough this. Okay, you make the five. No, you can I would, uh, put, I would put heavy. Hit. Yep, that would be me. You're you still bad sixes. You, no, you, you're place. winning the race. It's we got it back in back. You would have fan. <laughs> You'd be a legend <laughs> in your own in your own, own mind. No one else's mind, but in your own <laughs> mind, Frank. Legend in your own mind. You like to hit also. No, no, I did you not. Like no, oh. I like three up. So you're fanning here. There's no decision. Uh, yes, the seeds of anarchy have been sowed. <laughs> <laughs> Kids work is done. <laughs> I'll be back after the fighting system. Oh, sure. Fire. You get it all started, then you leave. Where's the referee? Where's the referee? It's just come out. That's all yeah, you got. I mean, you know, it's yeah. begun now. In the meantime, a lot of these sixes okay, were bad. And six so we had to make a choice as to whether to... But now, yeah, well, you just keep. You had to keep the twenty. Just rolling it. Ow! It hits two. Do it. I don't care what Dennis yeah. says. Yeah. As much as we hate agreeing with Frank, we're we're gonna just be forced into hitting two. <laughs> Why well, you're you're guessing now too? <laughs> I thought it was just Dennis. I I will. I have some. I, con be, I have some converts. I have some, I, some converts. I will. I will. Oh, look at this! Adjust my allegiance. Make to the, the bar and yeah. then look around. Okay. And do not go to the ace point. Yeah. I know Jerry wants to go to the ace point. No. I no. I do not I, like that. I, I did you know, like, I don't know what I like, but it, it gives I you. I don't want any part of putting one on the ace. Okay, make oh, the four. Look. Look, eight to four. Is David Todd Silver so Burrow did that to try to make make a prime out there outside prime, and now uh, here it comes. You can make the nine or the ten. That looks correct. Hopefully, you can make the next one next time. Just two out. Oh, make it. Could you make can't it. Go deep. No, but you could make it. He's going to swing around. And look, you're under immediate... Uh, I'm not sure giving up the five points is the right idea. No, I think you should have come out with the both. You know, come a, out with uh, both or, or even make it. A double ace pops up and it's over. I'd have had to look at that one for a minute. That's so you six, get, five. Just, just come off, yeah. I mean, he's got five men back. You're not too worried about getting blissed off the board here. Well, it's, uh, it could happen. It's been ten point away. If he gets out to five points, it's fine. 
It's the five point away. Ooh. Yikes. Okay, a four prime is is a night. It's longer than you yes. think. Four primes, is, and this is a four prime. That's and four. Right now, what right now? Wait a minute, he's down seven nothing? Isn't that it, doubling? I would certainly pause. I may go. Um, I make the four. And I may go up to the five point. point. Yeah, that's reasonable too. Yeah. Well, you, you, you kind of want to make that do it. No, 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 he should go all the way to the five point. That's you what I was to saying. Go to the five, so you can hop out. Do you want to flood the outfield? Yeah. You're not worried right. about and defensive posts. I don't think. If you're all a five, you can't do it. No. So oh out. yeah, you can. Out, yeah, out, yeah, out. Come out. Yeah, yeah. You there you go. There you go. That's. Yeah, you get it yet? Uh, okay. Q, Q. Got to Q. Got to Q. Double, double, double. He, 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 he okay. might have something take. before that, right. but he definitely has something now. Right. Yeah, I would have been thinking, uh, I would have, I may have cubed the right. roller two before, because given the score. Right. Yeah, given the score, yeah. given the brilliness, it, it's going to be a while before he's, he gets turned around and he really isn't going to be really gonna be used against him uh, coming back. He can't so. possibly be taken. No, it's not a thing. Yeah, this is. You have a great score. Just uh, I think Roberto's gonna find the pass button here. Huh? I think Roberto's gonna pass it. He's, he's up seven. Yeah, and uh, can't take it. No, I think he missed a leg. He probably should have double back right. in. Mr. Tanaka is on the you know, board. When you're down seven, nothing. You gotta do early cues. Yeah. You, you, you mean you can't get like 10 passes and then win the Crawford game? It's, it's really. Yeah. <laughs> it's more of a tempo play to keep, keep the opponent off guard. And that sometimes make, make sometimes with the lead, you refrain from that type of play and just play boring, but it, 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 it's close either here. way. This is the kind of blitz that uh, most most players don't don't like. They just force to it. Kind of comes. The, the, the old school players hate making the ace. It's like, well, yes, they do. Let's <laughs> make it. This is this is a good roll. It yeah, covers and roll. keeps all the structure. Gives yeah. no targets. Ooh. Gotta keep rolling. Yeah, it's. Let's put it this you way. Have Re in the zone. Real, Re in the zone. real easy take at the score. This is only nine in the zone. The, at zero zero, this is a huge double. Nine up seven, nothing, seven one. But you have nine in the zone. You're way up. Ooh, great number. Two in the air. Now that, that was too good. It ain't too good. With the idea that it comes in with one, I'll get two down for sure. Actually, maybe three down. One into the five. One into the five. Think about the last one. Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go. No, I, I, I wouldn't do that. That's a little cautious for me. Yep. Yep. He came in with both, right? Now you think about. Yeah, um, he's going. So. What Ro no, Roberto has Delta done is by making that anchor is, is he's really reduced like those gammon losses on, on his it, side. It, exactly. So that that now you know you're less worried about the rewhip to four and losing a gammon. Right. If he and, if you you don't you know. attack him with as many numbers, but when you do right. and get hit back, they're not so costly. Right. Right. So. Well, the thing is, he would have had another. Or after the three two, he would have had another builder. Yeah. Plus he, it would have been an easy pick. It might have been too good at that point. Plus he got off the Joker double threes as well. I can't believe Not I missed the crowd. did. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hits. Wow. 
Hit, the hit, long arm of the law. Hit, hit a nine. No, 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 nine and four, sure. No, no, nine no, and nine four? and hit. Nine and hit. I'd, I'd rather have the five point than that. Nine and hit. Let's just say there's lots of good things we can do with this roll. <laughs> Come down. This that, is a nice looking play, though. Yeah. 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 It, there's a it lot looks, of ways to play it. There's a lot of good things. Like <laughs> oh, that one looks good. Yeah. And it's and, a hitting contest. They make the ten point. Just thinking about a cube or something? I'd make nice four four point. Point. I like the four too. All those stacks are just he's, too heavy. He stripped on both those points, yeah. so he, he exposed a lot of blocks. If he oh, <laughs> it's it's a lot of that Oh, that's make, a great make the bar. Yep, he's gonna see it. Great shot, Brown. Point, ten, ten, ten. Point. All right, everybody's doing constructive stuff. Making points. They're in the outfield, but points are points. Okay, what's this? Two down sure. here. Well, well, who's up in the race? I think two down. But two I'm down. not sure. That's my gut instinct. Two Wait. down. Yeah, it's me. So you're agreeing with me now. I'll oh, point that out. Do I now? <laughs> We, we have a grievance. Oh, okay. Let the record reflect, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you both just got hit. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, Dan said it first. <laughs> Let the recrimination begin. He wasn't begin. sure. He just joined me because he had it in a while, and he got punished. <laughs> he got punished. All right. Now, hold on a second. I... I don't know. Like, if I were, okay, I, I would have paused I there. And at least count the race and like get my bearings here. Like, if if I'm above fifty percent in any position where I'm down that much, let's let's think about. It. <laughs> I, mean, I, I agree. With that, 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 back you got to get back to the match. The match is running yeah. out. Well, the gammons are just one way. Three away, ten away. Okay, now, now it's... Now he's got a board. Now, now he's got a significantly less appetizing. Although I still want to know what the race is. So. Okay, this is a shot. An interesting play. Make the outside and hit loose. How about... Bar, or you can five just five. slot the five. That's good as well. I don't know which is right. That's what I said. I like slot the five. <laughs> yeah, slot the five. Probably so. It's just two, two more shots. I'm not yeah, kidding. it's it is more than numbers. Which it's one more shot? Um, which play cleans up better if you get away? Yeah, the idea is to make the five. Probably the five. Probably not sure, but it does force squeeze them up sometimes. But I think the, I think the five. I'm liking the five. Yeah, it's only Everybody one more time travel. Four minutes left. Oh wow! I think I like this. How about you, Jerry? Uh, uh, I have one. See, I think I would have hit. I think I would have gotten hit back. It covered. Yeah, yeah. and smothered. I'd started started with it, then I waffle house. Converted over to this. You were cooked. All right, okay. good shot. Three down. See how he makes the right play and works out, Jerry. I'm, I'm young. I, I'll, I'll learn one of these days. Okay, you ran out of time. You got you got to go. Gotta get out or you'll years. soon get cubed. But he's counting the race, which is the correct thing. It doesn't matter, almost doesn't matter what the race is. If you sit the back race, there, you're going to get in trouble if you don't come out. It, it seems like yellow's not going to leave you anything before you run into problems. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which he gets, uh, if you don't come out and he gets another builder or two in there. You know, double four. A chance of a gamma four to get him secure before you ever get it out. Pound away. Yeah. 
Which, in all fairness, we roll those. They're good numbers, anyways. Right, so. so. But then again, sometimes this is your last chance for a number of rolls. Uh -huh. Nobody counted the race. It's close. I'm gonna come on around for the time. I'm gonna make the two. Yeah. Slide them both. I slide them both. I don't think the bot will well, care. Well, I'm trying to jump around the this stuff like that. Actually, he uses, there's a lot of slack. This kind of thing. Okay, now you count the race, and, yep. and if you're up in the race, then you get out the midpoint. He immediately moves those two. But he knows. He, he's already counted kind of the race. None of us can. Yeah. <laughs> We're lazy. So he must and that's and not that, that, that back end and being lazy when you're actually playing. Well, exactly right. Behind. Must must be if he if yeah. he so can't he's not the ace and come in with. Thank you. That board is not good. Board doesn't. Um... Oh no! You don't do that. Oh, that's correct. Do well. It's bad for the race when you start going to the ace point. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's good for the race if you start rolling. It's nickels. really good for the race. All right, Trudeau, let's count this race here, guys. Well, there's a one pip advantage outside. <laughs> Ten pips. Off eight to one, I'm not sure. Ten pips. 17 to 80. This is double. This might be uh, this, this. This might be uh, ten pips, right? Yeah. Oh, he should. He shouldn't kill yet. I, I, uh, I think it's double take. I'm with Jerry. I think uh, like he's racing cubes at, at least on the initial side. If you get to the, you know, he's. It looks he, like he, a double he, take. He's closer to. to he's he's on if the. Oh, uh, he's above seventy. Why would you want to let your? Uh, they both have four crossovers. The 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 re and, and it's an easy take though. Right, because because he's got wastage on on the on the ace. He's a little. What was it like? Ten pips. Yeah, ten pips. Ten, ten raw pips. Ooh, look at that! That, that does it. Just roll around. Really just take him off. And R Roberto just doesn't want any drama. Now he's just. You can reset the clock. <laughs> Well, in all fairness, I wouldn't do it. Two or two. See, he's starting the two months. That's how it starts. Like Roberti, he can't roll sixes and fives and then the two. Got to uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wasted a good roll for next time. He's cashing in all his the superstition of that kind of thing. <laughs> There's a limited supply. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so it's, with some people, there is no limit. <laughs> Except for that one guy who's always been. All right. This would be going for the second biggest comeback in a 11 point match. So, what's. This? What's his chances? Why don't we turn away? 
That's an excellent question. So what question. is that, about 4%? That seems about right. It's... it's I, I'm not good with the small numbers on these. <laughs> I always forget which one is which. I get to, like, 1 away, 7 away, and I know that's a little over 9%. Supposed to hit. Then I mean, I, said, don't I hit too <clears throat> Wow. Uh, Roberto, Roberto let me tell Eddie he can't eat in there. <laughs> oh, that's a good comeback. He's breaking. He's breaking, he's breaking the he's bre boys' rules. He's breaking the rule. Somebody's he's got him. Breaking the rule. Make the five four. Okay? You got both boxes. So, yeah. this is very strong position. It's just the rule, Ed. All you have to do is it's not too here. <laughs> he wants to run up to five points. Fine. That's one less five points. We can. Little constriction here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just come down. Yeah. Don't leave the yeah. chat. Again! Yikes. Wow! Ooh! No shots. My, 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 my. Why would you leave a shot? That's what I said. No shots. There's not many plays that don't leave any shots. So that's the play I'm choosing. Good point. Yeah, he, that he, one out. he ups to give up the bar rather than put six checkers on the five. Okay, now make some points here. Both of them. All right. Okay. I think, I think shots the whole, are coming. Oh, world! Too bad he can't double. So not going to lose this game. Hey, I'd like to leave a shot somewhere. Okay, looks like getting out the five point here. Go, to, go all the way. Wow. Everything else is. I'd be ready to keep the five point. And just leave the two blots. I would. I would play uh, down into the four. I guess. Yeah, seven and three. We can't go to the four. Ah, uh, three, seven and three. Yeah. Come on, Dennis. Well, that, one, oh. that one scared me. I've yeah. been holding my breath as soon as I picked my dice. Now I'd make the bar. It would really constrict the sixes in the future. Slot the bar over there, then Q. Even if he comes yeah, in. That's, that's a good uh, point, too. What? He's got two left? Two left. Oh, okay. Maybe he's, maybe this, he's yeah, going this after is, that. Check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put pressure on that. All right. You definitely. You gotta cube this. Well, it's Crawford games. Crawford games. Okay, I would not cube this. <laughs> I mean, depends on what they'll let you get away with, but but I, I believe that is in a, theory. If it, is, playing... it, it is a violation of USBGM. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We're he's it's going for playing by the rules. Yeah. Is what he's trying to do here. Ooh, Ooh two four, four. Not not gonna hit loose. Just gonna hit on the ace that he found the probably the worst entry now. But would he roll again? Probably not. No, uh, coming in's good. Yep. Yeah, if you roll a deuce, you know, you get an anchor. Gammon's go way down. There it is. You know, you can start working on the board. Maybe. Just leave that guy out there. No, maybe closer. The shot's got to be close. I don't know. I'm going to get six to three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess. You're building something. Okay. That is. Four. Down the corner. Less blocks. Know. You don't want to make the bar here. Just come Yeah, in. you're just going to go to the four and down, I guess. I don't know. Need to break We're in. Yeah. No, I don't think I'd leave no, three shots. No, that would be a shot. Yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't leave three shots. Correct. Whoa. Double aces, all right. <laughs> Paint the point. That's right. Start building the board. Here's a new game here. I, win. I wasn't sure. 
It's right to uh, play 24, 23. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So if he points on you really soon like this, a fair amount of gammons in here. So you, and the, the board you built like two so or three rows would ago. Would you, huh? You would or would not have done it. I would have Gammon probably played matter. 24, 23. Built the board later to prevent. And now that it's in the air, it doesn't crash. Because, because you're, you're, you're not going to get a shot in the next couple rows okay. that were uh, uh, going to be game winners. Yeah, could you imagine being on the ground and rolling double six? That would have been bad. Yeah. I think you just I, would pay, I would pay it. Yeah, you know, need to pay it off. Yeah. Come in. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> He gained him this variation where he comes in. And he comes in just in time that he's the game is going to be close. I think he's an underdog, but it'll be close. Start ripping. Yep, start ripping. Two minutes. Michi says rip. If you read the book. Yep. <clears throat> Up and down, crossover, crossover. No way, such. I don't just make the bar. I'll make it next turn. You may want that spare on the top. There's a hold about iron and four or something, right? Yeah. If you roll an immediate double four, though, they have to play an awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, where did most of Gammon? Why Gammon? Yeah. Yeah. It's a whole another game. Oh, Rippy had to think about Rippy yeah. instead of. But this this lets you this lets you rip more in the future. Like you like you make you are you are so safe. It's a speed board. It makes right. more like a speed board. You get two off with more rolls later. You're supposed to count the crossovers. What is with these the board? Board? Rolls. six checkers do not each side. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go the red roaring. Okay, he's slowing down. All of the check. Oh, don't worry, it's just come out. Don't wanna put any checkers past the six point. I'm wasting it to get off the camera. Ooh. Mr. Tanaka is serious about shaving a game off of this comeback. Ooh, double fours. Mm. Two. You should, three. Just, you should just go. Just go. Move 12, 12 eight for the third one. Just go. You're, you're not, not getting you're not getting the shot next time. Like zero yeah, shots now. How am I gonna wait? And so you might get out of there. You might roll double aces or something yeah. and sweep you and then you get ganned. Yeah. No point in staying. Plus the misses. First miss. All right, big favorite. Say, Burns got it. Just um, not roll small. Uh, that's not a miss. Closer. Okay. All the way. Fourth. Is it? Is it? Yeah, I think that's right. This one here. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's it's like the opposite of um in the bear off in fire too. You don't want to be. Jerry, do you happen to know that one? I you gotta get don't the know guy him in for sure. I'd have to. <laughs> Bring him in. Got, got to bring one in. Hundred percent, not closer. Is it the um, he's, nine, he's, eleven? He goes, he's counting well, eight to see if he's. Well, this is the six two five two. You gain on. This cannot be right. It has to be more, but really. Well, any ones or twos misses. This way, I. Uh, What's he have left to play? He has a two left to play. I mean, like, he's, well, he's he played 14. four to two 
as a candidate for this news. And that is, so this is any two or three except for the doubles. That's 17 misses. Or all aces. And the other one is... Uh, all aces and twos. All aces, all aces and twos. Plus two, three. Yeah, they're playing. Two, three. So it looks like... Uh, it looks like four twos are correct here. And he's looking at that. But then four two does yeah, one does two and three. Yeah, this um I'm sure Roberto will get it right. <laughs> Whatever it is it's his match and he's he has to put two up there, then two plays. So how many minutes to do? No, one one doesn't play it. Two, two still gets a guy. Five, uh, no, it does. It looks like four two. This is probably the right. It. It. He, he was probably he probably made the right count. I can't count when people look. Yeah. Missed, it, missed, it missed, missed in all variations. <laughs> So just as in life, nothing you do matters. All right. <laughs> and we would like to thank Jerry for his positive outlook of the day. Yeah. <laughs> this has been Jerry's no, ray of sunshine. <laughs> but if you think of the bright side, he's got a free pass. I think I should know that play, you know, which is right. better, that, but I don't. Well, I mean, you've seen the variant where, like, you, you're deciding on an ace, right? Like that's Oh, yeah, you get to get it past the 10 point. Right. Yeah. It, so that one that one doesn't come up as much. Maybe, maybe Roberto is close, is having to play a gamut and save an awful lot. And so he has a lot of practice. Maybe mm -hmm. that's why he was able to. I think oh, you're a slight you favorite with the four one. You're never in that kind of stupid yeah. position when you're desperately trying to save it, right? <laughs> No, because I passed back back. Yeah, here. exactly. And I don't have that I don't have, uh, have that skill set. Exactly. If you're not gonna yeah. get in stupid places where it's at risk, you don't need to know. You just pass and you don't need to know that stuff. Exactly. You don't win many matches, but you don't need to know that stuff. Exactly. Yes. There you go. <laughs> well Tanika wants to make a board, that's why I made that. Ooh, I like the pride. They, they both of our points. When you have the post Crawford, blitzing is not a good strategy. Yeah. Yeah, so when you're when watch. you're the leader, this is a beautiful. If you're the trailer, it's an excellent strategy. You're not in the so it's like about 18, 18 or 19 shots. That's, that one is like, no. Yeah, I don't like that at all. No. I'm going to go with yellow with Dark Tail Pick, though. <laughs> but goddammit, I like you beat me for this. Jesus. Oh, yes. Okay. Great. Great. No, just, no. Roberto's taking all the drama out. Yeah, he's just burying him. Actually, he's been that way the whole match. Just make a point. Wow. Saving, getting something from that ace for me. Hopefully, something happens. Hopefully, Roberto well, doesn't make inner board points so easily. Now no, you can bring everybody down or make points. Hey, no, bring, bring them all down. You can make the points later. That's right. Two yeah, more down. Spare the five. Spare the five. Perfect. Yeah, it, it's like the uh, you you get your spares that good, you can just assume you make one of those points. Like even if <laughs> that's not strictly true, you just assume that you're going to make. What? Well, let's be, you start having six problems right here on the very yeah, next roll of this play. The, I, the very next roll. I can't imagine this. I mean, some of them make points, but six, five, six, six four. making points. Correct yeah, shots. Is. He didn't make his five points. That's probably going to hurt. Now, here it is. Okay. going to make the bar leave an ace shot plus two six. <clears throat> and whereas the other way, he would have just made the three. And, yeah. And... Very happy. And then he would have had the three two. Now he still doesn't have. I just come in late the two six. 
You got lots of wood for the Yeah, three. that's me too. He, I, I can't but put four I, guys I, on this. I mean, this, this oh, the two is up. It's up to five. Yeah. Or three. Yeah. Five, four, getting interesting. Oh, look at this. Could be a problem next time. Four and two. It's sticky. Boards are sticky. This is the price you pay for not playing properly early. That's right. Well, that's not a very big price. No. Yeah, no. He, he just, just clears his bar point without incident. So. No, but, you know, he has, an un, he has a non pleasing hole in his board. He's your set and done. I mean, Even though we just watched it. He's not going to enjoy his threes unless it's, you know, one of the good ones. No, he'll... Or double oh, threes, double threes, and six he'll, he'll love yeah. double threes. But it has to be a... Oh, here, oh, now, this is not yeah. a good... This See, not and good it's made a more future offer. Good Dennis. Now, we can't leave a shot, so you have to do that. Couldn't uh, stand it anymore. Frank said something mean to him, and he ran off. <laughs> he, he, he plays the winner of this, so we're going to put a uh, right button. Right. <laughs> shot right now. So, five, two, five, six, five. Five, you say. Five, five, that, that, four, that's got to be one, right? Yeah, that's why you made the bar last time. This is the appeal. Yeah. More off the merrier, some people say that. I got a top tip for Tanaka. Hit the shot. Rolling in four would have been a better idea, but, you know, like, the, the dice haven't worked out for So you're going to run into the six here? Do that. Yeah, I think I might get squeezed stay. next time. But if you're in, you might get pointed on. Might get right pointed now. on right now. Like this, this would be completely okay, game get over. Get out the six point. Yeah, just off, off, off. Oh, Roberto continues to have problems with that hole in his board. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, that's go. bad. That should be. I saw the curtains in. How many does Roberto that's have us? Yeah. Two, four, six, that is a good match. Oh, that really put it away. Insult to injury there. Roberta has been taking the drama out of and a lot of his match with some. Well, the guy gets boxed and you get two yeah. one. Boxed and two. It's. Or, no, he got boxed, but. Right. <clears throat> it's over. Up a little bit. That's it. This is over. All right. Congratulations. It looks like a giant luck box. Okay. Thank. Uh, congratulations for Roberto. Thanks to Jerry and Dean and Dennis and Frank. Actually, uh, Dennis plays the winner of this, uh, and we're planning on. Uh, Putting him right here on this this uh, table, this stream. Ooh, then we need Frank to be commentating. <laughs> huh? We need Frank to be commentating there. Wow. Oh, there's some thing. debate going back and forth between those two. Oh, hey, let's see. You were the one who threw the apple of this story. Oh, yes. But that's fine. Design. Okay, yeah. so we've got another match coming up soon. Plus, right now on... <laughs> The Ace Point YouTube channel on stream two, we have uh, Ed O'Loughlin playing Ray Fogerlin in the Masters round of 32. And on stream three right now, we have um, Kit Woolsey playing Greg Merriman in a Masters match. And, and truthfully, I'm not sure which uh, round that is. But as soon as I can uh, find out where Dennis ran off to, we'll get Dennis and Roberto playing here on uh, stream one. And we got 120 people in the viewing room right now, and I only see three likes. So uh, be sure and support the streaming and the streaming platform in the tournament by... Uh, Hitting that like button. Now for the until we get this in the next match going, Dennis and uh, and Roberto will uh, have Ray and Ed here on stream. Uh, 
on stream one so they'll be in effect shared between stream two and stream one so Rays, uh, they haven't been playing long. Rays jumped off to an early 5-0 lead. Now if Ed can get these back checkers activated and out of here, he's in uh, pretty reasonable shape to uh, maybe get back in the match. Okay, Ray and uh, Ed charging along here. Ray's trying to salvage something out of this game. Said Ray, I'm just getting settled into the seat again after I took a little uh, dinner break. And thanks to Jerry and Frank and Dennis and others for sitting in and contributing. But actually, uh, Ray is in the predominant position here. And it would appear as though Mr. O'Loughlin is likely about to go down 9-0. These guys, uh, we need to lengthen some of these matches we've got going here. These guys are killing me trying to keep lining up different uh, different matches. <laughs> that is correct, Hector. I don't know what... The problem is Rory received these uh, FM Gammon boards for as a tournament sponsor and use in the boards. And I think one goes to the championship winner and maybe one to the intermediate winner. And uh, one side just doesn't fit perfectly. Same thing happened at the... Uh, U.S. Open in uh, Las Vegas. There was one of them. One of the two boards was like that. Here, both of them are like this. So, uh, you know, have to make do. Maybe they were out of the same batch, but obviously they need to make uh, some sort of correction in the process. But uh, we still appreciate their sponsorship and the boards are the beautiful boards. Uh, you just had this slight, uh, slight flaw. A friend of mine in Houston bought one recently, and it was the same way, very same way. And, and it's really a very small uh, dimensional problem. And he ended up uh, actually uh, sanding down his checkers just ever so slightly on, on every checker. And... Uh, <laughs> And they on, yeah. We got Ray and Ed, and then uh, Dennis is going to play Roberto here in a few. Yeah, Greg Merriman. <laughs> uh, so uh, looks like whoa, well, that didn't help. Ray was trying to make short work of Ed in this match, but uh, and he still might. 
fucking nothing. It's got a two skin. Yeah. Owns it. Good on you. Shot. Not over till it's over. I would suggest Ed hit this. <laughs> now he's now getting getting BG'd. And it sure enough will be quick work of Ed, right? That'll be it. Double hair. For several reasons. Oh, I'm sorry, we turned it off. I'm sorry, Tar. Thank you. <coughs> okay, that's for sure. You know what? I think you're just supposed to run out. There's four numbers of BGM outright. Plus, he could roll an Well, eight. you roll aces or eight, Ed, Ed two one or what? Ed, see, now, here's another thing. And Ed can't say he's got to go, and he may not be able to. Double aces, two one. He's got to okay, go. Okay, he's right. out. You got to go. The match is over. Come it, on. It would be Come really, on, tight, really hard to win this if he, if he did hit. If all the good happens. He still can't win. Almost. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be, He'll have at one best, up. he would pick up the a 15th checker, right? It's 7% to with win, the, win with uh, one checker in the air, but it's got to get in the air. Looks and like you probably have to close it out, right? I think he's lamenting. Well, see, the thing is, if he gets gammons, which he's going to do, then he goes down 9 nothing. So he goes, what's that? Maybe I'll just shoot it out here. But he doesn't, he doesn't have nothing to put in position. He has he got nothing. Holes. I mean, it's, it's one keys. thing to take a long shot, right? It's another thing to just <laughs> yeah, that, set that's, fire to 100 in your hand. Or you something. know, the worst is what? 2-1? And that takes one off. You know, he, he can roll 3-2 and get bad gammon. It's got to be a 1. <laughs> and double double ones is no picnic, so it's only ten numbers. I saved the gamut. Yeah, Ed, you know better than to even consider this. But he's a Hall of Famer, so he's gonna do the math. Come up with it. I think I can do that math. But it's it's um, big numbers, and it's it's real hard to do. But um, with one checker in the air, closed out, it's about 7%. So in order to get a shot, he gets a shot on 10 numbers, and he hits a third of those. He's only hitting like, like three times three of them. You know, and 7% of that, you know, it's just, those are minuscule. I take my chance going down 9 nothing. And if it, if it does happen, it's only five to two. Yeah. It's not like he wins the match because of it. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, he knows better, but he's trying to convince himself that. Uh, My mic on? Yeah, no, it's on. I, well, maybe I'll finish my candy bar before he makes a decision. I mean, I, there's no justification. But then again, uh, whatsoever. If he's going to make a comeback, he needs all the time he can get. <laughs> Don't run out of time. <laughs> but he plays pretty quick, so. So he's saying, what's what's the odds of being down nine nothing coming back? I don't know. I don't know the papers that well. <clears throat> but it's a lot. It's probably like 3%. But then again, we figured out it was less than that. Yep, he's like, yeah, yeah, that's it. New game. He came to his senses. Uh, yeah, you can stop you can't beat it. Though. It's a gammon, Ed. Just. It, Ed is. You can always tell when Ed's a little upset. So, so checkers kind of go throwing checkers. 
bumping yeah, they, the cube. They just fly around. Usually not off the board, but slam and checkers. It's just nothing personal. That's just his personality. He's been doing it for 60 years. I've got some insider stuff here. I was uh -oh. just at okay. the Fogel and O'Loughlin table. And I was watching Ed think about this, and Ray kind of looked over me, and he just, he had the biggest grin in his face. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maybe I mean, Ed's trying to change the momentum with that long pause. Yeah. Ed looked yeah. a little bit angry, I have to be fair. I think he made the right decision, though. With the, Obviously, uh, and, and of course, Ray would... Uh, Take pleasure in aggravating a situation, particularly when he's winning. Yes. <laughs> this is the Fogerland way. Well, particularly all the time. <laughs> okay, Ed should try for blitzing positions, and Ray should try for holding positions, simple positions. Because you don't want to get damaged. Ray doesn't want to get damage positions, and that does. Because that's the only way you're going to come back. It's the only effective way to come back. Well, this is spreading them out. Open it up for a blitz. You don't have a point. You got to double up. There it comes. I'm not sure. The kind of. The I'm not sure that was a take or not. You got a lot of easy passes. I don't know. At nine nothing is it's really hard to find a pass. I just saw Dennis walk by there, so uh, Dennis and Roberto should be on stream one shortly. I just come down for a minute, that's what I do. I like that play. All four down is nice and tidy. Ooh, I think maybe the four point and the hit. You can hit. Eight to four. That's got to be the best play overall. Oops, Ray dances. Ray doesn't. Fly no, that, was a, that was a big two. Big two. But he can. Uh, now we can wait. Make the bar. Of course. You can't make the bar. <laughs> So 11 6 and I would, 13 10. I would leave it there. Yeah. 11 6 13 10. Do you have a better play for it? I got no board. I just leave it right there. Bum, 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 bum. Yep. No one down. There he goes. He's doing that. There you go. Ooh, oh no that's not a good number no you don't want to slot the five point here Anything no five or double three is not a good number i have i, I did i have thank you nope this is gonna be unpleasant for ray okay so uh tar reminds me here very soon and it May coincide with the end of the match. Ray and Ed are going back to stream two. And we'll be featuring on stream one, Roberto and Dennis. Roberto Litzenberger, Dennis Culpepper. You know, when you got an advantage like that, just press it and keep pressing it. And that's what, that's what this play is all about. <laughs> So just pressing that advantage. Here I don't like making lots and some board and yeah, I'm the two point. I don't I don't so. like making the five here. I want to come down 13-11 with the two. Uh oh, we got more builders. Oh, oh. wow. Okay. Look at this. Why well, you got to hit him right there? So what? I guess both up. Like they say, my mama said there were going to be days like this. <laughs> you know, you can make the five. Okay, good luck, Dennis. Anyways. 
And gamins don't really matter much. That was a big roll. That was like huge. Just huge. And more than offsets raised set of uh, threes. Well, it's over. Unless um, Ray gets a late shot in the bear off. Oh, that anchor is critical. I just slot the bar and 11. I would just bring it. Nine, I guess. I wouldn't leave any six here. I would not. Getting it out. There you hit one there. Then two out here, surely. Get out. Just no. get out. You don't want this double three stuff. XG says, uh, is always looking for those um, anti jumpers that kill you, like double threes. It's not that it was so bad, but it would have eliminated all this time. <laughs> so, so yeah. I just want to. Who's um? Who's the other? Ray just wants to dance and keep dancing, so he keeps his board. If he comes in, he's just gonna have to break his board, which is not good at all. It's hanging back. Yeah, yeah, it's hanging board. back for another he can checker. Get, take pot shots at the. Guys, looking at is double threes uh, gonna kill me if I stay there? And. Not so bad. You can wait. I think it's more about hoping that Ray crashes. Here we go. Now Ed put the checker in. All right, he played a legal. Didn't see the play. Okay, well, Ray got what he wanted. It looks like it's going to happen. Looks like he's gonna be a I was thinking about um, leaving the voluntary shot. No volunteers here, just 63. It, it doesn't seem to be uh, there's, no, there's no benefit. You kill those sixes. If you leave the yeah. shot now, he'll get, he could get hit. Very hard to do if you go. Oh, uh, that's no good. Heavy. You don't want to crash on fives. Looks like um, he's not going to have a five play on that side of the board. Well, I guess he is. Look at this. <laughs> Could this be a BG? Wow, look at it. Ooh, Ooh, it is a shot. Five. A shot. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's how the professionals luck, do luck, it. Luck, yeah. luck <laughs> box. <laughs> I think you need got to get out to cover that side of the court. What are you doing, Brandon? Oh, I figured 18, you'd be headed to the 13. airport by now. <laughs> That was a great number. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was bad. Okay, so you got to come off go with 24. Well, yeah, yeah, right there in the five. Um, yeah. yeah. That's it. Hope he doesn't roll aces. And straight into a double direct. You don't want the second checker hit in this. this in these. Keep going closer. Do not get the second check right. That's how you can lose. Quickly. So at this point, Ray's game plan is uh, is to remake that six point in a hurry. But he's got all those dilly builders on the four, three, and two, and he's got to really activate them and use them at some point. He wants to use those to make the one point. Yes. <laughs> so at what point does he slot it? Because, I mean, really, you need to build a, a bigger board. 
I don't think he's had an opportunity. He has been coming in too fast. But when uh, the time comes, we'll, we'll take note. Another thing, you really want to keep that spear on the 24 point. Yes. Just, just in case bad things happen. Just the one, two, or one, the one, two. You got, like you got an ace in the hole, so to speak. Pun intended. <laughs> Well, the five out that makes a point, and you don't want to make that 14 point. And that, that can roll six something big and just hop right over all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, run that. No, no. Oh, really? Now, that okay. was a chance to slot the ace point. It's hard to it's make the six when you've done that. Hello. <laughs> this is called overrunning the position. Two, three. Now everything's on the same point. That's not good. That's it. well, all he's got. That's it. That's all he's got. Oh, oh this is fantastic. Oh. Look at this. Now, do you give up the 1-6 and slot the ace here? Well, that's still giving up the 1-6. Well, if you... <laughs> Slot it, it is. Well, you have to get another three to play. Okay, and there's so another you can, you, you can go open it up now. a block. Now there's some possibilities here if the if the dice cooperate. That's a cooperating okay. shot. If that's cooperating. Hit that. And um, if he hopefully there's a hit hit here. Look oh. oh, do you? I don't think you hit. He doesn't have to hit. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's no gamut. That's something off. So that seems about the right line. Three rolls here plus um, 18. That's um, two and a half rolls. That's five and a half rolls. Ray's got more. But he's rolling first. So Ray's looking for a, a good chunky set here. That's not a chunky set. Well, I think it's um, is that gonna be good? Okay. That's a small chunky set. Okay, so this should be yeah, important. It's hard to see on the screen, right? It takes my eyes uh, a little getting adjusted to every time I look over there. It may be a little bit of adjustment, but it's it actually shows pretty well. I mean, once you're maybe accustomed to it, I, I think it streams well. Okay, she's going to switch it over to Ed. Here we go. So what okay. happened? It looks like they haven't scored Ed anything. Won. Ed won. They're still playing. They're setting they're still up. Going. Yeah, I think they're giving up on it. <laughs> That's the thing. Maybe. And rightly so. Okay, we have Roberto versus Dennis. Dennis was just commenta commentating here. And Roberto, uh, Roberto's match. Well, it was pretty good because uh, <laughs> Dennis just got to scout Roberto for some time, didn't he? That's right. Maybe you can pick up some pointers there. I'm not, I'm not sure he, he pointed those out if he did. Well, he he did get a good solid education up here in the commentary booth here, did, didn't he? So. Yeah, I gave it to him. Yeah. <laughs> It seems it, it hardly seems fair. Dennis has had some recent coaching. Well, I'm in a position to to um, commentate on Roberto and Dennis, so I'll be doing that one. <clears throat> Maybe every once in a while, look over at Ed. Maybe you can make it yeah, this is the one that the common the sound goes on. So that one's <coughs> just for our viewing pleasure. Okay. Well, we'll throw oh, out an occasional update if there's yeah, something yeah, of yeah. note. Yeah. Throw in an occasional update is fine.
Okay, we got a 5 3 here. Looks like um, comes down and split. Right? Did he make any moves yet? I would have. He's worried about the big stack coming down. So. That looked like the only good play. I make a blocking point here. Yeah, the nine point looks pretty good. Uh, that's okay. interesting. These guys, they know each other well. They're they're uh, they're both Virginia guys, are they not? I know. So, yes, they are. This looks like an uh, eleven to four play to me. Do we have an eleven to four? Any votes for that? No, they could have been on the if Rivera didn't come early. Yeah. So Dennis is here by himself. So we ended up playing with the Japanese club. You can do that with one person. Okay. Roberto really wants to pound, but uh, he can just do that. Hey, he can run away if he's up in the race, and um, that's unclear. It does look so, like he's got a lead after so this. Got to count the race here. Plus eight. Roberto's up. I think it should run. I think Roberto's up. He was up two, uh, two pips after that. Oh, would that not have indicated an all the way around? You gotta make the point there. <laughs> well, what about doubling here? Come on. Yeah, that makes the four point. Counts. You know, you know. Got a strong position. Should have doubled last. Oh, four. Four six. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. The great escape. So now we just gotta wait. Here, do you have a block near race point? About, just make it. That game is all about taking advantage when you have the chance. And um, well, this didn't work out like that. At least not yet. But um, Robo had a big chance to just. Crush in here. He couldn't do it five four. Double slot. Double yeah. Yeah, it just gives um Roberto a chance to run away. I'm gonna try to run if he can. I I'd run now. Up in the race. I think he's up a good amount now after his double fours. Well, yeah, he's up a, a good amount and uh <laughs> Now you got to cover a point. And Dennis just amazing. didn't have that many points to, or that much ammo to to try to do anything to the block in here. But at least five, two, and four, three, which is bad. So normally you want to, if you double slot, then you really need to make those points. But the thing is, if you just hop out with a, let's say, most four one or two, he just hops out. Um, Dennis has two blocks. Yeah, exactly. So Den Dennis so should be looking yeah, to make so he, an invitation. He's got to cover yeah. the point. Yeah. I, and look for an ace. I think I'm I'm playing eight to three, four to three. This is my play here. Yeah. I mean, it's all well and good blocking, but if <laughs> if you can't act on it afterwards, then. And now. I think I just stay there. I don't want to get hit I'm outside. leaving that guy there and playing like when you get hit outside, you lose more nine, four, eight, seven, or something. Yeah, bring one in. Yeah, so nine, four, nine, five, eight, seven. nine, five, thirteen, yeah, uh, 11, twelve. Yeah, that one. I like that one. Well, that's not a good number at all for Dennis. Uh, oh, he's clearing the blacking point. Like you can't no, do no, you have to. I mean, twelve to four. Sure, no, no. So now you just you can run away from it. 
101 for black. 32, 30, no, 37, 56, 60, 82, 102, What was black? Well, somebody said 101, and somebody else said 102 for, for yellow. So somebody was off a bit. I started counting too late. Well, this position has to count. And 65. What? No. Must be close. Roberto must have kind of already in, uh, so determined in a men, close yeah. race, so that's why he's not doubling. We don't know what the race is. They're rolling too fast for us. So so next time, we'll try to count it next time and stop. So go to the five point with that one. And uh, yeah. Bring it into the six point because it diversifies your outfield numbers. You can put them in different places. Eight to four, slot to two. Mm -hmm. So you can't tell, but there are five checkers on the six point for Roberto. Okay, so, slot to three. I'm not going to run out of threes because. Six is stacking the six goes six to three. So that's a five. Yeah, I got it. So. I think this must be a double here. I haven't counted it, but I feel like it is. So it's 55, 57, 64, 68 for yellow. Uh, 48. Uh, nine, nine pips. 57. Yellow's up nine 14, pips. 71. So it looks like a double to me. You have nine pips? No, there's five checkers on the six point. One guy says, What's the name of the Scottish commentator? Can he do Willie from the uh, Simpsons? I've been wrong before. Uh, <laughs> That's a nice sport. Who makes that board? <laughs> FM again. FM? I don't know. Willie, Willie from The Simpsons is a bit generic. So any kind of Scottish phrasing will, will, will often suffice. And what's the race now? We're down 53 for yellow. Six, one pip, I think. And one pip. So I was wrong. Fifty-three versus forty-six and nine is fifty-five, fifty-seven. That's so it's a no double. You just, you just gotta roll. That's four pips. You know, you four pips. Four pips. Yeah, and one pip. Seven. Well, we count the differences. Yes. Yeah, it starts with six. I mean, plus six. Oh, that was earlier. Yes, yeah. 11. <laughs> plus 3. Black is stuck 3. Got to be a take. Four, five, a 4 pips. I, I like this double, even though the pip count is not like the double. distant four. enough. And this is a comfortable so, take. What, what do you do? Dennis rolls 3 1 or 4 1 or some nonsense like that. And he's just got nothing. Looks like a space. Take. Thirty or not then. Oh. Um, 53. 50, 49, 53, is that it? No. 33, 45, 49, 53 for yellow. 46, 56. 50. No. No, 57. 57. Yeah, double take. Ah, uh, this is the Roberto way, isn't it? You get the Cuban, then you get the Joker set. Yeah, there's an art to it. Doubling and then rolling the Joker versus. <laughs> Although, in fairness, Dennis got to witness this in the last match, so he's aware. 
This is not surprise technique. So you want to stack them, make your doubles take off as much as they can, and you're stuck in the race. And feel it every opportunity. Okay, it's looks like. Uh, I don't think there's any wins in this. What you do is you pretend you roll double sixes and then play your two. Right now, before you play the two. Because <clears throat> that's the only thing that's going to save you is double sixes. And, and well, no, it's hurting. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to look, uh, just a quick update across the, uh, across the screen here. Eddie is uh, continuing his rally. He's having hell finding a four. There it is. Funnily enough, I was observing a little bit of that match, and Ray had multiple shots to, that looked like game winners, but he just kept missing them. So right now, he's probably making interesting noises. Okay, two nothing. Oh, looks like Ed's coming back a little bit. Yeah, nine to time. four. Nine to there. four. It was nine zero, and he's back to nine four. So. If it gets real close, we'll switch it back, right? We could. We could uh, Tara's got her headphones on. She's listening. We could. Uh, Looks like he's supposed to make two points here. I I I much prefer making the three. Yeah, it's, it's such a huge swing on double threes or six three. Especially double three. That's an aggressive Five, slot four. right there. Well, well <laughs> I'd hit on the deuce. Hmm. You can't just stack hmm. another one on the eight point. And hitting on the five point doesn't seem right. Gotta stack another one on the eight point. The other play, of course, so is just a run from the, the other back. play comes out, but yeah. it leaves all those shots and then a lot of them hit and make the make the bar point. Well, board. Roberto's in trouble. He's making the Talbot plays. Two and make the five, so <laughs> <laughs> It didn't work. No other way. No. Oh. Yeah, what about a cube here? This is a double pass. Unless you're thinking you're gonna think it's too good. Well, you, it's in the air. You if you're in the air. It's, uh, your opponent's in the air. Try a tape, but in this position, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't he double that? I was going to be too good. Unless there was... Oh, great. Ooh, number. Nice. I think just make the four point. Yeah. No, I like this. This is a good play. Yeah. yeah. So he's not gonna even better box. play. Yeah, he's not going to top it yeah. up. Now he can make the two point. <laughs> to go with the one point. I didn't even get a rise from that. It's so disappointing. Okay. Yeah, the Scottish are always looking for a rise. It's going. Mr. Steve Blanchard just showed up out of nowhere there. Steve, the Steve Blanchard. That's not just any old Steve Blanchard. It is the. Well, you know, I think you just got to come down 13 8. You can't leave a double shot. Right here like that. Is, that. is that better than the three get off the three point to do that? Well the three point anchor has so to be him. has to be an improvement on the two him. point. The thing that yellow has is the okay. what do you do? Open Where's a the bar in the room? Sounds like a lot of 
Let's see if I can bar over there with all the talking I going. I can't imagine Dennis uh, uh, Roberto taking this. Ah. Uh, that explains a lot. And he's not doubling. Why is he not doubling? Oh, it comes in and hits. He's back in the two point again. Oh, no, David. That's a great number. All these, all these are doubles. Yeah, it's like it's been a double for now. Roll after now, roll Dennis, after you roll. you have zero excuse. Just well, now it might be too good to double. Well, I, I don't know. There's there's no way he's taking this. If he does, I can't wait to play him. Wow! Oh. Can't wait to play him. I don't have as big a problem with the take. I don't. I think it's tight. I think you can hit. You, you got so many guys in the, on both ace and deuce points. It's you can't play that way. Yeah. However, it's, Dennis still ha his checkers are spread out. They're a long way apart. It it covers. Make this. Yeah. Make the three and yeah, hit. Yeah. Make the three and hit. Ooh. That's uh, the well, door is closing. Have to make look at this three. Slot you slot must come up to the four point here. You There's don't no, have any other three. You don't have any other three. And that's the problem with making the ace and two pointer. You're, you're, you don't have any timing, so he's got to do that and hope for the best. Yep, <laughs> yeah, yeah, best. Switch here. You go five one. I don't, know. I don't switch. I think it's too early for that. Uh, don't switch, but you know you can just come two off the anchor. I think two off the anchor. I don't think, I don't think lifting there is right. You want to make that point and just the. Uh, I'm not he was afraid of him. I'm He's like, got a better board. It's not the time to be afraid of him. Better like board. Okay, now, now you can hit him. You can hit him on the ace point. The fight's being told off. Point. No, he didn't hit him on the ace point. This is um, not looking good. Okay, you hit him on the ace point because you can't cover. Frank has determined that a checker on the ace point must be hit. <laughs> well, you, you couldn't make the bar. So if you don't make the bar hitting on the ace point, it's the next best thing. You say hit him on the ace point every roll. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. It, eventually you will. Yes. So I would have came out there with the five because he's not going to hit him on the ace point. <laughs> 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 so that this hits in the outfield. Oh yeah, from yeah. Uh, twenty to twelve. Yeah, this is huge. Get another guy back. Do you see it, Dennis, or is he just trying to figure out if he wants to make his ace point? <laughs> Making the ace oh, point now. Yep. Be a play. Look sorry. at that. He saw it. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. There he One, goes. He finally did it. Two, now it might not even three. Right. I wouldn't do that. I, I like distributing the thing is spares. If it comes with two five or two six, then you got like multiple shots at it. It doesn't matter. There's no threat. You want to place your spares where they need to be. Six. Is that all three? That's two. a lot of um, sixes. Let's see. Yeah, three. Way to get away from I don't think I worry about it much. Nah. You just want to get him in, get him in, and start taking him off before he rolls a two, and uh, gets off the gamut. I can get everybody in. One, two, three, three, four. four. Yeah, I'll just start peeling. Meanwhile, in the Fogerland Laughlin match. 
Looks yeah, like right. Ray is going to squeak on another point There's here. Two. Oh. Needed that one. How are you supposed to feel here? A clear. Well, you know, just clearing. If you don't right. clear, it's kind of ugly, though, isn't it? Even though a 6 5 leaves a, leaves a shot, it's usually right to do this. And leave three on the back. Point I, like I'm that. playing two in here. Because your big doubles yeah. go are so big. An off or two okay, off? If you take two off, like six two leaves a shot. Five two leaves a shot. If you do, I suspect that it's just one off from the four point is the way to go. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, R Roberto should be um, getting off the backgammon and making it to the board. Those are his two priorities. Getting off the backgammon number one. And it is Crawford in the Fogel and the Rockford match. Leaves a shot. Take two off. That way, if he gets missed, big double does not leave a shot. In practical terms, Roberto has only okay, got the hit the a shot pathway to victory make here. The four point. So he must make that home board point. I won't worry about the two ways of pips here. Because it's probably going to get gammon, but if he hits that shot, he wants to have something. None off. And four to three. Yeah. That's safer in the long run. And you got the gammon locked up if you don't get hit. So. Ooh, clear I mean, appeal. I take two off. Any big two leaves a double shot, which is very bad. The gammon is pretty clear locked up. up. Yeah, um, then, I I think yeah, I like you, you this one. You got the G regardless. I think. I mean, big set. Same. One, two, three, four, five rolls. So five rolls, forty pips. Yellow has more than forty pips to, to go. I mean, you know, a four two or a. I mean, a four two is bad. But maybe there's four, two, not too five, many. Two, six, two. Oh, not the big yeah. twos. Even three two is not good. Oh, three two zone. Okay. Now, when you run off to try to save the BG. No, you, you have to off. come out with the five here. You must leave from the back with the five. Yes, I think so. I mean, the backgammon chances are really no, small, only, but you don't expose that, yourself uh, to it. Which you wouldn't have if you're all deuces. Oh, any any ace is great. Now he's just got to. Well, no, you don't. I just stay. If it was a big set, everything but two one and double aces, three one, four numbers. Would get you back. <clears throat> so right the now, payoff, the payoff at an ace. So the way you make this play now is you you play as if you've already hit the checker. No ace there. And that's that. Uh oh. Yeah, that right. No. So is there an angle? Two one three one. He's out. No. Oh. That's it. Just a gallon. Just a gallon. All right. Now, Ray really got the other match at 10 to 4. Up on that. And they're playing the, is it the Crawford game? Yeah. This is the Crawford game in the other match, yeah. What's some of the rooms saying? Do we have any questions from the chat, Bill? No, kind of quiet. Did you uh, see the announcement today? BG Online has been resurrected by Stick. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. 
Well, you know, he doesn't come to any tournaments. Well, he was in so. he was in Vegas, wasn't he? Oh, he I stopped by. Well, that was it. Except it's no longer going to be four. That's nope. what he said. No longer going to be what? He said that he's been whoring. Now he's he's not going to be doing that. He's bringing back the site. He's retiring from whoring. That was certainly the impression one got from his post. <laughs> <laughs> he posted that. He used that word. <laughs> He, he used that word. I would not have made that up. Okay. <laughs> no, there you go. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> no, in Stick's case, it's quite possible that he did. Yeah. Let's find the example. Yeah. Yeah, this is the... Um... The bliss can work here. A two would help. That's just a big runaway um, number. Six out, five down. Dude's four to come in, four to hit. But he, the other is is two down, but two down leaves too many. A lot of blocks here. You're you're like hoping for a dance. And you did not get the or that, I guess. All right, well, this 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 could work here. Would you like to hear this language? Yes, we're we're gonna get to hear a stick announcement. After taking a few years off post scoring and pleased to announce VGO is back up and should be fully functional and running like it once did. It may take a minute to get the users to start visiting again like they once did, but I promise to do my part to revive viewership. So VG Online is back online. And uh, okay, which was, was a very good forum to talk in 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 um Talk about what's going on in Bad Gaming. That was kind of the trailblazer of blog. Of like, no, 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 it's no, kind no. of like a. That was Gaming U. Kids it's kind of like site. a Twitter, right? Yeah. A he Twitter for Bad Gaming. Yeah, yeah, although it was. If you used to post yeah. on BGO and need your password reset because you don't remember it from years ago, send me a message, give me a text, send me an email, and I'll be able to reset it. So the viewers should. Okay. So BG Online. BG Online. That so, was great. Up. It, at one time, that was superb. Yeah, people were lots of chatter on BG Online. I mean, that was the, oh, kind of the only thing at the time. Wasn't it? Yeah. Well, let's not detract Online from thing. current uh, yeah. options, though. The Backgammon Strategy Group on Facebook is very oh, no, active. I, I don't dis disregard that at all. Yeah, yeah there's, it, there's a lot going well, on there, we too. We've got to jog our memories here. That's what? we got to jog our memories here, because <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. Well, well you know, uh, he, he hasn't done that in quite a while. It's a lot more competitive situation. Than mm -hmm. you. you know, this is the right play. Um, Roberto can't hit with the... Oh, well, he, well, I, you I know, didn't see that one. There's Roberto That's here. He could too. make the ace. It seemed like making the four points right, and then you got a six to put. And um, this keeps the outside, the anchor and the midpoint. It's, it's a good it looks, play. Looks right to me. It's a good play. A nice roll for Dennis, cleaning up that block. Uh Normally, you want to make so that. So, you want to come but... out with a six and a five? I don't. You could come out with a six and then make the ace. I, I don't I think so. I would, don't want to leave that anchor. Come out with two. The the play is either or, going to be two or out or it's going to be slot. thirteen I'm, to I'm two. I'm thinking make the ace slot. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. I don't want to get up that 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 anchor. That's right there. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Looks a little too big to make the five point, so I guess eleven to eight seems. Not all sixes are such great sixes. Nope, it's not too big at all. I like it. He's got to do it. Ooh! I bet you like it, Yeah. The five <laughs> it went woolly. This, this is. The two will dupe the twos. And fours. 
all over the place. We'll just play it out. Also, if you break, if you play thirteen eleven here, you get, that's another builder for the five. So point. you got three one five one. You can leave it. I'm not sure what the what the. But should if the sequence goes well, should Roberto be cubing next, or is he too good? If there's a fan. Oh no, he's got an anchor. It's not too good. Oh, he hit back. Bottom blotch. Fearless. Look at this. Nice. Anchors and, and hits. They both have four point boards, and um, it's a slugfest. Look at here. Look at here. Two, three, four. It's only a four point board. Don't you come in every time on four point boards? <clears throat> and in the other match, uh, it is now post Crawford. Ed continues to battle. Now, you bury it on the ace point. Or you slot the five point and come down. You need twos plus a couple of sevens. It's a lot of numbers. Or you just make the eight or go to go to the eight. Hope he doesn't roll a four. That's 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 seem right. Now this does leave a six five. Yeah, I think you have to just you run. Yeah. Nothing else. Wow. No, you can make that outfield. Don't put yourself <laughs> up to attack. Or well, making the outfield points not too bad. I mean, he's got a blot in his home board. You know, the cube's in the middle. I do this. Got hit. Okay, so I guess you hit and lift. I'm not crazy. Or or not. Let's just let them go without a fight. I agree. He's got uh, three, five, and six to leave it. Less three, one. I think you have to do this. I'm kind of in favor of believing it. Because if he rolls the four, he's got a good game. You don't have much. You could have went to the ace, too. I could have left it. He's sitting there. Oh no. Oh, no this. <laughs> so make the, eight, make the eight point, yes. Clean up the blast, only have one block. Part of bag gaming is knowing when you're loose all over and clean it up, not leave too much stuff for your opponent. Now what? You gotta make the point first. You're back in the three point, that's a lot of And split the back, yeah. At this point, every every single roll is a cube action. For but he's, he's still dancing. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. You're desperately seeking a five, a three, two. No, no. Okay, so I think Roberto has a reasonable cube here if he thinks about it. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's lady and double. You got to cover it. Roberto covered that. Five point. I'll look. And duplicate the four. Yeah. And duplicate the fours. Three four and three two is double. <clears throat> or double fours. Double threes. If he come out, he's got fives and fours to hit. Come on, duplicate the fours. Oh no, it's five. Right, it's fives and fours. Here. Yes, he should. If he makes this play. But this is a 
Got fives and fours, cube. Cube, cube, cube. You know, double sixes miss. No, double sixes hit. Ooh, double hit sixes hits two. Double threes hit. Double aces and deuces switch. This is this is just a lot of market losing numbers. Plus you gammon, is it? And he he might pass. Maybe it's right to pass. So you have to double these things. Would you take? Right, that's what makes the double so so big. So five and four, they're not all market losers because you can come in with an ace or a three. And with one number. But um barring that, and then you might thinking about getting gammon too. Oh. Gammon stuff. All right, the score is four to two. You got the lead. I'm I'm not sure whether I want to take this or not. What's, what's some bad numbers? Two one, bad. Three one actually hits. Fours and fives both hit. That's pretty large. And you're leading. Well, the four is a big go. deal. You know, if you hit with a four, you're leaving a blot, and you're exposed to. Well, you know, a four two. The five doesn't blot. The five and. Double sixes and threes are the big numbers. One, pieces and deuces. <clears throat> yeah, I like the pass. That was interesting. I don't know if that was a take or not. I, it didn't seem like a take. You probably have to count the race, too, if nobody hits anybody. A lot of times that's forgotten in those situations. Everybody's all worried about the hit. When you count the race, and one side is way up in the race, so... That bodes well to uh, if the black side was uh, <clears throat> up in the race. Fake. You gotta hit this. Uh, I'm making the three point. I think Ray has just won his match. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they shook on it. Or rather, Ed took a swing at him and only got his hand. The round of the Masters. Practice right, Masters. Well, this 5-3 is a funky roll. Thanks to the four point that Dennis made. Yes, double that. They say if all your checkers are in play, it's probably a take, but boy, oh boy. I gotta go figure out what I'm gonna eat. But I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. News has got me Thank you. Bad news. Thank you, man. Okay. I think I'm going to have to go pretty you soon myself. Thank you for a little bit. What time is it? You got a match? Oh, it's 6 30. Yeah. I haven't eaten dinner yet. <laughs> I got I to gotta look for dinner options. Okay, man. Be good. Thank you. Okay. Where are we? Five two. Four. Roberto. Wow, step up. <clears throat> Wait, the sixes aren't blocked. Yeah, 
Nothing a six two wouldn't cure. Six five. I bring a boat down. I might just bring one all the way to the deuce. There we go. Leaves the six two one more time. Oh, little brother, five two. So slot two, eight to six. Five three. That's a little awkward. What do you do with a five? I'm not real uh these I don't want to leave him a, a shot if I don't have to. Six two, the third time in a row, testing the devil. Wrong eight. What are you girls doing over there? Women and cameras, you know. It's funny, a lot of guys are attracted to them like flies. And uh, the women try to avoid them at all costs. Okay, running both, I think. Yep. It's really relatively close. Both in, so that's what... 66 42 it's about 10 down prior to the roll but uh, tennis has a few ugly numbers 4-1 was one of them Roberto's going to need a set, at least one. Got another match lined up over there on uh, stream two. Round of 16 Masters. going to be Mike Ori and uh, Ray Fogerlin. Be a nice match. Does, does not look uh, particularly good for Roberto here, unless uh, Big Set would cure his ails, but... Uh, Merriman walking away. So Merriman and Woolsey are apparently finished. All these matches are going pretty fast. It's uh, been a real chore for us to, uh, so far, keep the streaming tables uh, full. Okay, so five away, eight away, 
Dennis. Okay. As a leader, he's probably going to come out and down. Decides to go all the way. Set of aces. Yeah, I step up. See if you might get lucky to have a running escape. Roberto's got a nice structure developing here, but uh, Dennis has managed to escape both checkers. So uh, they both have uh, a lot going for them. No, I'd, I would have went 24-23, I think. Take away the double five. Make the three. Hmm. Set of threes, but uh, not his worst roll, but he can't do anything in the back. Make the uh, four point. Two more to play. There's a shot. There's a miss. So what do got here? He runs. That's 11, 9, 66, 68. We do 90. 20, 116 for black. 116, 42, 81, 97, 121. It's 121, 116 before that last roll. So very close. Bud Backgammon from Santiago, Chile. Hello, Bud. Okay. Roberto would like to get out of there. Can't. I think I'm going to the four and the five. The builders. Oh, wait, that's. Did I miss where they were at? Six and four, then, perhaps. Yeah. Roberto's, uh, or Dennis, 
still trying to contain. Would like to make that nine point. He got. Uh, Dennis has a lead, though. Point lead. Probably has a racing lead. What have we got? Point twenty one fifty two sixty. 86, 22, 108 for yellow. Thirty-six, sixty-nine, Looks like it's you. Oh, okay. Plug my, plug me in over there. Thank oh, you. Dude. Don't reach. Huh? That's fine. I'm gonna get it right now. Need a little juice. Did it start? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you. So what's going on here? You got Roberto Dennis. Dennis, I just like owned in the team event, and then Ed got revenge for him. A, a certain uh, beating you put on him uh, several yeah. years ago yeah. in Chicago. Yeah, he got revenge for that too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I played. I'm a little nervous about it, to be honest. It looked like you were a little tense. I was, I was, I was getting a little frustrated. I think the first gammon was a little bit freak, so. And I was, I think I'm just very tired. I knew I wasn't counting pips quickly enough, and I yeah. was getting into time trouble. If I was fixing to win the match, I was going to be short on time. Well, that's what happens when the Nat L has to get up early, huh? Exactly. <laughs> So what are you doing tomorrow? I don't know. I don't think I'm doing anything. You won and done in the Masters, huh? Yeah. I, I don't. I, I doubt I re. I don't think I rebuy. Maybe I may be faster Masters. Maybe. Maybe. You're playing with house money now, aren't you? Well, you win a few bucks. Yeah, and... I did, but I mean. No sense of giving it away. Exactly. You know? Okay. So they're over on uh, stream two. Ray Fogerlin and Mike Ori. In a Masters round of 16 match. This is a round of 16. Dennis and uh, Roberto. <laughs> what is the name of the Scottish commentator? <laughs> Keen. Groundskeeper Willie. It was it was getting uh, <laughs> hilarious for a while this afternoon. Oh really? Yeah. Keen and Frank and me going at it a little bit. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> well, no, some some uh, person who's watching. Marina says that uh, Roberto has the looks of a philosopher of back then. <laughs> says he looks like a philosopher of back then. I don't know, some guy, I don't know who it is. Talking about Roberto. It says Bud Backgammon. Readings from Santiago, Chile. Chile. Well... This is looking pretty dire, actually. I mean, you know, the good thing about Roberto's position? Cube isn't turned. Cube's in the middle. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a... Uh, there's something to be said for it. A little bit of a reach. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> but something to be yeah. said. Yeah. So oh, that's that's, well, just, that's uh, ugly. getting uglier by the moment. I'm hitting and going oh, six yeah. three. I hit again, put two up, why not? Always something to be said for two up. Oh. He Oh, it's actually would be we keep three uh, up. I didn't realize it the stacked checker there. All these various commentators coming and going. We love it. We like their contributions, but it keeps yeah. Tara busy back <laughs> oh. and forth moving the camera. Oh, yeah. Around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, come on. He's got one more, right? Hit him off the ace. Hit him. I hit him off the ace. I would have played 6-3 rather than whatever that was, 11-8 or something. Yeah. Give me yet another active oh, builder. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Here we, here we go again. Yep. And it's going to remain like that for some time. <laughs> and, and Roberto's going to be trying to fend off. Unless yeah. he can uh, pop aces, which now this probably is going to be cover. So, okay, there yeah. it is. Roberta, oh, 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 <laughs> oh. What do you got? The Litzenberger cheering section over here <laughs> to my right. Okay, so Dennis is thinking. Um, I think he's still just, I think it's too good. Oh. Oh, I mean, what what is it? What has to happen for this to get to? Roberto would need to get uh, in. Oh, I don't okay, know. Here we go. Is, here we uh, go. I think this is no. Oh. Now we're playing backgammon. I think. No, I think he's just got to let it go. I think he's got to let it go. I don't. Be glad to I, get out I, of it. I, I, I glad to get out of it for I one. I think I'd have been tempted. <laughs> I, I think I would have taken a roll there. Yeah. I would have taken a roll. Yeah, I think Roberto was more than happy to get out of it for one. Yeah. Uh, take a shake there. Three up. Three up. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, so much has to go. you got to be in a crack again. Okay. All right, well, that does get Dennis to four away, so that's pretty nice. Four away, eight away, so, you know. Yeah, that'd be a... Again, yeah. four cube, right? He, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the four cube acts like the, the two cube and... Uh, and the two away, four away. Yeah, position. exactly. So... That's pretty solid there. Yep. Hey, now, Roberto's going to be fairly assertive here, I think. Obviously not there yet. Oh, this is a nice shot. Hit. I would just come out. Come out. Yeah. Question of which one to come out with, but that seems good because it sort of like reinforces the mid. Cube. Out, cube. Now. Cube. Let's, that let's might go. be market loss. Let's go. That's, that's probably market loss already. I think I let this go. I think I'll let it Dennis go will let it go. He will let it go because uh, he let one very similar against me that I think was it was m better for him go. So yeah. take, take a break. It's a good guess. Yeah. Okay. So what do we got on the other here? She'll probably switch this one over for a second. Two zero. Ori. Oh. Oh, that means Ray beat Ed, huh? Ray beat Ed. <laughs> He's up 9-0 in 11-5 or something. Wow. Ray got up 9-0? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so while Dennis and Roberto take a little quick break, we get to some bonus action of seeing here on stream one, Ray Fogelin and Mike Ory. Change the 
Oh, 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 pardon me. Wow. Very, uh, very nice board, actually. Played pretty well. Did you play Dory? I, no, I, 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 actually, I played him in Atlanta, but the board, I mean, the board played pretty well. I didn't notice the six thing. No, I mean, most, it was, most people have just been living with it. Yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. It's fine. It's tight. It's not like, Overwhelming. Yeah, Mike uh Mike played yeah. fine when I played him in Atlanta. Played okay. Yeah. He, he won everything. I mean yeah. that was I was the only match That's he right. lost. He was really on a nice roll in, yeah. game, in the Masters and the main. I beat him in the Masters. I got everything. I mean everything. I won like 15, thirteen to one. And then he rebought and he won the ran, Masters. Ran the table. Yeah, and then he came in second in the main. He's pretty good. I mean, who, did, who beat him in the main? Stacy. Stacy. Yeah. I did the draw. That's right. Yeah. Someone messaged me like, "Who is this guy?" And I was like, "I, I don't know." And he's like, "Yeah, he had a hell of a weekend." <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny, he well, lived in Seattle for a long time, but he's living in Atlanta now. So that was oh, home, I didn't know that. Hometown. Yeah, a home field advantage, yeah. Well, somebody just danced something over there. Okay. It was Ray. Let's see, I don't know. Hmm? So let's see here. Oh, yeah, Dennis being four away, that's a really nice score because you can be a little bit aggressive with those gamish cubes. Yeah. Uh even with the uh even with the lead, you don't have to be as cautious as well, normal. Step over here real quick okay. and grab a snack piece yep. or two and I'm yep. right. Yeah. Yeah, go for it, Chris. Chili's for dinner again, second time in two days. It's almost a record. Probably more than you've eaten there in several years, huh? Mm, nah, no, nah, we 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 haven't been since like February, but we go probably like once every few months, I guess. I don't know.
They have like one good salad or something that we like, so I'm a little close to the mic here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis is ready to go. I don't know what Roberto is doing. Yeah, looks like he is ready. So if these guys both won two rounds, sorry, have both of these guys won two rounds or something or one round maybe? I guess it would be. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked at one the or I like one, one main, and then if they did they the qualifier, qualifier two, qualifier. yeah, because yeah. if Ray is in the round of sixteen, that means that against Eddie was in the round of thirty-two. And Ed beat me in, I guess, what would be the round of 64. Then. Is that in the main? Or was that the qual I did the qualifier. I, yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, you know, I'm pretty uh, hesitant to play the, the Masters on a full entry just yet. With this strong field. Yeah, yeah, with this strong field anyway. Yeah, like Atlanta or, you know, something I'll play, but. Or Texas, you played because you wanted to shot at a long. Yeah, horn. exactly. Yeah, Longhorn. It's like so beautiful. Yeah, and such a storied list of. Winners. I mean, every. I mean, I think every person that's won that is like you know someone who at one time or another was at like the top of the game. Was at the top of the game. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, Dano right was most recent winner. You had. Uh, Michi and Mochi. Michi, wanted, Mochi. Right? Arcadi Sinise. Arcadi Sinise. Uh, Alfred, Alfred Mamlet. Mamlet. Victor. Victor. Yep. Um, Steve Sachs. Steve Sachs. Yes. Bob Glass. Jonah. Jonah. Yeah. Roberto. Roberto. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, at, at the one, only Longhorn winner with his name on the Longhorn. Yeah. True. true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at one time or another, every single one of those players was, you know, considered one of the best in the world. All right. So let's get this reset to the original position. You know, it's funny, and you and know, I have talked about this a bit, talking about various tournaments. Mm -hmm. You know, different tournaments take different flavors in certain regards, mm -hmm. and, you know, certain identities. Yeah, so, yeah. It's like, um, you know, uh, a lot of tournaments, maybe they have a, you know, about equal representation of championship players and intermediate players. In the yeah. Yeah. Texas, for whatever reason, has always developed into having many more championship players well, than intermediate players. I think it's because I usually intermediates are local. True, that's and, true. And San Antonio, I think, just doesn't really have like a local base. Okay, so, you know, this is a nice structure for Roberto already. Dennis has something brewing of his own. This 5-4 leaves a lot to be desired. Day, oh, oh, up. it's for yellow. Sorry. Yeah, this is pretty good, actually. He likes down. I don't blame him. I don't necessarily either, but I, I, in that situation, I would always step up, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's, there's trailing, too, so. too many in the zone to... Okay, so he's going to run out, I guess. I would run out rather than make the two. 
We have a totally excellent match that just started. Big Trash Kanazi versus Petco. Oh, wow. On Stream 3. Oh, um, wow. I mean, I don't have another TV to put it on. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Could, you want me to put it on this one? Are you guys, like, really... Well, I'm not. Interested? I haven't looked no, at that one. No, put it over there. Okay, we'll Yeah, put it let's on get there. it on there. Ray okay. has been bumped, unfortunately, if you're a Raymond <laughs> fan. Yeah, for all our viewers Ray here. At, uh, an Ace Point YouTube channel, Stream 3... We just started a a superb match of uh, Victor Askenazi and Petko Kostadinov. So uh, that'll be a classic. Yeah. Uh, well, two of the, I mean, not to me and anybody else, all of these are great players as well. But to have uh, Petko. That's, that's two players in the top 10 in the world. Okay, Victor, so it looks like we got this. changed boards. Gorgeous uh, board. I mean, I guess they didn't like Rory's uh, Paul McGrill Speedmaster, if that's what that's called. Hmm? The the Paul McGrill board. The the uh, Aries. Yeah, that was there. She yeah, switched it's, it. It's now uh, Petco's uh, Zavarol board. Okay. Okay, uh, we looked away and uh, Roberto cashed a point. So, yeah. Which we expected. Which we expected. So, uh, so here, black should make the two. Once yellow makes any point that is a credible credible priming threat i guess and the three point does qualify you should just make the point with six four so that's so what does he do you run huh i guess yeah yeah you don't get anything better actually you know i don't know maybe stepping out and then coming down is probably okay with the eight point stripped but i don't know i could be wrong Well, here you hit. Go. That's just clear. Nothing to think about. So let's see. Four okay. one. Yeah. Well, now Roberto's got a little he's... something that working. Yeah, he's still a ways off from the cube. Now he's kind of tightened up the score a little bit. This is a bit of a goofy no, roll. Think big. This roll is. This is. This is just not. This is not good. Um, I guess he's playing uh, three down off the 13 and then taking, uh, well, to the could, yeah, and then maybe one to the three. Yeah, I think that's it. That yep. gives you yeah. maximum potential to cover the deuce. Yeah. And I mean, aces are going to play okay on the other side of the board and a lot of variations. So I think he's fine. Okay, so Roberto favorite to make a point here yep so he will make it uh five's ugly he's gonna have to strip the mid but there's nothing else to do recommendably forced that's a great shot so the prime threat well there wasn't really a prime fit but any any threat of being hemmed in is uh, effectively gone guess you come on out with them huh uh yeah i don't give him the free ace i don't gonna... think oh this is oh i don't like this i i i don't i don't like that one i mean it's not clear I, I'm, I'm not sure he's leading oh oh yeah 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 I mean, yeah, I, I, I agree with this. Come over and sit down if you want, Chris. So make uh, the ace, I guess. I mean, the checker on the three has nowhere to go, so that's the <laughs> best way to use it. So, all right, we actually have Chris, so we Chris have a GM. Joining us. Sorry, I ran upstairs. Let me uh, pan the... Yeah. Wait a second. What's he doing? He's just panning the camera. There you go. That's good, Bill. There you go. So let's get back to the action here. So yellow rolls this 2 1. I think I'm just going to stay sitting. Yes. I don't know. 
this looks like you're just coming into a lot. If he makes the three point, you're just kind of. For any of y'all who don't recognize him, Chris Trenchers joined us here on the right. He's, my he's, right. He's up 11 in the race. This has to be right. He just wants to get out. So yellow is up. The yellow's up 11. So this is this is close. Okay. Okay. Well, then if he's up, I okay. Yeah. And, you know, if black rolls two odd numbers, it's good. But if he rolls a different number, some of the numbers that make the five-point lead fly shot now. Yeah, good point. More reachable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, it's good, but it's not yeah. a winner. No. no. I think I just bring them all into the five-point, and then Roberto's under enormous pressure to escape. And if he doesn't... He comes into the outfield. I, He's running into at least a single shot, and if oh, I wouldn't hit. No, yeah, I would do this. This is yeah, fine. Can't, don't really want to hit against that six or five point four. Right. Uh, no. This this looks too much. This looks too much. Roberto hits here, and Dennis fans. Roberto's going to be playing. So it's yeah. uh, it's basically done. I mean, well, if well Dennis fans well, here play Roberto's, on. Roberto's play gonna, on. Roberto's going to be playing on here. Yeah. Fans. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. He needed yeah. the others. Yep. Five? I thought that was a little too picks much. Picks up a second checker relatively easily, perhaps. I'm... Yeah. Mm. I had higher hopes for that role. This is a really bad number. <laughs> yeah, nothing <laughs> else to be said. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you even do? 13-11 uh, and 7-6? Or... Guess so. Just kind of yeah. Bank, you you bank on him get, get an get another builder while oh I don't, well maybe I don't know. Well, he might have. He well now because he maybe he's going to cube him out, but I I think he's still just way too good. No, I would do it. He's hoping he rolls a five, and then he can bring the other number, other half of the roll down from the midpoint, and then he's probably never going to close the five, but he can kind of pick his pass his way home. And uh, Dennis has got seven crossovers outside, so he's got 12 crossovers to get home. So if he can roll the five here, okay. he's got some gambling chances, even if he never closes the five point. Guys, did anybody watch our game? No. We have announced it. So w w where was the white chip? Oh, I'm sorry. Before? I'm sorry. Uh, when you saw it, because I thought it was on 11. I think he cheated himself, actually. Wait, you didn't see it, right? Nobody saw we it. Were no, we were watching sorry. this game. And Tara is upstairs. Oh, I'm gonna hand me my phone. I can find luck. You could probably back it up. Hey, hey, pet. I think this still is a play on because if Roberto rolls, whatever Roberto rolls, if Dennis comes in without hitting, it's gonna be a pass, right? So I mean. He just rolls like a 6-2 when Dennis rolls a 5-1, for example. Ouch. This is garbage. Another bad number. Um, what's he going to do now? He's going he's to just go to seven. That was really bad. Or six, I uh -huh. mean. Stay the course. A few, more, yeah. a few more bad numbers, he's just going to be almost home. Oh, my oh. God. Man. This is getting really ugly. I mean, there's... And you just bring it down, right? He's got to play 13-9. He has nothing else. Well, well evidently. Is this a duplicate? Well, yeah. yeah. I don't like that. That's great. I know he's saving one more number, but... It just seems too timid. Hey. Finally. There we go. <laughs> now, do you give him the 5-5? Five five? I probably would. Mm. I would, but... Uh... Problem is... I didn't understand it. So first you played, you played, you played, played the eleven and eight. Don't give them five. five I don't there either. I don't think I think they're that's moving. it. They're moving. Yeah, I have it here if they want to pull it back. Uh, she went upstairs. Hang on, I'll get him.
It was ugly, but this is the scenario we were looking at and we said to play on, which is that uh, Roberto's got some chances to win a gambit here even if he never uh, closes the five point. So he chooses to keep the two guys outside. And we'll bring him in this brawl. So now everybody... Uh... <laughs> Are they still debating it? Uh, they were needing you for Victor and uh, Echo. For, um, uh, okay. Apparently I made an illegal move in the match that was on stream three earlier. <laughs> Who knew? I ain't that stream three. Let's back this up. Let's see, guys, got three, five, twelve crossovers. I can probably yeah. look back and find it. But yeah, yeah. The computer, yeah, but I don't know be, then yeah. how to get it back to. This should play. be easy. Yeah, let's see here. I have it here. I we'll can go, go in there and there. go through it with them if you would. Thank you. So, Roberto, eight crossovers. Uh, Dennis has got 10 left to get off. This should be an easy given. Yeah, which gets us to 7-7. Seven, seven. Which gets us to 7-7. Seven, seven. Hello, welcome to Marianne Mies who joined us and Jonna has joined us. So, uh, hello to both of you. Four-point match here. Yep. So, uh... Be interesting, not only a, a gammon two-cube away for either one of them, so you have to be a bit careful. Yeah, obviously the game value was... Uh huge for both sides of this score, so there'll be, uh, uh, but so is the requeue leverage, so they'll be slow to double anything, uh, non-volatile, quick to double anything, Gavinish. Roberto with a nice shot here, he's gonna hit, and see the rest of it, probably make the nine point, but he could make the four point. Or he could just swing that same guy around, fade the nines and tens, and then be in excellent position to do something. It makes an eye point very reasonable. Dennis comes in, he'll make the four. Roberto will swing that. Oh, well, he's got two plays. He can come out and escape the last checker and give Dennis a six where he can make that point. I would have looked at that a little bit longer. I'm not sure about that. 
fact, I think I would have. I think I would have played twenty four seventeen there. Now he's got a stiff position. What does he do? Does he make the five? Does he come up and play the four down? Makes the five. Okay. Yeah. And Dennis will hit here with a five, obviously. Three four. I suspect he's going to bring the four down and the three up. Three up. He could. He could bring the four down and play ten seven. That keeps that checker play as a builder and put a little extra pressure. He brings the three up. Okay. And sorted. Figured it out. Yeah. Thank you, sir. One five. I think like Tara showed up about the time you Roberto would like to play the ace up, but I that doesn't work because he's got no five, so I think he'll play 10 five. What? What? Tokes is the mic. Oh, okay. I think he can play 10 9, 10 five. So what's progressed here? So it's now a tie ball game, it looks like. So did so Roberto cube him out or something? What happened? Or no, he scammed him? I can't remember. Gambling. Roberto, Roberto did gambling him finally. Okay. John says, Where's the white polo? Ian's white polo. <laughs> I I haven't worn it yet. I have it upstairs. What is it? It's a white polo shirt. Oh. I have about seven of them if you want to borrow one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have, want, I I have to, my own. I wanted to bring the plaid shorts this weekend, but the weather really is not conducive. It's, yeah. <laughs> the plaid shorts? The plaid shorts, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for not bringing them. Hey, Jonah. Yeah. Well, Jonah, I finally R cashed in real something. Re realizing <laughs> that 5 one's a better number than 4 one in this position. Of course, if he had 5 one, he should just make the 4 points. I don't know what he's looking at anyway. I think I'm just playing 11 6 here. There isn't really a sexy play to make here. Yeah, 11 6. But a dentist play 11 6. But... The ace, I guess. So Roberto's got a very stiff position, so if Dennis, uh, fortunately from Dennis, didn't do anything useful here, but if Roberto. Make uh, this, yeah. Problem is, if Roberto can't play the entire number with the plot here, he's going to. Leave something he's gonna, somewhere. He's leave something somewhere that's going to be very uncomfortable. So I, I know Dennis isn't excited about this play, but I think he needs to do that because he can't just let Roberto jump into the outfield with sixes. So here's an example of that. What's he going to exactly. do? Exactly. What's he going to do now? He's got a whole bunch of ugly choices. Well, as ugly as it is, you going to play two one here. Either two one or nine eight five is just one of the numbers that's working. I think I play. I think I play nine eight. I just can't play two one here because you're going to get hit on the other side of the board. And if you kill your if you kill your home board, it's just encouraging Dennis to do what he wants to do anyway, which is whack you. I'd rather keep the board and play with the second block because you know you can lose this game with just the one blood. Somebody else wore your plaid shorts. <laughs> yeah, that guy's got my shorts. Yeah, <laughs> I have your shirt upstairs. Okay. Oh, he did. I know he didn't want to. I. It's just... hard to look at yourself in the mirror after that one. But what else you got? It's a mandatory hit. Yep. It just doesn't have a lot of good numbers here. Yeah. You know, then that's just what you called too. You know. Then he. What is he going to do here? He's then gonna... he has to hit that, and then he's got the. No. Got Come, that single on the yeah, deuce point there. Yeah, fine. So now he's breaking the knife point, which he could have done. Now he has to break the knife point. Oh. Wow. Wow, huge that shot. Lets, uh, Great roll. Six out, four cover. Huge yeah, shot. lets uh, Roberto out of a tough spot. What's he thinking about? <laughs> He's just double checking. Yeah. He's got seven sure. minutes, so there's yeah. plenty of time here. But, rush six, but obviously that one was clear. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> there you go. Illegal moves, they happen all the time. Yeah. Does he have a double here? I don't think so. Because it's still a very stiff position with no flexibility. Great shot, clean everything clean up. Clean everything up and have uh, spares on two points rather than any bunch of strip, that was a, strip that was points. A discre that was a discreetly excellent shot. Because it's great having the spare on two points rather than yeah. three strip points. Yep, exactly. I think that large number actually hurts Dennis because he still has no racing equity, but now it's killed his, its damage, his timing a little bit because uh, he may wind up having to break the ace point before, or the, the midpoint rather, before, uh, you know, Roberto runs out of flexibility. Victor and Petco. There is stream, yeah, on, uh, three. stream three. Ace point backgammon. The uh, stream three. This roll is kind of. Oh, it plays fine. Yeah, that's youtube.com slash forward slash AP live. What does Dennis do here? Does he slot two or did you just give him the ace shot because of the blood? I agree with this. Yeah, I do too. I would not. Okay, let's go, boy. <laughs> Give the people a break. I mean, I mean. <laughs> yeah. I, I would. I would. I would not double this for Roberto. Any any two, any number without an uh -huh. ace or a deuce, it's not a double. Which is sixteen numbers. It's very uncomfortable. Leaves a show. Well, I actually and, like and this cube. I like this cube. I do not. No. Dennis is I, super strong board, Den too. Dennis has a strong... Roberto has no flexibility. If he rolls, a number, if he rolls a number without a one or a two, and that's not a double, which is 16 numbers. He's he's leaving the shot or breaking the six point. I like this cube. Well, I don't know. Maybe if he rolls a 5-3 or 4-3 or okay. something like that, breaking the six point isn't so bad. Oh, yeah, so now one. here's the exact so dilemma, right? He's going to have to lift off the three. So you're playing eight five with the three, and then what are you what are you doing with the ace? It's true. Lift it. Yeah. Okay. But now he's got even more difficult problems. Oh, and look at this. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's not even the the face of the game has been transformed. It's not even. But Dennis has got to leave a shot more. Yeah, yeah, true. So he should probably make the board just in case, right? I like this play. You're duping the aces. Yeah. I think this is the play that. And you want to, you know, given Roberto's awkwardness, you want to go with the play that creates maximum pressure. And I think, I think this is it because unless the race is viable, it doesn't look like it. It's still 17. But the Dennis only, the only other game. option is what, making the ace point? Heavy ace point? Yeah, but then, then Roberto's just going to go off the midpoint. He can play for the contact three away, but I don't particularly... No, that's not it, obviously. This can't be right. Just making the 15 and then playing 13 1 has to be better than this. Um, I like the original play. This looks fine to me. Okay, there it this, is. This is the maximum pressure play. Huh. Great shot. Nice shake. Absolutely. Don't overthink this. Just make the bar. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Make, make the bar before you talk just, yourself just, into doing something else. Make the bar, come home, and win a single game. Don't overthink this. Okay, he has moved two. Well, the only other option would be to hit and then keep and going, the and ace. that's horrible. Then try to pick up the second with, with, with what goal? To, well, yeah, I mean that solves. Well, that leaves you. That leaves him four numbers straight away. Okay. Right. But but Roberto's board is too structures too weak to win. And Dennis is too so strong. I'm just I'm just thanking my lucky stars for this number and happy that I'm nine seven, which he, which he will be mostly here. 
again, with the time that he has, it's fine to think about this, but I, I can't see any other point here. Okay, he locks it in. Yep. Five, two. We can no. Do you clear? You just clear, right? Can you first Okay. I don't want to pick and pass because even if he doesn't roll the immediate three four. It creates awkward numbers later. Yeah, and I mean, what's what's I mean, the I mean, goal? I mean, what's yeah. the goal? You're not you're not winning any gammons. You're not losing the race. You might not get passed. <laughs> so maybe you can correct structural inefficiencies that you have. All right. Yeah. There you go. He's just gone. I guess it, I mean this gap is going to be kind of weird race wise, but he shouldn't really have too many issues. Well, the fours are fun. The threes are fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The threes will fill. Ooh. Oh well. Here's the number. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, see here's this floor. Yeah, the gap on the floor is bad. It well, just Den won't... Den Den Dennis is going to have his own gap issues now. Feel yeah, naturally. In most, in most scenarios. Oh, well, so out. much for that. Oh, Jesus, fives and boxes. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. That's, uh, I... Not nearly as good, but certainly helpful. It's not enough. This is yeah, a, it's this, a this, path. This is a clear double pass. Wow. Seven checkers at seven checkers, clear double pass. So Dennis is counting, and he just gives. And that's just the end of that. It's brutal to eat that one. I don't know, we can go back to that 3-2 play. Maybe Roberto was supposed to pick it pass, but it, it seemed like he had a commanding lead in the race. Mm -hmm. And that the contact was the easier way to well, lose. Well, this is yeah. my favorite score to play as the person losing. Right? Yeah. Yes. I it's I always say it's just it's it's Makes, more fun to play it, as right. the trailer. I mean, it's a better for worse, it's an easy play too. Yeah. It it it, it feels like you win way more than the match equity table would say you should when you're four away here. All right, so early advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay, still nowhere near anything. That's a key card. That'll work. Yeah, that's going to make it a little more interesting. Roberto's doubling anything other than three six here. All right. Double pass. Yeah. Easy, easy double, easy pass. Yeah. Thanks, Jenna. Yep. Okay, now a markedly less interesting score. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, the, the three-way, two-way still plays kind of game and go-ish, okay? I mean, Roberto's, yeah. Roberto's doubling a lot sooner than he does for cash here. Mm. Nice shot. Yeah, especially when they find Very this. Nice. That's a beaut, yeah. Very likely to be... Uh, no, well, you got to do it the right way. Yeah. No, you just yeah, it's just just cash it. Cause you don't have enough uh ammo in the zone to win the game and this is definitely not yeah. too good. I mean it's, it's a, not too good. There's a whole bunch of numbers that don't even hit on the four point. He just, and and just, just, one just puts the, the checkers back, back and that's yeah. it, yeah.
Okay, so okay, this should be girl. the end of it. Strap in. All right. Nice long game ahead, I imagine. So four three down. Yep. Two one slot. And Dennis properly plays two one. This is a standard opening. Um, when your opponent brings two down with a four and you roll uh, uh, an ace that misses, you slot if the four is one of the numbers he could use to make the five point. Yep. And there, uh, yeah, those fours I, play well I on think, both sides. I tend to like to make the three in this point over the bar because I like mm -hmm. the board point and I want to unstack, but I'm not sure which is actually right. I think this is better because you don't want to strip the mid don't when you can the mid, you don't want to unstack the yeah the this heavy is, point. This is, this is great. Wow. Hitting yeah. Number. Huge shot for Dennis. Yep. Feeble shot here. He just comes up to the screen. Uh, a cube, I have to imagine. I come up to 22. Yep, snags it. Okay. Yeah. This is it. Yeah, so pretty nice advantage. This is a good roll, too. Moment. Pretty nice advantage for uh, Dennis. Aces Ooh, is great. Go. Okay, so we have yeah, a game. Squares it up. I, I mean, the, bars I make, and five. I make bar the and the five. Coming up to the 22 is not that helpful when he's got the nine point base. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's I mean, at this point, Roberto's playing a counter prime strategy. It's still primed, yeah. so. Yeah. Okay, so as soon as this matches. Oh, well, there goes that counter priming strategy. <laughs> okay. Come on out. All right. Cle clearly no time to play a back in here, so he comes out and fights for outfield patrol. Then Which... swing, swing that around. Fine. So, I mean, he can make, you know, gets the bar point. He makes the bar point here. And he does. Uh, yep, good. All yep. Right, now. Good upgraded anchor. Yep. It's nice, nice, very smooth distribution. So, does he make the bar point again? Probably not. Maybe, maybe, I think uh, I, I think 23, I, 18? I think I bring the five out here because you're going to need more yeah. trackers to build your board, and, and I'm not looking to make the yeah. 23, so it's no point to keep the yep. second guy back there. Yeah. Nice shot by four Dennis. Point. He makes the four. So, yeah, this should be a... Uh, is it that dire? I mean, you probably slot it, right? You can also just clear the midpoint here and put those guys to work. Yeah, because you have the 18, so you don't really need the mid. All right. Okay. 13, 13, 4. Sure. Slot here. Double fours. That's a great so shot. Do, point, point. Or, Oh, Whoa, he so make, he's got a choice. Make the he, can, ace. he can he can make the ace, and then the last one comes down. and He's leaving those eight numbers, or he could just stack. I them I would I would make the ace because you just get the guy out of your hair. You oh, you can play it four. You don't have to leave a shot. Yeah, yeah. This has to be it then. Yeah, you don't want to stack them up on the five point. I was thinking for a second he had to play thirteen nine with the last one, but he doesn't. He can make the ace and play eight four. Because if you don't do that, then you're just playing 13-5 twice, and that's kind of a little bit of an awkward stack. This doesn't feel right. <clears throat> For everyone's information, don't run off when this match ends. We're going to switch um, gonna Victor and Petco over to Stream 1 uh, Galaxy YouTube channel as well. So uh, Victor and... Uh, Echo will immediately follow this match here on uh, Stream One Galaxy YouTube channel. I don't know that I like leaving this, and I think the spare on the just just playing with a spare is just as. I I. I... Yeah, I don't know. I want the guy off the ace. I'm tired of like just acting as harassment. I, I would have made the ace. And this seems like kind of awkward to stack in the fight. Okay, well that's gonna that's gonna help. 
good shot. So he gets to make his prime for <laughs> ready for visitors. He's got the house ready. He needs a visitor. Okay. Just nine six. Nothing to think about. Yeah. I mean, there's no other play once there's you. No merit to play. You just yeah. put a checker where. He's. I guess he's worried about like sixes or something, but there's nothing he can do about it. So. I think 6 2 is the only shot leaving number. 6 2 and 6 6. 5 2, fine. That's fine. And play. Next, next roll is critical, though. Yeah. All right. Slot it up. Hmm. No? Well, I'm okay. That's, I'm that's, okay with this. That's it's fine. Okay. It, 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 point oh oh one. Okay, that plays safe. It's a great roll, actually, too. Not only does it clear, gets the extra builder. Puts a spare on the six point. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Make the ace. Yep. Open for six one or six five or six six here, right? Or six three. Six all the, all three. The six, actually, all the sixes leave a shot. A shot. Okay. Here we go. An ace yeah. or an ace? Yeah. <laughs> an ace or an ace? No ace. Boom. Okay. Well, they're, you know, not all is lost. Got to lead the guy back. Yep. Just go from the bar point. Yep, that's it. You can't hold the point and crunch the board, so you just... You're not going to leave... Both there. So. Okay. Mm. It, yeah, I mean it's. Not quite forced. I I play six two. Here. Six two. Mm. I mean Roberto can, as long as he doesn't get pointed on, stick around. So, does he slot or does he just like? Or what does he do? He might slot here. He's going to need the deuce point, right? There's no yeah. There's no reason to play for the race. It just leave that guy there, slot, and move something closer. <laughs> that's clean. That's uh, that's curtains in all likelihood. Now he will get to sit around. Uh, sure that's not three. long. But all right, so now he is odd on the I high point. One, but yeah, there's one shot chance here. So yeah. You no, know, that's mm. interesting. I guess, but sure. Right. Oh. Yeah. This is like a good structure. It's like the little mini mountain, right? Roberto's gonna pray for a three here. Um, no, no, no. Tomorrow. So that's. Uh, so what is it? Like curtains. two one followed by a set. It's over. Curtains. Okay. Congratulations to uh, Dennis. To Dennis on a good match. Cold pepper. Nice, uh, competitive yeah. match. Sick. So uh, again, hang on. Tara will momentarily be switching Victor and Petco over here. See, Dennis got all his 
crappy rolling out of the way against me. <laughs> All right, so here we are now playing Victor Ashkenazi on the red checkers, Petco on the white. Only thing wrong with this board is shiny checkers. Little bit, yeah. You're gonna have to pay attention to the edges, I guess. Yeah. The finger dips and the marbling and all. Yeah, it kind of helps. Help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dennis. Very good match, nice. Man. Great match. While Petco ponders this, well, what do you think here? So you're playing a nine-point match, basically. Way down, but he's got some game. Yeah, that three-point holding game, I feel like it usually just plays pretty decent. Uh, I, I would be taking this if I were him, but... I'm inclined to take as well. What about you, Chris? I would actually let this one go. You think it's a pass? Yeah, I mean, all of his aces are good. Double twos, double threes, double fours, disengage. Um, two, two, and six, two makes the five point. And uh, Petko could get in some trouble here if he doesn't spring that uh, straggler on the 20. Spring that straggler on the 22, so. Mr. Lonergan. Somebody can put it in. I was watching. No, they we haven't been. Okay, he did any, take uh, it. Feedback. So we had a little, we had a mixed, um, mixed bag there as far as what should be done. Ugh, brutal when you roll that and you can't hit. <laughs> Well, that's one of the advantages of having points is that in your board it reduces your opponent's returns. Yeah. So now Victor's yeah. just got this make the five point. Yeah. Clear, nah, the point should... you, clear the point you most want to clear to make the point you most want to make. Yeah. Always a nice thing. It's a great shot. All right. So let's see. Five, two. Imagine he's just, he's not keeping that guy there, right? So that's what's going to go around. Think, I don't think so. He's yeah. going to start to get into gambit. It's very ancient. Yeah. leaves it. Victor rolls it too. Oh. Speaking of gamut variations, maybe. It's, he's, got a, he's got a lot. He, he fell behind in a hurry. There's Al Hodis walking by. Well, Victor had aces plus double twos, double threes, and double fours to almost lock it's it up. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's why you think it was a pass, and it the way it's going, you know, I'm starting to see Chris's. Uh, well, I mean, this was a very good variation for Victor, obviously, but but there were a lot of good variations, right? And that was the problem. So let's say, okay, he had six there. I didn't just take two off. He's got plenty of threes. Okay, we had already played the six match. Uh, yeah, can't turn that down yet. Like that's it. So I think he's got to just bite the bullet and leave the six three now because he doesn't want to play another one of his potential threes behind the anchor. Okay, so yeah, now he's starting to bring them efficiently in to the six just in case he's in some sort of gammon watch mode. So I'm clear the six point here. Yeah, I mean you're not gaining a roll by I, I think I think taking bearing off and going there, you're gonna you're gonna yeah. move so inefficiently from that point anyway. I'd rather clear the six and now you can bear off efficiently from here. 
and you've got much less jeopardy because you've 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 whoa see that's the type of play that i wouldn't even consider but <laughs> that's right thank goodness for that one little guy on the ace point huh It's not a position you see every day here. All right, now so he's got six on there. Victor, right? Victor has bad aces next roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. Now, okay, he gone. He gone. All right, so there's a little uh, little pressure on here. Okay, no pressure. <laughs> okay. All right, All right. Stay for the end of this game, and it's a single. All right, thank you for having me. Thank you, Chris. Enjoy your dinner. Where are you going? Actually, don't answer that. The internet creeps will follow you. Uh, yeah, I, do. <laughs> I don't want the, I don't want the paparazzi to chase us. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Good night. Wanna hook your bomb back up? Oh uh, yeah, sure, why not? You do it at the It is a Zabral board. Yes it is. It's a very nice looking board too, honestly. Alright, well Victor's just make the three, come on. You notice I adjusted the camera once while you were known. I did. When Chris joined this, I had to hand it over. I noticed. Yes. I'm sure. What? Victor refused to play on it or something? I mean, I don't blame him. <laughs> Ian knows. Is that, that, a, is that a older bottom? than my? Oh, this is that roll board. Yeah. Is that board? Is, yeah, yeah, really nice. This is that roll board. It's really nice, too. Yeah. It has the pockets for the that little extra ridge for the cubes. Yeah. Yeah. And they are, in fact, uh, Zaza and Saki uh, checkers. Yeah, the double rack. Exactly. There's the checker rack, then there's the cube rack. Yep. Yep. All right. So, anyways, here's a cube. It's like uh, Peko turned it around here. And I, I have to imagine this is just a pass. Uh, I see the three checkers on the 24, and it's just, yeah, that's done. Hey, it's Keen. I think we found another guy that really likes to do commentary. Yeah. Which, which is fine. Yeah, it's a good thing. There's yeah. actually a well, shortage. I'm, I'm back. And it's my two favorite fish that are playing. This is not, excellent. And not bad. It could be so much worse, right? As uh, we have here in the chat. Five, three hits. Yep. Got to do that on the response. Fight for the five point. Fight for the five point. Ooh. Anchor or another attempt at the five? Uh, anchor, because you don't want to strip them eight. I might have gone after the five again there, but, you know. Heck, uh, Victor's probably right. <laughs> You'll defer to Victor? Yeah. Or six? Occasionally. So I thought he was your fish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You'll get a chuckle when he hears it. But here's a nice fresh hit, obvious play. Two one, kind of a dud. I mean, I guess he makes the twenty, but had higher hopes for it for sure. 
Six one is a nice number. It'll just make the bar point. It's gonna leave the four shot and the eight shot, but no such luck. Gets to hop that. Fine. So looks like White's thinking here. I think he's just a bit underdeveloped. Mm. Well, this is uh, not so clear on how to play, but I think my inclination is bar and then 20 to 14, is it? Yeah. Yeah, no, if you get hit, so what? You know, you get, you get a look at the block guy. You know, one thing, kind of as an aside, I like about Victor's game and watching Victor play, he plays touch moves, essentially. He never, oh. you hardly ever see him shuffle check. I've never noticed that. Never noticed that. That must be like some sort of like carryover from when he played chess, right? Uh, yeah, he, he grew up playing chess. Yeah, so that makes sense. Whose role is this? Is this Victor's this role? This is uh, Petco. You know, you roll on the right side of the board, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes they use baffle boxes. Do you see a baffle box? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know we're gonna have to educate him as a common you know how to observe. i just look for the light i just look for the light on the clock <laughs> that's ah I mean. yes that's what i just done. <laughs> that's fabulous look there there was a baffle box right there victor had it in his hand <laughs> okay four two what is this uh, you just gotta make the four point I mean, you, is it? I mean, you're you could probably get, ahead after the sixes, right? Well, I mean, you could, there's consideration to making the eleven point. Um, I would just, I think, I but, would just do uh, fifteen, thirteen, and like, yeah, no, okay. Well, hey, you guys are gonna have to trust me when when I have yeah. an instinct to play, right? It well, takes Victor a few seconds, yeah. right? But he oh, gets oh, there eventually. what's this? I thought you said he played touch move. <laughs> what? Oh, what is this? Boy, what? He shuffled. Jenner. He shuffled. The shuffle. So yeah. the tool of the shark. Look at this. Look at this. That three backgammon and um the cube, the tools there of the shark. Go. Look, Dang. it's the okay. four point. There it is. There you go. Eventually Victor Cube makes Kings play and it's Victor all makes good. me a liar, you know, the first time <laughs> in ten years he shuffled the <laughs> See, I I I couldn't do touch move. I'm just too frantic i guess you, you could say you have to hit this right i mean i know it's big but if you well, yeah if you don't hit this what what are you doing yeah you found it i think this is kind of the only viable option here i mean there's other stuff where you can sure make the four point that there yeah. exactly. but then you're just in a holding game and it's not it's not a great holding game and yeah petco keeps looking at it he's gonna hit that clock he doesn't mind getting hit because he says he has an option an opportunity to make a second anchor yeah he can or enter on the ace recirculate and yeah. delay so you know this this kind of accomplishes two things it gets like more of his play. checkers hit and it gets some more of his checkers hit <laughs> hello dennis we haven't i haven't quibbled in a while oh, okay well but dennis has come to join us so that he can argue with us quibble quibble, quibble. quibble. Okay. It's a little more civil than okay. civil quibble. 
Dennis, congratulations on beating Roberto. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was a tough match. Tough match. Oh, good job. Good job. Yeah, we were we were chatting about it in here, and you know, I did point out to Frank that it seemed unfair that we'd been coaching you <laughs> immediately prior. Yeah. Coaching Roberto, so that you know the rest off here. Well, I, I I wore him down, and, and when I played him earlier, so wore him down. I wore him down. Yeah, yeah. so ah, oh, I had him too. He's a lucky dog. Good job, though. Good job. Okay. Did he? Did he, he didn't hit he it. Decides to mm. not hit it. Keep the midpoint. Build a board. See what happens. So that's going to be a oh, ace a, and a six four. Yeah, clean, clean here. Yeah. Well, he can deuce point and four point. Well, you come out, stop, and then make the four, right? You, yeah. you make the four, I think, always. I think the six always is make the four. Yeah, you're correct. And then you can and we can, is the part we can that's not clear. Six, right? Yeah, I actually kind of like stepping out. I like this as well. I mean, if he hits you with like a four one or two or you know a five one, you're going to get some return shots. If he misses you and you go to the two, then you're stuck out there. You're going to you may end up breaking your midpoint. You want, you want to maintain your midpoint. In this kind of position, but you also you also want to have a degree of contact too, and this is yeah, this because yeah, this gets in the way of where Victor wants to go. Yeah, but it's not really impeding it so much because you're going to get hit or get by. But what you want to do is get that checker in play. Yes, get it to this side of the board. The plan is not to hang back there, build your board, and try to get a shot. You want this checker out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. See, I think that's. So yeah. here you he's looking at this Ian's too. quibbling about that. You hear? <laughs> <laughs> so here, this two. I I don't know about this because I feel like the two always makes the four, like we said. It's a tough play. I I do like out and four. For me, that that's where yeah, I, I go. Yeah, th this is a nice play. Thank you, Petco. <laughs> That's we're, we're all relieved. I'm in good company for more. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nice roll. It just hits and lifts. Nice and safe. So enter on the ace if you can. There you go. Yeah. See the same thing. He's trying to get that check in play, not hanging back for a shot. Even, even once again, same concept. I, I would have lurked there. This must be closing in on a double for Victor. Yeah, step down. Uh -huh. Oh, dang it. Although Petco probably has enough of a good board for it not to be yeah. so. And continue to the four. All right. It's rolling. Mm -hmm. Huh. A little bit awkward, but it <laughs> plays. But he's getting a little bit thin outside. He can jump that block off the platform out there. Absolutely. He saves it now, but I mean, he can throw it out there with a little more uh, reckless abandon with a block. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But he did save it. I think. I think getting out there is better than making the point. Yeah. I, yeah, I agree. I run to the mid here because. The the thing a thing that XG shows us a lot is you know you hate rolling a six one six two thing that forces a block against that that held mid. So look, and now look at this. But your midpoint is stripped, so if you don't save it, you're coming out after you made the board. Yeah. So yeah. you're building the board, but you're not getting any shots. Although not getting hit takes priority over hitting him. Yes. Essentially. Yeah. No, I I agree. Take those, Mike. Bill's run away. Bill will be back. For... I don't like this. Uh, okay, well, he does it. Uh, well, what else can he do? I mean, you can't he, he, he was clearing the seven was what he was looking at. And, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is worth it. 
Was there a safe play? There was, yeah. He could, he could have cleared the seven, which is ugly, but safe. Yeah, it's safe for one roll. Yeah. I didn't look at it. I mean, I... I yeah. Could, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't agree with the play. Move your checkers in close yeah, I didn't like that. Okay, so now uh, cube's been offered. Cube action. Yeah, I, I like the take. I mean, five point holding game. Okay. All right. Well, um, do you just go thirteen to two here, or do you just play two down? The only thing it hits you with is double ones and two. Yeah, I would have just played to the two, I think. But what are you waiting for if you do that? You mean if you leave it over there? Yeah. I mean, you just have to run away next time. Yeah, you might be right. So don't pay off to the double one, double uh, one, two. Well, one, 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 two, it can hit you and not leave the block. Yeah, right. so don't pay off to them. Right, he won't. Yeah. yeah. He'll make some other play. So. Yeah. Yeah. But so probably not. It's probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Hires Bill back. Are you feeling more fearless and bold now, Bill? This shows, carrying this shows the last five four was suspect. <laughs> what? Last five four was suspect. Can't say it was hidden five, right? Well, yeah, uh -huh. I got a little bit wild and woolly there, Bill. Oh, well. <laughs> Bold and fearless. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, look at that! Here Whoa. comes Petco. Wait, wait, is he is he ahead in the race here? He, oh. he, he, you don't have anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So what is the count? Who's got that the count? Your looks good. So the counts. Seventy-seven, uh, seventy-seven, according to Alex Ishigin. So it's dead even. Then I would just go. Then, then. you run. Yeah. 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 I yeah. It was down six, six, seven hits, but I didn't care. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, wow. Look what would have happened to him. <laughs> Good thing I kind of fit before. Mm -hmm. Six ones. So this is a nice okay, little take man. two in. Nice and efficient. So Pekka, Pekka was up by what? Four now? Down three. Just need a good like 65, 64, followed by a 3 1, and you get the re whip. <laughs> All right, well, he's not going to be redoubling here, so. That's only a three pip lead, so. Yeah. yeah. Or down by three. I think he's just taking a you know, quickie count. Down by three, is that right? Yeah. yeah. I think down three or four. I'm not 100%. Uh, look. look out. Well, so much for that. Yeah, Petco needs you to respond, although he gets to try it for several rolls while he's holding, holding the cube. Yeah, Petco's going to get to see the end of this, better or worse. All right, well. I, I like making those pretty triangle shapes. Yeah, I mean, he's got a nice, efficient, bear-off structure, and Victor's is not... Not a thing of beauty here. I mean, obviously better to be ahead, but... Are you suggesting that Victor is not pretty? Oh, well, Whoa. that role is pretty. I know that much. <laughs> I was like Joe Russell this morning. <laughs> Joe sent a, what I thought was a rather suspect cube to uh, Ari Nagara. Yeah. It was like he's up by five pips and then rolls 
double Six sixes is, three yeah. times. Was that the eight cube or whatever it was? No, it yeah. wasn't an eight. I don't. It was know. a four or something. Because I, I looked over, I turned around and saw that Joe was winning eight zero and double I was, double through six three times, three out of four rolls. Wow! After immediately after having given the cube. See, in the shoeette, we call that Joe has pressed the button. Yeah. <laughs> So who won the the team's event then? Because I stopped caring the about it after we lost. They won. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. Finally won something. <laughs> yeah. Good job. And Ian was the only member of the team that was undefeated. I think yeah, I think it was the only player in the whole thing that went five and zero. Oh. Nice. It's good. Okay. And then I immediately lost to Ed. <laughs> well, so, you know, well, Ed is it's better to have all your wins in, in, in one string. One yes, category. Exactly. You know? Yep. Rather than being average yeah. in everything. Yes. Yeah. Three and three doesn't pay. Four and three doesn't pay. Five and zero oh and zero oh and four does pay. There you go. Sean yeah. Wilford. No way. Petco is winning this match. I wouldn't, oh, oh, I mean that. I wouldn't go that far. Petco is a two-time world championship finalist. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Victor is a zero-time world championship finalist. Although I have every respect yeah, in the world I mean, for, I, for Victor's game. I can't say that uh, it's one of those where he, he certainly could win. You know, he, you know, if he plays it, you know, for the rest of his life, he's certainly... Oh, I chatted with Victor a little shot. bit about it, um, about the World Championships. Yeah. Just yesterday. And the, the thing he said to me was that he doesn't feel like he has anything to prove. And, you know, that's Monte Carlo is where you go to prove yourself. Again, you know, in that field. And he said, I don't have anything to prove. I don't need to go. I'm probably going to do other tournaments this year. Yeah. There you go. So there you go. And I, I would agree, you know, that Victor is an outstanding player. So, but certainly um, Petco, some years ago, when I first started chatting with him, maybe 10, 12 years ago or something, um, he was introduced to me as perhaps the finest checker player in the world. And that was, you know, 10, 12, 15 years ago or something. And honestly, if Petco, if I'm in a shoot with Petco and Petco says, make this play keen, I'm not going to hesitate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might argue with him for a while, but it's very, afterwards. It's very brave. <laughs> you how get how fast would Petco. you like me to make it? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and how high am I to jump here, sir? <laughs> I think my my favorite uh, thing is, uh, you know, if he's playing someone and they make a goofy play, he'll say, "Oh, that was an innovative play, <laughs> very creative play." Yeah, <laughs> very creative. <laughs> That's what he calls my plays. They're all very creative, according to Petco. I hope you didn't take that as a compliment. <laughs> Oh, no, it is a compliment, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I have so, the ability to confuse him at, at times. So Petco here has got a 2-2 two -two to play. Uh, have, have, has, has he made his point yet? Oh, he's thinking about stepping up to the five point. What's the race? That tells you what to do. I would not step up. I think he's way behind. Oh, is he? No one said he's just yet. Yeah, it's not much. Oh, oh, it's yeah. It's essentially you know the forty-four pips there, and then weigh it, weigh that up against the twenty-eight yeah. and sixteen forty-four. So that's about even. And it's one of six for red. Yeah, seven. What do we have? Eight, nine Three, pips. Eight, nine, so, yeah. forty-five, forty-nine, forty-four, yeah, that's, ninety-three. That's my eyeball. Yeah. Same zone. 119 for white. Like what did I say? 108, 119? Well, there you go. Mm, all right. Well, 11 pips. Well, I guess he should step up then. I'm not sure. You don't want him to make that 20 that kills your race. Yeah. The 10, you're decided. Oh. Oh, speaking of making it. Now, yeah. Now, now, Ouch. Now that just killed your race. Yeah. Okay, over on stream two, Ray Fogerlin just defeated Mike Gorey in the round of six, round of sixteen in the Masters. So uh, sounds as though Ray went to the round of eight. 
Well, raised. I think they're playing the eight and then redrawing because that's of what the, I had heard because yeah, of the, the multiple, qualifier. Yeah. multiple starting times. Yeah, very fair system. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Victor gave Petco a little something to think about. So this is just a raw race count situation. So okay, yeah, he takes it. I, you know, I I take these three point. Ouch! <laughs> I take these three point games. Just it feels like way too much, but you get a lot of you do get a lot of play out of them. I I once uh, read a thing by Stick, and I think I misunderstood this. So be warned. Um, but the thing that he said that stuck in my head was three point game is always almost a take. Who said this? Stick. Stick. Yes. Yeah. Always almost a take. But he also says that the three point is a bad garbage point, especially if they have the seven or the yeah. nine. So I'm not uh, okay. Well, there is now a gap, which Bill always has said if there is a gap, there is some hope. There's a gap, there's hope. Hmm? I can't think of one number that would give Peckle a lot of hope. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. What did, uh, Last game, didn't Victor throw a couple of double sixes on Petco? Maybe yep. that's what uh, Petco needs this time. Uh, mm, oh, what is this? Just take three off. You know, there could be a cool switching play here. A what play? A cool Switch? switching no, play. No, there's no switching play. Okay. You guys don't like gammons then. I just, okay. I just take, take three checkers off. Yeah, I like this play. No shot, no nothing. Clean. It's clean next roll. Yep. This is. Bro, he's not. He's not leaving. Just, no, just go. stay. No downside in staying. Uh, must stay. Ugh. Oh my god. So you're shutting them down? Okay. What time is it? going to let everything go. Um, that, what we see right now is our last, so just Victor and Petco will be our final streams for this. Okay. Sound like a winner to me. Yeah, you've been okay. Well, now, YouTube Max is out. Oh, like you, the stream that you can only run a continuous on stream so long. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Makes sense. The uh, production manager was just uh, informing us that streams two and three are down now, shut down for the evening, and. Uh, Okay, two's going down. Victor, yeah, Victor, Victor and Petco are playing on three, and it is also being streamed on one. So two's being taken down, and at the end of this match, one and three will be taken down, and we will be done for the night. Hmm. Which what? Bill likes that. What then? We're back, uh, what time tomorrow? Yeah, play starts at 11, well, doubles, but we're not going to stream That's doubles. It's 11 anyway. 11 a.m. start time tomorrow. 11 a.m. Central, Masters start time two. So we'll have three Masters matches at uh, 11 a.m. Yeah. I might, I might do the faster Masters. Oh, well, here's someone who knows Petco very well, Steve Hello. Blanchard. Hello. How are you? I'm well. Very good. You better... Uh, Get Petco to call a timeout, and you take him out and give him a little pep talk or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> now, we oh. will at 11 a.m. tomorrow, the second start time of the Masters jackpot. I don't know who all that will include, but I do know Mr. Joe Urso will be arriving ah, yeah. in to mm -hmm. play at mm -hmm. 11 a.m. So mm -hmm. likely we will have Mr. Urso, who's a great young player, fun to mm -hmm. watch. Mm -hmm. 
he's another guy that really likes to commentate too so yeah he's okay pretty good. you and he might be armor wrestling at times you know it's for unlikely a, for a is, spot um, on the mic. is ryan rebelo coming to this event i, I, I haven't know. heard i don't think he is i don't got, think he like, is exams and stuff oh he's right do. right right finals he was you know he was whining about you know yeah his hard a, hard life yeah he's got he's got his pre-algebra test tomorrow yeah yeah uh, up in the country where everybody <laughs> is super nice <laughs> Kidding, kidding, Ryan. Is he, is he there? Is he in the room? Please tell me he's in the chat. <laughs> I haven't room. even seen him comment this week. Max Zweig, hello from California, USA. Well, welcome. I was just telling everyone uh, Thursday is kind of a um, well. There's a lot of Masters matches mm -hmm. early on. I don't know, Masters but it's a uh, little. Faster masters. Kind of a slower a slow day in certain regards. So yeah. this Petco Victor match is the last match of the evening. Streamed. We pick up again at yeah, eleven AM tomorrow morning. Cool. And uh we should have a, a good full day of it tomorrow, I suspect. Mm. We have tomorrow. That's easy. Yeah, we got masters all afternoon, and then we have a dinner break at five, a proficiency test at seven. Round three of all jackpots begins at eight. So we will, and he'll probably want to play at least a couple of rounds tomorrow night. So it'll probably be a late night tomorrow, tomorrow. night. Yeah, and you're not streaming doubles. I mean, and then of course Saturday is uh, main event starts, and that's going to take a long time. <laughs> well, well I, six six rounds uh, Saturday. You know, Bill, I'll tell you, I've played the uh, the Swiss main event here. I guess what? 2018, 19, 20. It wasn't one. No, not 20. 18, 19, 21, 22. And I played the St. Louis one when they offered that, but it was three yeah. losses. And I have never won, even as bad as I am, Bill, never, never been in the unlucky dice last year. So. Hey, well, something to be said. <laughs> we heard that. He probably jinxed himself. Yeah, I probably did. No, I've, I've lost now, are six, you, uh, six rounds. Are you taking the proficiency test tomorrow night? I'd get a negative score, so I'm probably not. <laughs> if you wish. You talk about it. Car and I uh, and Arda are going to Harry Curry's. Uh, be going. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Because I think tomorrow I got to put on a button up shirt anyway, because they're going to hand out the trophies on the team one. So I'll go for it. Now we do have a uh, second camera, big camera like this, no? and a free mic. So we could do a little. We could stream that oh yeah yeah With the roving uh, yeah the like a yeah yeah the yeah. award yeah Rory said he would uh they would do it tomorrow because tomorrow is the slowest day and i said i'm not i didn't I barely uh, that's slept a that negative can't is anybody paying oh. attention to the match that's that's negative uh, steve is of course unfortunately he's not commentating um uh, it's been a long day. Yeah, it has. But these guys, beyond anyone else, deserve our attention. Victor contemplating a cube that uh, Petco has generously offered him. Victor takes it. Generous this. <laughs> it's a good chance for Petco to possibly get back in this. Nice 4 6 to. He want to run though. He's coming out. He can't. He he's coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the blot there, right? Yeah, and you control this guy if he tries to hop out. That's, I, I would have came out. I would have came out. Just, just you, I would cover this here. I would get out. I would get off that button. I think. Okay. But I'm, you know, I'm not sure. I for sure would have come out last roll. Brandon Macklin, I thought you were on a plane, man. Is he coming to this? He is coming. Oh, okay, good. He's doing about 11 o'clock tonight, he said. Okay, okay. 
Let me back up. I said I'm sure I would have came out, but I wouldn't have been Victor that I was rising. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just for clarification. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know, <laughs> just uh, without looking at it long. It just instinctively that would have, if I had to play in 10 seconds, I would have, that's what I would have done. I would have came out. Sure. Okay. All right. Here we go. Yeah, There's the six. Oh, Petco. Petco has an attack. He's actually behind in the race. Opportunity. Oh, Whoa. No. Horrible. Anything but a six. It's like the worst. 74, 30, 67. Okay. White's still winning the race by a little. I Is think. it? No, oh, he Red get cannot out, get out. So that's very now, nice. That goes uh, another major. chance to roll some another, numbers. Oh, another six. Another six. Garbage. He what? He thinks he's racing, but he 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 wasn't. He just trying to roll small. Okay, well, red is gone. So Victor out. Six five. Six five. I think. Get yep. a decent distribution. Not there oh, they are. Heck Little, heck one roll too late. Right, it got them backwards. Yeah, you exactly. Roll two, one, then the big stuff. <laughs> yeah. I look at this. Uh -oh. Nah. Wow. All right, so you got 42, 48, 53, 57 red, and 57 for red, 53 for red. Petco needs to uh, oh, move uh, some uh, freight, uh, and that that's kind of how it starts. Cube, cube is that uh, yeah, I mean offsets. Petco six five four three the two gap boys. Is that's too, not good. Yeah. Red says, "Don't touch that dial." He's not shipping it yet. Oh, that's Thanks. horrendous! Man, These guys are good. <laughs> does does Petco know that he's racing? No. No what? <laughs> does Petco know that he's racing? Apparently not. <laughs> he rolls a dud. Yeah, that's can't car, take though. anything off. And now, now what is the cube action here? It's just now uh, the problem is it's like. If he passes this and it's yeah. 10 to 3, I yeah. mean, pay point's got to be low. Take it and throw it back. Yeah, it's like really nothing. away anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's the thing is the cube is going to be. Like virtually dead. I mean, not not quite right, because an eight, eight, eight is eight, for the match. Eight, if eight, you yeah. it back, it's for the match. Yeah, yeah. Which so would be the discouragement. Yeah. Okay. So here's the photograph. He's taking the picture. No, and he yeah. Did anyone he, check he his phone for? Uh oh. Uh, oh. Uh oh. Oh. Was it the gammon snap? Yeah. I don't. I mean. <laughs> so what's likely is White will end up getting more rolls, uh, doubles that can win. You know, yeah. because of that small number there. Yeah. Red's still a favorite, but he may. Okay. Right. Okay. That's two. Two off only, though. And to but the ace. ace. Still. Ace point. Yep. You're not in the mode where you're just trying to set up for certain doubles just yet. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> still, uh, oh, no. okay. Okay. Vulnerable to the two one, no? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, right. now double pass. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter wrote smaller than an eight, where you don't have to yeah, yeah. double. going to have to pay. Yeah, to he doesn't get that, that off. I right. mean, because of 10 to 3 now, his chance of winning is so small. I don't know what it is. It's uh, it's um, yeah. eight, five, six probably. times seven. It's Neil's numbers says it's. Eight percent, but that seems like a like a eight. eight is that what Neil's numbers say? Yeah, it seems too generous though. Oh, but, but you can't four. use it at Crawford, right? Or not? You're not supposed to, but it's 
good enough for my money. Okay. <laughs> it's it's going to be within two or so percent. I think it's. I was, well, I was, I was yeah. going to guess less than five, but I, I would guess six percent. It's yeah, it's it's low. I'm, I'm thinking it's four and a half, five percent. We hope we don't get uh, get seven percent at one way, eight away crops. Okay, so well, okay, eight percent. Okay, so, yeah, eight, eight percent is pretty good. Yeah, Neil says don't use it at Crawford and just memorize this, but I just it's, it's good enough for me. Oh, oh, oh. Pardon me. <laughs> well, uh, whoa, okay. Echo finally Echo doing needs to something. Put on his rally cap here. Gilding says XG says six point seven five percent. Isn't that what? Did I say six or seven? Yeah. Or no, no said you said four, four or five. Yeah. I came up with eight, and then figured seven. I probably wouldn't figure it in enough. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let the shot there. 13.11.85 for the 3.2. Duplicates is 6.4. You don't want to leave your shot just because of that, but it gave you a lot of not, more additional numbers. Right now would be useful. Okay, Petco needs to do something constructive here. Thanks. Does that count? I mean, he gets to construct the count? two point. Oh, is that constructive? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not exactly what he had in mind, nor I had in mind. No, but, but uh, it's, it's point. It's good enough. Yeah, but would he re-roll? Ten pips and a point? I'm not sure. He'd I don't know. Yeah. I, that may I, be better I than average. Back. Yeah. That may be better than average. Ten pips and a point. Oh, now better, that's, oh, yeah. that's better oh, than yeah. average. Yeah. That's that six four plays a little better than the one average Petco had. Plus. Okay, you yeah, know it's like fine. Mm. Sure, holds. Oh, Make, what is this? Make it. I mean, make it. Yeah. Make it and close your could, eyes. Could Petco roll any worse than he has the last few games? I mean, look at this. Now Red just gets to like kind of kind of ease the contact on those guys already, and it's just looking like another. Uh, Petco has just been stuck in Vic's board pretty much the whole. Man, feels look at like, this. Feels like every game Petco is just on just, losing just a play, whole game. This play here, I would go uh, uh, eight. You made the bar. I would have. Uh... Yeah, I, you could get three builders for the three point. Yeah, he's not going to leave you a shot in the next roll. Not right so now. Try to make the three point yeah. with your sixes, fives, and some other number instead of making the. Uh, making now the you're bar. going your sixes. Now you're look going at to this. The eighth point yeah, this is just ugly. Versus the three point. Ah! Wow! Oh, wow! Yeah. Kick him while he's down. Man. If you want to watch me hack off Victor at the end of this match, that's congratulations. Oh, congratulations, Victor. You played those great dice very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'd go for my throat. Yeah. <laughs> we have a a lot of fun together. Yeah. He, he, what's his new name for me? Raging Bull or something? Raging Bull. <laughs> That'll probably end up sticking, you know? But, something. I, I don't uh, care. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, there could be could be worse nicknames. I mean, you remember Rory had one and stuff for a while. But <laughs> we, don't, we don't say it anymore. <laughs> Okay, KG, four more solid days of it, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So Kent, we, you're not going to come play this one? We look forward to seeing you. Apparently, well, he's, he'll see us all tomorrow. See you all tomorrow so night. He'll be here. Night. Well, I don't know if that means he'll see us, like, see us physically or if he'll... Hey, Rory, is Kent so Goulding I'm... coming to this tournament or no? Is Kent coming tomorrow to the tournament or no? Kent Goulding. 
Oh, no, okay. sorry, okay. not this one. So he meant he would see uh, us online. online. Okay, okay, okay. LA, I'm sure. Though. I'm sure. Oh, it should be in any Oh, okay. It should be. Maybe he wants to Okay. And Victor, roll a four one five one six one. A little bonus PG. Oh, oh only a three one. The ace first. <laughs> I thought. And now. Echo now, has to wait. Has to. Give Victor another chance to roll a 415161. Boom. That's not it. Jeez. That was, that was a lot of fun. Petco just laughing. I mean, that's not even one you can't feel bad about. You know, nothing you could have done. Yeah. In the worst, he probably just rolled like... Okay, sports fans, that's it in. for today. God, I can't believe 8.30 and no streaming. Yeah. I, I need to... Um, I need to... <laughs> so, uh, anyway. what did I say? 11 a.m. tomorrow? Yeah. Streaming will begin. What are you guys streaming at 11 there? There's a, another Masters start, so hopefully we'll have at least three Masters matches and we yep. can stream all of them. Um. So that is at 11 a.m. and we'll dinner break starts at five. A hard dinner break at five. So uh, 11 to five, and then play resumes at eight p.m. tomorrow. So yep. uh, we'll see y'all yep. then. Have a good evening. All right, take care.